Hi, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up pretty bad. <clears throat> I tried to install the game way too late. It was supposed I should have installed it a while ago. I did not. It has been over an hour. It is still not installed. I, in fact, waited for the downloader to reach 100%. Because in my mind, oh, when it's at 100%, it's done. It got to 100%, and then allocated more space, and downloaded something else. <laughs> and that is at 16% currently. So, uh, we're just gonna run a different power trip for now. We're gonna, we're gonna run another power trip raffle. Uh, the starting game, which would have been Fantasy Star Online 2, will have to be the second game. Maybe the third, depending on how long it takes to install. This is why you download beforehand. I forgot! I stated that up front! Alright. So, uh, yeah. We're just gonna have to do that second, so... Sorry about that, Damon. It will still happen tonight, though. So, I'm just gonna run a power trip raffle now. And, uh... Whatever wins, we'll just start with that. In your defense, they usually do maintenance and updates every Tuesday evening. Eh. Did you see the upcoming Vampire Survivors crossover DLC? Hell yeah. I can't believe they put in Contra Hardcore characters of all things. What a fucking hilarious crossover. I love that they're just not putting vampires in Vampire Survivors. It's fucking brilliant. Alright, so let's just let's just run a raffle now, I guess. Uh where's my power trip? Transition. There we go. 
All right, it's the only fitting code to start with. Exclamation install. I screwed up. I'll keep an eye on the install. Meanwhile, it's currently at 20%, 20.71%. 20 so if you don't know what's going on here right now, we don't normally do this this early. We normally wait a little bit, play a starting game. But uh, I fucked up, and I did not install the game early enough. So uh, yeah, we are stuck waiting, unfortunately, for that starting game. So I'm just gonna run it now. Uh, whatever win whoever wins the raffle gets to pick the next game we play on stream. Don't pick anything I have to install on my PC, please. That would save me a lot of trouble. Uh. Pick a game from my backloggery. If you don't know what I own, go to backloggery.com slash protonjohn. Everything I own is listed there, or pretty damn close to it. Uh, RPGs are allowed. Just realize that we're only playing the game for 30-ish minutes, give or take. If you win the raffle, please type the game's name and console in chat, because sometimes I have a game that is on multiple consoles. Case in point, I think I own, like, five different console versions of Prince of Persia, for example. I think it gets more if you dig into the series enough, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, please say the game and the console. I can't do every system I own, but I can do the vast majority, so. One minute on the clock? No, not 20 minutes. Kek. Not Keck either. Let's shrink this down to 60 seconds. There we go. One minute timer running now. After you hear the jingle, I'm going to run it. And whoever wins the raffle, they get to pick the game we start with. No, not Dragon Install Owo. <laughs> I mean, I'll run the Wizard Duke meanwhile, too. Let me just double check who I owe that to. Uh, that is going to. I think we got rated too. I see Dragon Lord 354 rated. Thank you, Dragon Lord. Ah! Evil J. Brian, I owe you the Wisma Duke. I'm gonna ninja this. What the hell? forget some of the dukes we have on here sometimes <laughs> all right 284 people entered and the winner is crimson alicana crimson congratulations time for a power trip what are we starting the stream with does that count as a ryu eh, i wouldn't count One sec. Meanwhile, uh, 31.03%. Ah, oh, perfect. Well, thank you, Dragon Lord. Appreciate it. Toho 16, hidden star in four seasons. All right. Starting off with Toho, why the fuck not? All right, what do I own Toho 16 on? If I had to guess, it's, ooh, is that the one I actually have on Switch? Uh, let's check Steam first. is very mad at me right now because of installing Fancy Star. Uh, Hidden Star. Hidden Star in Four Seasons, I do have it on Steam. Now it's gonna take a little bit to install because it's a half a gig, but it's not that bad. Now 
the real question is, will Fancy Star get mad because I'm running a PC game? All right, time to get my ass handed to me. Hidden Star in Four Seasons. Turn on my controller. Launch controller layout tool. Oh god, maybe I should have done that. Volume warning, don't know how loud this is gonna be. There's a lot of question marks on my screen asking for... Asking for settings. <laughs> Is this actually the first time I've streamed Toho? Like, actual? Like, we've done a fan game. We've done a fan game, we've done some of the spin-offs, but is this the first genuine Toho game we've done? We've done a lot of the spin-offs. We did Spell Bubble, we've done we did um uh, Luna Knights, we did um the restaurant management one, there's another one I'm blanking on right now. There's a bunch of Toho games we've done, but they've all been spin-offs. Every single one. I don't think I think this is genuinely the first time we've actually done a mainline. I have played a mainline? We did do the restaurant game, that is correct. Come on, come on, you can do it. There we go. You played Undertale. Okay, well, fair. Not quite the answer I'm looking for, but fair. I think this is the first mainline Toho shmup by Zune you have played. That sounds right. Why? Oh, you want me to use the stick? I don't like that. Shot. Bomb. Release. Oh, I'm gonna fuck all this up, I think. Uh, I think... Hopefully it lets me use D-pad in-game, otherwise I might have to go to the control app and fix that. Because it's not letting me do it for the menu at the very least. Yeah, fuck off. We're sticking with normal for now. What is it about sticks on controllers aside from possible drift that you don't like? Asking the curiosity. I find more control with the D-pad. Because it's... You know, you know the speed you're going to move at if you tap a D-pad button versus, like, stick usually depends on how far you're going in there. Alright. Oh my god, Cerno's playable. Well, I mean, let's start, let's start with the obvious one. Um. Sure. Yeah, D-pad's not working. Damn it. Alright, well, we're using stick then. I will cope. Yeah, 
Yeah, I will complain, but I will cope. I'm sorry, I love how the, the game that gets picked is the game that requires like the most concentration too. Like out of any shmup you picked, it could have it was a Toho one, so I'm like, ah shit. I actually have to concentrate for this. Well, I apologize if the commentary seems a little retracted. My attention is un unsurprisingly a little split at the moment. Does this not even have an English translation? Or at least out of the gate option? I'm a butterfly! The eternity larva! There is an English patch? Okay, so at least I, I figured as much, but nothing out of the gate. Alright, time to fight the butterfly. Get them graze points. Oh, I got greedy. I got so greedy on that. How's the bitrate holding up? Bonus failed. Ah, I missed a bite. Yeah. I did not miss it by much. I missed it by 0 .2, 0 0.02 seconds by the looks. Whoop, no. That's fair. I think I'm actually gonna need to switch to the D-pad. Naming this stick. All right, hang on a second here. So let's go ahead and reboot this. Uh, yeah, oh, who, who was asking if they wanted to hop in? Yeah, by all means, hop in for now. That'll give me at least someone to, like, say something while I'm just stuck in pure concentration mode, but I need a minute anyways to get the game running the way I want it to. So, I guess we got to buy a minute here anyways. I think I heard it right that you said to hop in. Yes, I did. Star can cool. too if she wants. I chat. Uh, Toho, where is that? They've got launch controller layout tool. Ah, good. This is in English. Perfect. Uh, if it was in French, you'd need Camille. Uh, but where's my use this stick option? Whoa. Hello. Hey, Green. None of this says use the D-pad to move. The only thing I see is don't use direct input for joysticks. Uh, I know that Bad Apple is a Toho thing. That's all I know about Toho. I hate that the moment I joined in a call, one of my friends DM'd me saying, like, oh, you should join for the game with called Hidden Star. I was just like, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you Steam input. I guess so. Um... It's especially funny because this is the only... I, I mentioned it in chat, but this is the only Toho game I own. 
How do I set this to steam input? There we go. View layout. Tried using like steam. That. It says standard D pad, so like this should be right. <laughs> Try using keyboard. I guess worst case I'll just remap it so that I can just move it to to the D pad, but I'm not playing with a keyboard. Absolutely not. <laughs> Clearly, you should use Joy to Key or whatever I, the hell. I mean, Joy to Key ain't gonna do shit here, but. Whenever someone says Joy to Key, my brain immediately starts playing Ode to Joy in the back of it. No, like, I didn't know. Why? Of everything? Wait, you say Ode to Joy? Oh, the Joy Manity. Well, that kick was, it's a good song. I can't hear yeah. it. The same way ever again, thanks to Ava, but <laughs> which uh, is hard for me as a Peggle fan. <laughs> what? There we go. Wait. All right, this should be a little bit better. I didn't know it was an Ava, but I'm also not surprised. You, you should watch the show then. I have watched the show years ago. Then how do you not know it's an Ava? <laughs> a lot of stuff happened in Ava. <laughs> yeah, but he, to pretty, be fair, he is right. A lot of stuff happened in Ava. Yeah, but what is like. Ava? Were you paying attention know, to the conversation up to that point? Because you I, you know where an Ava O to Joy plays, right? Who was that? that Who's that towards? Anyone that's not Time Deep. Thief. Oh. I don't know what Ava is. Evangelion. Evangelion. Yeah. Oh. Neon Genesis. Okay, Eva, so. not Ava. Got it. Wait, what? Why is Shit. it pronounced differently if it's shorter? It doesn't. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I have heard it both ways. Yeah. It, to, to me, it Evangelion, is Evangelion, Evangelion because it is Evie, blah blah blah, not Evangelion. I understand now. I have never seen it. Fair enough. What is your favorite evolution? <laughs> God. Silvgalion. Silvgalion. <laughs> It's just an Ava unit, but it's got like the the white, pink, and blue. Yeah. What a fucking the surprise! The trans girl likes the trans Eevee. Tra weird, weird how that works. <coughs> I mean, if I remember right, in the newest dub of Ava, uh, Shinji is played by a uh, non-binary actor. If I'm remembering right. Nice. Are you remembering right, though? I hope so. I, I hate to misgender a very talented actor. Fair enough. Wait, what? Did those get merged? Again? Alright, let's see if this goes a little bit better this time, hopefully. So is it a butterfly or is it a moth? Pretty sure it's a butterfly. Okay. And this time I'm not gonna dive up there and get my ass handed to me. All right, I was, I was, I was gonna <laughs> ask if you wanted me, you wanted me to bring in uh, Bear to translate, Someone since is, we can't read half on S. Someone in the chat says I'm pretty sure it's a horse. <laughs> yeah, quick, Luca. But yeah, everyone's saying butterfly. Very pretty. I mean, it's got I'm monarch wings. I'm pretty sure. I think that's that's what the design looks like. I don't know much about insects. They still samurai. One of them's played they... by one. There's an insect voice by the guy from News Radio in The Bug's Life. That's the extent of my knowledge. Which guy from News Radio? Do you mean the guy from Kids in the Hall? Uh, I don't know. Cause I only know him from News Radio and Dan Versus. Because <laughs> you you also saying News Radio? That could just be. Um, he, he's the main character in A Bug's Life. Remember. There's a lot of main characters in Bugs Life. Okay, you could then, be saying Joe Rogan, because Joe Rogan was in News Radio. Yeah. Was he? What the fuck? Yeah, Joe Radio was. Or, sorry, Joe Rogan was the janitor in News Radio. Oh. And yeah, sorry, Mick Johnson, that's the name. Dave Foley is who I was thinking of. Thank you. That's who I was thinking of. Well. Yeah, so, so that. Yeah, Dave Foley was, was the dude from guy. Kids in the Hall. Yeah. You seem to be ignoring both bombs and slow movement. Both are very important. Yeah, but you get pen penalized for using bombs. And I was using slow movement, so uh, 
I'm good. Got him. <laughs> Joe Radio. Joe Radio. Joe Radio. I love Joe Radio. I don't Inve actually, because you know, the context is Joe Rogan and. You know. Yeah. Have a different Joe on the radio. Have Joe from Blues Clues on the radio. Then I'll listen. <laughs> God, that's a name. What was the other brother's name? Uh, talking about Steve? Steve? Yeah. It's Steve, Joe, and now there's Josh. And they're all... Well, Joe and Steve are related, but Josh is a friend. I hate that I saw the leaves falling and I was like, ooh, hey. The funny, the funny weed thing. <laughs> we it's not weed. It's soccer petals. Well, they're also I think well maple leaves. Well, oh, maple. oh, the they're ones in the, oh time. those in the background. Okay. Yes. Apparently Sorry, I, I'm not exactly cousin. focused on those. The blue. Blue, John, look blue, at the leaves. Blue, blue. Look at the leaves, John. I see <laughs> them, Star. I don't want to collect them currently. I'm a little busy. You should collect them. You should run into them. Make a pile and jump in. Mm, no, I live yeah. that life in reality. I don't need to do it in video games, too. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Did you just, did it, you just do it? I I live in a place that, that has fall and winter. <laughs> yeah, but I've never actually done that before. Really? Yeah. It's all right. I, if, you, I, if you got clothes, you don't I mind getting played. dirty. It's all right. I've played in snow before I've actually jumped into leaves. Which is funny because it's like snowed like twice down here. <laughs> One time we called it Snowmageddon because Alabama is not very well prepared for when snow happens. What a surprise! I had... One of my mother's friends was from Wisconsin and then she moved Why? down south somewhere. And it snowed just a little bit, like just enough where it stuck a tiny bit. And she was a teacher and she got called off work because snow day. So she was like, oh, yay, snow day. I'm going to go shopping. Oh, she proceedingly got pulled over because they wondered what she was doing. And she w said, I I'm going shopping. Ma'am, everything is closed. You're from the north, aren't you? <laughs> I'm from Wisconsin. Yeah, everything closes down here. It's not just a school out, a school's out snow day. It's an everything is closed snow day. Because no one knows how to drive. Oh, hey, you just picked up a green star. <laughs> I got a bunch of those. Surprised you didn't notice till now. I kind of got overstimulated by all the petals everywhere. That's fair. I feel like I would die within an instant in this video game. I, That's I like why I'm not saying much. Are you not used to getting picked up, Green? Uh... Ask Cupo. Literally or metaphorically? Yes. Uh, I mean, both have happened quite a few times, so... Nice. I'm a very light person. Xander Mobus once lifted me. <laughs> Intentionally? I would assume yeah. so. It would be very confusing if it was otherwise. We were trying to pose for a picture, and I misinterpreted what what he meant so i started to lift him <laughs> and we took a picture that way and i am a weakling and he was like listen i feel i feel sorry you went through that just because you misunderstood what i was saying so how about i lift you in return to make it even and i was like sure <laughs> <laughs> thank you So don't these games have a thing where you can see your hitbox, like there's a setting? You yeah, can that's what on. happens when you're in slow mode. You see a little dot on the back yeah. of Reimu, and then that's how you know like you can dodge things and graze things. Ah. Yes. Your hitbox is very tiny. Next end. I figured. I figured it's tinier than it looks. It, it took me an unfortunate amount of time to realize that the hitbox in Bullet Hells was designed to be like six pixels across. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah no, cuz like worried. here, like now you can see it now. The the little dot there, that's that's my actual hitbox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh god, no. If it was like the actual sprite, they would be both they would be actual bullshit. <laughs> Instead of the normal bullshit. Zan, I'm surprised that you're surprised you can lift me. Cubo did it like 50 times at Mag. 
Cupo literally once. did like 50 squats. It, like it was genuinely. Cupo impressive. literally did a workout routine with green Cupo as his weights. It was yeah. hilarious. And did I'm Cupo super bench sad press I only caught the end of it. Uh, not bench press. It was it was also like an over the shoulder carry. It was, yeah. it was squats doing an over the, over the shoulder carry. Yeah. I like I was how there for that. Didn't Cubo didn't explain how either of us were going to get lifted, so both of us immediately just get caught off guard in both videos. <laughs> just like, oh, uh, what do I do? And he's just like, hold out your arm. And we're both just like, okay. And then he just does it. And, uh, <laughs> Sudden, suddenly, I am no longer on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I checked, I'm like 180 bit. pounds, so not much. I am like I might, I might have gained more, five, but I mean, 200, yeah. 205, some of that range. Depends on the day. I wish I was on that range. I mean, I I need to weigh myself again sometimes because I don't know if weight di distribution redistribution does anything about that. Uh, you the weight is still there. That's why it's called redistribution. Well, yeah, but like, I don't know if it like increases how I. Develop that. <laughs> I don't know. It literally moves the weight away from places that you would normally have it as a dude and puts it in spots where it goes as a girl. And then eventually, like, when your body gets used to it, it's like, okay, now you have, like, this type of weight distribution. Like, now when you gain weight, it always goes here. And, it it like, goes straight you, to your thighs, Green. Maybe, maybe, my meta maybe my metabolism got fucked up. It was very. That, that can happen. High. I know there when I got on ADHD thought, meds, like meant. that, like, and like fucked up, up my metabolism, so. But anyway, good. Oh, joy. No, I'm they did sure it in a good way. I lost, like, 30 soon. pounds when I got on ADHD meds. But I am I already am quite light. I can't afford to lose any more. I think I might just faint. <laughs> in this economy. I'd just be a skeleton next time you see me. Ooh. Zant says, Star, I bridal carried rates? someone who weighs as much as you. <laughs> nice. I feel like someone could hurl me like a javelin if they wanted. Hi, Raymond. I'm Protect Pregnant Strong as always. Well, so you've got now nothing to worry about. Go solve up, that incident. That. What the hell are you talking about? Also, who are you? I'm going to beat you up now. I said some one time to you. I didn't say you. I've seen you in person. Yeah. <laughs> wow, fuck you! <laughs> I could eat you! Yeah, sure you could, buddy. Sure you could. You couldn't even tell who I was. You'd throw someone else instead. You I think he knows who, what you look like now, Star. I think you lost the element of surprise here. <laughs> Clearly, I should have just never told him the whole weekend until you right before too, I was going to leave. You, the, the HRT worked too well, okay? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what it was. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Fanstar Online 2 popped up right in front of the game. Power. Shit. <laughs> Hang on a second. You good over there? Yeah, Fancy Star Online 2 popped up and covered up the entire game. Oh, shit. You're well. <laughs> Wait, it just booted up automatically? No, the fucking installer was just like, I'm gonna cover up the center of your screen, okay? Have fun. Man, what oh. else could you have been doing for hours? Yeah, you know. I just realized both the games tonight so far have Star in the name, and I hate this now. <laughs> Why? Fantasy I thought you liked star, stars. Hidden star. I swear to God, this better not be a fucking theme. It might be. You never well, know. Uh, now that you said it out loud, it could be. Unless somebody just picks a, a different game. <laughs> Whoa, PS2, PSO2 be upon ye. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I oh. almost, I almost attempted to install it as well, but like, you no. Know. Ah, fucking hell! I keep getting greedy on that. Although I do appreciate you well, reminding me to download the update because I had like three gigs to download. I play right. Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. Uh, although I know Tiger wants me to Tiger wants me to get into RuneScape. Ooh, oh, I kind of I kind of want to get back into RuneScape, but like I have no counter to. <laughs> How big is RuneScape at this point? I have. No idea, especially since there's two separate versions. That's a Tiger question. Oh, I, God. I mean, I, I assume Tiger's talking about like old school RuneScape. Yes. Yeah. Wiggle lines are fucking me up! 
I don't feel like playing Monster Game 3 or whatever the hell it's called now. Oh, I died. Yeah. Oh. By the way, is the CoCom feed up? Uh, no, because I don't usually have CoCom up this early. Or I don't have CoCom this early, so. Our job is not to watch stream, our job is to distract John. True. Or distract Cat while John hey. focuses. Hey, John. Both of us Hi. Was there more to that time? Keeper, was that it? <laughs> John, did you, you could lift me? <laughs> I definitely could not lift you. I pressed the button on my soundboard. <laughs> Something just fucked up. Uh, just like, okay. Hold on. I find it funny you so confidently say you could not lift me, even though you threatened to powerbomb me for months on end. Yeah, because I knew how it was going to work. <laughs> I was I would have been a lot less intimidated if I had considered that pack There we go. I heard the fuck you then that time. Is she like a mermaid or something? She's supposed to be like a lion. You know like the lion uh -huh. statues. Oh uh, Basically so that's much, what John. chat said earlier, the lion dogs. You're so smart. Temple dog. Yeah. Fun thing about RuneScape, it's possible to do it in an archipelago. What? <laughs> I don't know you how. A, do you have to make a one new of my character? I, I don't. I don't know how it functions. All I know is one of my friends has done RuneScape in an archipelago randomizer. That it had. I, I believe what they did was they used a client that grayed out like you weren't physically limited from going anywhere because that would require changing the server code but they used a client that grayed out like however the game is split into chunks they grayed out each chunk until it was unlocked so you could so it didn't prevent you from going to places but it was basically it was just kind of like honor coding it in a sense yeah. I guess. Which, which is how a lot of um, a lot of the manual randomizers work. That's interesting. It's a choice. I mean, it's... I, how else are you going to do something like that, I guess? Shit. I love unless doing... You, unless you just, like, run, like, your own private server of RuneScape, which I don't even know if you can do that. No. Maybe. I don't know. It's loaded. Oh. I might be wrong. If it's if it's possible to do that, then yo, that's awesome. But I don't believe it's supported. Mm -hmm. I know you can run private servers for um, Path of Exile, but those are expensive, and you don't have the ability to change the code. I think there's also a private one for eleven, but it's a two version. I uh, find Fantasy Eleven. Jesus, I should just not toss out a number. I need a name in there too. Uh, yeah, fair, fair enough. Well, that, uh, that's also a much older game, so I'm not surprised that you can, like, uh, run private services and stuff like that at that point. But, I mean, 11's still active. You can still play 11, at least the PC version. You just can't play the PS2 one. Mm -hmm. Fair. Fair enough. Now imagine playing, like, an, like an old RPG from, like, back then still. That'd be weird. What do you mean, old RPG from back then still? Oh, yeah. Making a joke because he's playing RuneScape right now. No. No, the... Well, no, the jo well, the joke I was actually going for was PSO2, but... That old? Unless that you're PSO playing... one is old. PSO2 wow. is at least a decade old from what I remember. Oh well, yeah, so but is 14. Like, That's still active. So is PSO2, I think. It, well, okay, so here's, the, so here's the thing, and I guess this is like a question that either the person who requested it or John can answer. Which version of PSO2 are you going to play? Original or New Genesis, because they are two very different games at this point. I assumed I was playing New Genesis. I yeah, if I if I could recommend one, I would say that one, just because that's more modern and like more sensible. It has like an actual proper tutorial and everything, but uh, yeah. Doesn't doesn't the newest one have like Persona content in it or something? Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, because 
Uh, I've definitely seen people running around as Morgana in this game. Stage 4 boss, her name is Narumi, and she's a Jizo statue given life and turned into a magician. Honestly, that's kind of it. She just lives in the forest of magic like most of the other magicians in Gensokyo do. Oh, I thought you said Jizo statue, and I was very confused. That is also <laughs> what I heard. No, Jizo. Jizo. Jeez. I can't oh. believe you fight Jesus in Toho. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised you haven't. Shit. She went for the bomb on that. <laughs> Toho Jesus. At last. The patterns are very satisfying, but also I would die immediately. It is I'm... a... It takes a lot of getting used to. If a sh if a shmup is older than like or newer than the NES era, I'm fucked. I still I would still be fucked with like shmups from like that era. I'm weird with games like that. It it's mainly just like anything later than that, and the colors all start to get overwhelming. With with most of the NES ones, it's like either a black background or flat color usually, or the distinct bright enough colors where it's like. Nothing's really overlapping. True. At least as far as I've played. Uh. The thing about Toho is that, like, they really are kind of like, you have to get into, like, a zen mode sometimes to, to just avoid everything. Hence why I don't commentate much while playing them. Which is why yeah. we're here to help. Exactly. Hell. Slash distract. I like, I like the pause Mostly distract. there. Help. I just imagine you say hell like H E L L and then add a P. Damn it. Just to... Are we making the is it make is it easier to <laughs> I say if he dies. God. <sighs> We're good at this. You know, collect more great, of the sweetie. hidden stars in four seasons, whatever that means. Is there an arcade Toho? Like an actual arcade machine one? I'm yeah. sure some of these have been converted at some point. But official release? No, I don't believe so. Here, hang on a minute. I think I still have open here somewhere. Uh, yes, I still have the uh, the PN the uh, the image of like the Toho timeline. Where does this fall in? So it's 16, right? Yeah. I don't know a single thing about Toho outside uh... of like Great who played it once. Oh, <laughs> it's just Cerno gets a tan. The only thing I know about Toho is Bad Apple, which is on literally everything. I don't care what it is, it has somehow played Bad Apple. Mm -hmm. I I think back to the Sonic hacking contest that Freeze and I covered where one of the expo entries was just Bad Apple, but it runs in Sonic 1. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Doesn't surprise me. Bad Apple has been played in Minecraft and Factorio, which are both just Turing complete, so that's not interesting. Flipboards. I mean, yes. Text editors. Multiple text editors. It's been played in literally Notepad. It's been played in Terminal. I'm pretty sure there are multiple people who've played it on their fridge. It's competing with Doom for the number of things you can play it on. Yeah, that tracks. Like, Bad Apple is the video is to video what Doom is to video games. It's like, can it play? There's an NES from Bad Apple. Of course there is. Mine's <laughs> Phase on from my one? first exposure to Toho was Bad Apple in Minesweeper. <laughs> Hell yeah. I what think... I'm looking up my uh, history. Oh, God. There, is, there is someone who's like making it their life goal to play Bad Apple on everything they can. And as far as I'm aware, the one thing they haven't done yet is make Bad Apple on Bad Apple videos. And I'm waiting for it. Because I know it's going to happen eventually. Uh, yeah, so I found, uh, so in my, in my history, there is Bad Apple, but played on the new copper bulbs from Minecraft. Uh, Bad Apple, but it's a Windows virus. Bad Apple, but it's a magic guy. Bad Apple, but played through AI-generated paintings. Oh, God. Bad Apple, but it's only the YouTube subtitles. <laughs> oh, God. There's the Bad Apple, but only YouTube videos, effectively. Yeah. Uh, shit. Bad Apple played on Desmos with Bezier curves, basically a graphic calculator. Ha! Uh, oh my fucking god. How's that bitrate holding up, chat? 
Bad Apple on the, uh, what's the, what's the name of the memory Oh, what? I didn't even see that shot, damn it. Uh, really? Yes. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna post that one in the mod room. Oh yeah, the, ba the bad apple on r slash plates. That's fucking wild that that is even a thing. Our right, is bad right. apple is just yes. an astonishing amount of work to get that to function. Like, the amount of coordination you need, and they did it. They mm -hmm. set up a plan, and they executed on it. Yeah, that's impre I, I like, fucking love that. There's there's some really amazing coordination efforts on there. Um, the the fact r slash Factorio got belts going halfway across the damn thing, and all the different flags except the Canadian one, which just looks insane, because um, they can never standardize something. <laughs> but, yeah. But Bad Apple in our place is just ridiculous. Because you have to do not one image, but every frame. Mm -hmm. I... Mind blown. Internet is fucking dedicated to to bad apples specifically. I like that when I looked in, I looked for bad apple in my uh, YouTube history just to see like how many versions I'd seen. I could only find one, and it's a Siva Gunner rip done in the Super Hexagon sound format. Hell yeah! And there's definitely a couple of Siva Gunner ones in my history too. Bad Apple uh, is one of the songs. Actually, it's two of the songs that have made it onto my loop playlist, which means I have listened to them enough to where I have listened to just that song for at least a week straight. What's this? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what Toho song I really here. know. Well, you and Owen. Who wants some? Oh, is that Toho? Yeah. That's supposed to be the same song. No. Just a cup. Bad Apple Get and you and Owen was her are two slacker. different songs. They are both Toho. I just heard yeah, Duke yell, who wants some? I didn't hear the music. I was very confused for a second there. <laughs> 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 but yes, uh, both of those songs have actually made the public playlist because blanks. both of them have been played I'm out of here. far too much. Mitcharian tries Meta to kill Duke Nukem with bullets and blanks and says, well, a year has passed. Granted, my birthday is almost over, but here's to another year, I guess. Happy birthday, Mitcharian. Here's hoping it was a good one. All right, let's get back to this. Someone played Bad Apple on a Bad Apple, as in literally a, a rotten apple. rotting apple that they carved Bad Apple into. I hate that. I'm yep. counting that as the meta that I was looking for. I love people. I'm going to copy this Shit. into chat. I'm out Please of continues too. Me. I can't continue anymore. I don't know if it's just because of how far I am in the game or I just ran out of continues, but... Not accidentally ban someone by misclicking. Why not? Yeah, it continues. Okay. Dang. Like, we're right. roughly at time though, so it makes sense. All That's right. Well, I mean, that works out pretty good. Yeah. Spell practice. Oh, stage practice. Made a stage five out of six, not bad at all. Well, not bad for not having played a Toho game in a long, long ass time. All right. Uh, well, normally this is when I would be running a raffle, but we already know what our next game is. We're gonna be doing Fancy Star Online too. So I'm just gonna go to break now, I guess. Woo. Let me make sure this is in fact up to date and there's not any surprise one coming my way. What if we ran a raffle for the game after PSO2? You know when we could do that? After PSO2. After PSO2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because then we would just have a break after PSO2 or you did nothing. So it's either nothing now or nothing later. So. 
bad apple. Nothing now, because we know it's next. Bad apple, but it's on John's intermission screen. <laughs> oh, the track associated with the music video is 100% a remix. Yes. That it's... that song has been remixed a million times over. Why put it off when you original... could do it now? Because Lime because I have ADHD. Mm. Yeah. Like, right. Bad Apple is from, like, one of the PC-98 games, so yeah. Steven's literally remix. said PC-98, so... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the, like, one of the old songs, technically. Which is very cool, though. No, you didn't get to her, the final boss of this game, the mastermind of the Four Seasons incident. Her name is Okina Ma Matara. And she's a god that's completely secret and hidden. She's also one of the four people who created the giant barrier that separates Kensokyo from outside world. She has the ability to create doors on the backs of people and traverse through them to her special dimension you're in. She did this whole thing as an elaborate job interview. <laughs> God, I love did she Toho get the job? lore sometimes. Toho uh, lore is wait. so stupid. Yuki, thanks for sending me Tyrion Cuthbert, Attorney of the Arcane, and Just King Dion, thanks for sending me Noita. Ooh. Doors on the back of people's to traverse through them. Isn't that just... Isn't that just Psychonauts? I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> One brain cell. Yeah, and it's thinking about Psychonauts, because the Psychonauts are in there. Psychonauts is great. <laughs> good. They're just running they're running around in my brain. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> they're they're throwing my fucking brain cell around with their psychokinesis or whatever the fuck. Yeah, Ra Raz just going e e e e e e God. <laughs> Alright. That would explain so much. Alert wise co is up now, by the way. Amethyst Leslie for 67, Warrior Fire for 80, Sabrai for 78, Esper Magic for 70, Etrin Persona for 69, nice, Spectre Rhino for 40, NYPD 83 for new, Damon Katamaru for 80. I hope you enjoy the character creator, thanks Damon. <laughs> Devens for 46. Uh, ooh, here's hoping for good luck, Devens. CD Chow for 78, Zebra Rick for 42, Guyman Online for 55, HP Bouncy 64 for 40. Ah, that would do it. Okay. Slick Duke for 39, J Spoke gifted a sub to Swift for Sweeper, Shy Arc for 76, Naoto Plays for 91, Awogenator for 38, Quiet Redhead for 47, G to G1 for 42, Still Here Turning O2 to CO2 for 11, Bomber Think for 62, Chaos Deva for 20. Hey, John, so back on Saturday, I had a weird dream, and you were in it. It starts with me and some bright, colorful Fall Guys-looking stage of a race, but detailed characters akin to Fortnite. But I was myself, and everyone but me had weapons. The race starts, and I hear you talking as I ran frantically as you try to shoot me, and your comment in laughter how this NPC is screaming, and I shout back, John, you nincompoop, I'm a viewer, stop shooting! <laughs> John, come on, I what are you doing? I had a gun. That, that's not an excuse. I had a gun in a video game. No, I, 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 I agree. On, I agree with this point. This is a Your good Honor, point. I had a gun. <laughs> what else uh, was I supposed to do? Doctor Zock for sixty-seven. Unedited Bear for one hundred and seventeen. Shell G for one hundred and nine. Team Man sixty-four for seventy-three. Disgruntled Psyduck for 46, C Russ 90 for 9, a Flaming One Up for 87, Princess Corona Games for 32, Thunder Crates for 22, Trojan Horse for 107, Plasma Phoenix for 74, Toku Drew for 36, and Nards of Doom for 78. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of. Oh, the rest of the dreams here in chat. After, right. I, after I scream that, John says, Wait, did someone just tell me to stop shooting? I scream back, John, you get glitches all the time, but I'm stuck in the game. I need to beat this race alive. As John says, oh shit, this is a real person. His chat is reacting with a mix of uh, Proton LOL and Proton Uh-Oh. And John wasn't the only one in this weird Fall Guys Fortnite crossover. There was No Limit, Massey, and Green, and all of them were gunning for me. John gets them to stop, and I manage to finish. <laughs> well, you're welcome for not killing you. I think I can say that. There's another not. person I can add to my list of people I'm apparently in the dreams of for some reason. There you go. You will give me an all right, going to break. I don't like this song right after that. <laughs> <laughs> going to break. When we come back, Dreamwatch and Fantasy Star Online 2. See you guys in a bit. Bump beat. I need to refill my water bottle because it is empty. Be right back. So how are you two doing? 
I'm doing good. I'm just doing my dailies in PSO2. That's I'm good doing day. good. I'm watching a little bit of Animu, and then I'm going to be working on uh, something for Coliseum. Ooh, Ooh, nice. I was also watching Animu earlier tonight with some friends. I did that earlier this week. Uh, what did I do today? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Absolutely kind of nothing. I no just... one said anime. Ella manga. We said animu. They are different. In which they are not different at all. Mainly just added more things to my backlog that had been They're like, different in that ending. only people who have watched anime say animu. <laughs> sure. God, I found out recently that thanks to Hulu, Danganronpa is now on Disney Plus in a technicality. What? Because of Hulu. The Hulu, oh. all the Hulu shows are on Disney Plus now. Through like, it, it uses Hulu to add them on there. So Danganronpa, the animation, is now just on Disney Plus, as well as JoJo up to part five. Huh. I love how video stream, how tv streaming and movie streaming has literally become cable except not cable except unless you have comcast in which case you get your internet over cable in which case it is literally cable except more complicated yeah weren't we talking about this like a few days ago yes literally yeah, a few days yeah. ago it's a nightmare streaming is Nagito Kamida is my favorite disney princess mine too bell clover <laughs> mine too <laughs> Mm. Hmm. Hmm. There are sentences that should be. Are, are you said. coming to a stop, time thief? Are you? Is, has your car come to a stop? Because you sounded like you're stop. going very fast and then decided to slow down. Mm, my heart's coming to a stop from that sentence. <clears throat> Does that make Samugi Shirogane a Disney princess? No, because she didn't show up in any of the anime. I mean, Danganronpa three is also not on Disney Plus anyway, but like. V3 is game exclusive, so all those characters, they're not animated. <laughs> there was at least two gear shifts in there. I counted three. <laughs> <laughs> Though CO2 has a, has a point that Monokuma does count, because Monokuma is in Danganronpa the animation. Well, are yeah, you, of course he is. Are you a Disney princess in your heart? <laughs> A dream is a wish your heart makes when it's fast Dang asleep. I don't know how to feel about my dreams and wishes then in that case. <laughs> are, are you telling Listen, me you the moment I made that quote, the moment I started that quote, I was like, oh no, wait, I, I, I realized what bit I've done and I have to commit at this point. I can't back out because literally the first two words are a dream. Uh. <laughs> John, are you telling me you wouldn't want to be a badass Valkyrie? I mean, I yeah, would. that'd be badass. You're right. It would be awesome to fucking fly around, have wings, and shoot shit and stab shit. But some things would change if that happened, so... Yeah, I was gonna say, I think there's a there's a key point you're missing There's here. a key element of the Valkyrie thing that would be, come into play. Yeah, <laughs> you're fine. You'll be fine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's not like it's the first time. Thanks, artists. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Let's do alerts, and then we'll go into Dream Watch, and then we'll get into Fantasy Star. Online too, because if I say just Fantasy Star, that's also a game. So. <laughs> oh yeah. In a series. Why did it take me that long to realize <laughs> that those two were related? <laughs> What? He, she didn't realize that Fantasy Star and Fantasy Star Online are the same series. Because I never think about them in this. I never think about Fantasy Star. I just think about Fantasy Star Online. <laughs> See, Two. I'm the opposite of Star. I didn't know they were different. Fantasy Star is a Japanese role playing game, Fantasy Star Online is an MMO. An action. Yeah. MMO. The way I've had them described to me before, other than one is this genre, the other is this genre, I thought they were the same game. Nope. 
Yeah. You can play some of the fantasy stars on Facebook. I got it. I thought I read it out. Did I not? You should have been one of the first ones I read out. You can play some of the fantasy stars on uh, what's the Switch Online, can't you? Ye I think there's one. I think three or four are... might on be on there. Yeah, one of them is on like, there. Yeah. yeah, one of them. A few of them, I think. And I know you can buy Fantasy Star 1 as a as like a special version on like Sega Archives or something like that. Fans. Uh, Alright, alerts-wise, what do we got? Oh, a lot of these don't have a message. After the Cobalt says, Thank you for streaming tonight. I've had five oral migraines since last Wednesday, including one starting just before the stream. Where I've had a total of three in 2023, so I need something to take my mind off it to keep uh, help keep my anxiety about it under control. Oh, man, that sounds awful. Hopefully you're going to be okay, Afro. Holy shit. Baby Blue Ford says, As someone who plays on hardest difficulty, do not be afraid to play on easy. I know, but I, I, I pick normal because normal is normal. I know it's Toho. I know I should be using bombs more because I forgot this, this is the kind of shmup that actually restocks your bombs when you get hit. I'm so used to shmup. I, I think, I don't know what cave shooters do it, but there's some cave ones I play that are just like, yeah, you don't get any bombs until you continue. So I tend to hang on to them as long as I can. I also didn't help that I mapped uh, slow to a very bad button. I mapped it to Xbox Y. Mm. So that was not a good spot. I should have mapped it to a bumper. Or a trigger. Yeah. Uh, oh, whoa, says, you know, speaking of Toho's, I often wonder how many plates funny Night of Nights lady washes a day. Luckily, with the power of dishwashing simulator on Steam, we can find out just what it's like, perhaps. What? What? Dish, dish, dishwashing simulator. Why? I I thought the simulator thing died when, like, in, like, the mid-2010s. Nope. I mean, no. I mean, no. They they are going strong. Ooh, rappies. Yeah, I mean, like, like, farm simulators, simulators like, like doing that. gangbusters. Oh, no, yeah, of course, like, the actual simulators. But I thought, like, joke simulators. The, this like, game the apparently has sold a thousand units because there's a thank you page on their Steam page on April 7th saying thank you for selling a thousand units. But I guess it only came out April 3rd, so... Like, like the, obviously there's still normal simulators like that. Power, like Power Wash is a simulator game, so like. Yeah, yeah, like the the difference between a joke simulator and a real simulator is like kind of blurry at this point. Is it? Eh. Clockwork says, "Just want to let you know I beat Gunstar Heroes today. Kick-ass game. Hell yeah, nicely done, Clockwork." Domo Arigato says, I just finished adding a little under 16 hours of music to my MP3 player. It now sits at just under 58 hours total with 1,164 songs and music. I could have added 12 hours and 250 music tracks with Minecraft Dungeons alone, but decided against it. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I, how much I have on my iPod. I have a lot, because I know it's got 70 gigs of music on it. Because it's a 120 or 160 gig model, and I got at least 70 on there. I don't really you still had your iPod. Oh, yeah, I still use it all the time. I use it when I drive my car. And if I go on any trips. So, I today I was listening to thrice. Because I just really wanted to listen to the artist in the ambulance. Or I just wanted to yell as I was driving down the highway. Uh, we all. Yeah. Tree says, mm -hmm. Are you going to tell me that I'm missing Toho because of work? Me, the girl who draws Zune style alts? I'm so sad. I'm sorry, Tree. It would have been a little later, so you would have caught it then, but tis the way it goes. Faison Farmer says, My favorite Toho detail is that when Hidden Star was announced for Steam, Zune was asked if there'd be an official English translation, and his response was basically, Nah, the fans have been doing that for years, and I wouldn't want to trample over their hard work. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, that's pretty funny. St stay in his lane. Codename Vixen says, To be honest, every time someone mentions the name Toho, my singular brain cell goes to Japanese orange juice. What? Yeah. Sure, why not? What? I don't get that. I don't know that one. I'm not sure. Somebody hasn't had Japanese orange juice. I I haven't. Yeah, that's what I said. I, I've played 100% orange juice. Someone says different. deep cut, so apparently some people got it. All right, and with that, mm. let's go into Dreamwatch. I 
get Dimension the Festival? Eighth and ninth. No, that was Monday night. Okay. So dreams are back. So I had a long stretch of basically nothing happening, and now they're I'm starting to remember them again. But in traditional fashion, I start remembering them again and weird shit starts happening, so. April 8th and 9th. Again, nothing. Gotta be from sleeping so late. Only thing I remember is some sort of festival and seeing two pictures of the same girl, I could not tell if it was Deandra or Claire, in a kimono overlaying and making the picture move somehow. Uh, this is Jen followed by me passing out for a nap yesterday. This, this happened in the span of 10 minutes, so this is telling you just how fucking tired I was that day. Uh, Claire, John, and myself are all in a ballroom chatting amongst ourselves. The point of view is some camera off in the distance, but I seem to still be me. Suddenly a hand comes into shot for a quick second, making me realize the point of view is first person from somewhere else. I shout out, that's not a camera, and end up snapping awake from the surprise. This is then followed by the dream I have that night. Got woken up a lot, so dream is spotty, but I remember this. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a passenger in a car on a winding road, no real markers to follow. Don't know who's driving, but it's a guy. He's sure to lead to the hotel we're looking for, so he keeps going. Eventually, he makes it to a stop sign, and I look around and recognize a gas station in the hotel. They were right, and it looks like a road I recognized from earlier in the dream somehow. We drive up to the hotel, but the hotel looks very intimidating, with metal, under, uh, with metal uncovered walkways and rope bridges. Forbidden siren view, huh? I mean, like I said, it was weird that it was just like off the cameras off in the distance I thought it was just like a camera and then suddenly I see a hand as if like they're like moving it for a second realizing Oh, that's not a camera. That's someone's field of vision. Oh shit uh, There's a gap in the dream because I wake up in the dream on a mattress on the floor I'm in an apartment, but there's a lot of people in it Some trying to sleep others not someone knocking on the door is what woke me up and I start to get up and get to the door uh, but someone else gets the door instead. It's a letter delivery. Who the fuck delivers mail at 4 a.m.? I sleepily mutter. The person who opened the door hands me an express post envelope and sits on a large ottoman next to me. They've got multicolored hair and a slim build and seem very familiar. They sit around and watch me open it and inside I find a bill. My mom express shipped a bill to me that was due before I got home from the trip I'm on. It says it's due March 29th and I comment that we're not going to be home until April at least. Put the letter on a nearby counter and try to go back to sleep. The girl who opened the door is still sitting on the ottoman looking at me. I tell her, you know, half the rooms have unused beds, right? And count out three beds and rooms on that side, one belonging to a roommate. The person on the ottoman says, nah, I just want to be here with everyone. Curls up like a cat on the ottoman and nods off. Uh, I decide to get up and use the washroom. In the living room, as I seem to have been partly sleeping in the kitchen for some reason, I see my roommate in the apartment chatting with someone with uh, curly pink hair and glasses who waves hi to me and smiles. I take note of what I'm wearing as I'm fully dressed but wasn't sleeping in my actual bed for some reason. I'm wearing an oversized fuzzy green sweater and blue flare jeans. Odd, I don't, know any I don't own any of these. I start walking past others and make it to the bathroom and start trying to recall the dream I was having before being woken up by the mail delivery. And I succeed. It's me in a movie and game rental store. I'm with a bunch of my university friends like G, renting some games. I grab a copy of X-Men 97 for the Xbox 360 and hand it to G. Why does this version of me feel different from me somehow? I catch his reflection in a nearby mirror. He seems normal, but he pauses for a second and stares like he's staring at me and starts to say, who's there? But that's when the dream recollection ends. I'm now washing my face in the sink, trying to place why he felt different when I hear a bump against a wall. I peek out into the hallway and see a guy crawling towards a motion light in the hallway, trying to unplug it so he can sleep. Hey, I can get that, but before he reaches the light and unplugs it, uh, but, if, but he reaches the light and unplugs it before I finish the sentence. <sighs> Never mind. I go back and start cleaning up the bathroom for, uh, for a bit while seeing flashes of X-Men characters posing like they're in a game title screen. What's going on? I start to leave the room, but the bathroom counter is somehow too close to the other wall and it's hard to walk past. The room starts to spin a bit and I get it, start getting a headache. I walk towards the tub and see an orange cat in it, sleeping. It's not Bagel, but I recognize the cat. I try to take a picture of him, but my alarm goes off and wakes me up in real life before I can. So... Yeah, I apparently... I think what happened was I was dreaming as someone else that I thought was me. And the dream I had was actual me. Because that's what it feels like, because... The dream, the dream guy who was, like, getting the game and hanging out with G... 
that felt like me, but and looked like me. But it was just a weird, like, multi-layered dream thing again. Well, now I understand why you said that response to the dream is a wish your heart makes, because that's a pretty fucked up wish. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't even know, like, I, I couldn't even begin to interpret what that would even mean. I seem to convince in the hotel, or sorry, in the apartment building that I was me, but not. And I seem to convince that the dream version was me, actually me. So clearly, I think I saw an alternate universe. I think that's what's happening. So you saw an alternate alt universe in this stream? I know, weird, huh? <laughs> All right, it's time. Let's go to Fancy Star Online 2. Oops, I hope if I spelled it right. Not fantasy. <laughs> there we go. That's a completely different game. Yeah. That someone, probably exists already. Someone should make a game called Fantasy Star. I would play it. Of course you would. And it pro if it doesn't exist, then be the change you want to see in the world, Green. <laughs> I'd have to learn how to program. I don't know how to do that. I, I barely knew how to play WarioWare DIY. I can teach you if you want. I was, I was also going to say, like, if you need help making that game, I will help. <laughs> All right. I would help the stocks. So... All right, this might be loud, so apologies. Oh, do I need a controller for this, or is this a KBM game? Uh, either or. Whichever one your heart desires. Okay. Although I play with controller because I can. <laughs> but yeah, it's either one. Just waiting for it to boot up. Shouldn't take too long. I don't think. I mean, you say that. I. <laughs> Who's ready you for the what? next raffle? <laughs> <laughs> Starting to feel that in my heart. Uh, it is booting. You should go see a doctor about that. I, I doctor think it's who? Boot. Where did where did the installer go? Uh oh. You mean like you mean the uh. I don't, think so. the, uh... I don't think they call it installer, but it's like the, the little thing that you that pops up before. The new Genesis logo popped up on my screen, and now nothing is happening currently. Weird. I don't. Also, we don't see anything. Yeah, I don't know if you see yeah, anything. I don't see anything either. Clearly, you should be playing the new Mega Drive. <laughs> Hang on, let me Jesus. open up Task Manager to make sure it's actually doing something. Play the old Saturn. <laughs> Anti-malware su service executable. Oh, it's Microsoft Defender. Okay. Uh, the averagely aged Dreamcast. PSO2 Tweaker is open. PSO Tweaker? That's what I was told to install to make things run faster. Oh. Yeah, so Tweaker's oh, wow. still running. I think okay. I think I think that's mostly if you're like playing like original PSO2, but but uh, mm. it it's been be two minutes since things. the tweaker tried to start PSO2. It looks like it hasn't started up yet. Please make sure your Steam account has a license for PSO2 and that the Steam client is open. It is required to be to be open to do Steam API calls. If the Steam PSO2 page opens up, click play game once and then try launching from here again. It could also be an issue with Game Guard, so try troubleshooting fix Game Guard as well. Well, I've that answers that at least. Game Guard in the past, I guess. MMOs, baby. Japanese MMOs. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh. really? What happened? Oh. I swear to God, if it's another download. Oh, don't, don't even. I swear to God, don't tell us that. Don't jinx it, please. Not like well, this. Well, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a jinx if it's already happening. 
I'm gonna go ahead and add the game to my library because apparently I didn't have it on Steam. No! Come on! What were you downloading it through? The tweaker, which I was told to do! Oh no! Don't tell me I have to download and install it again. I, oh no! I... So this when, round, Power yeah, Trooper you don't have to, to install the game on Steam. Many... Okay, it okay. So there we go. So I'm not crazy for thinking that's the case. I mean, I get. Yeah, I don't think you have to install it on Steam, but just need ownership on Steam. Okay, so yeah, I've got ownership on Steam now. Okay, let's see if okay. that fixes it. We just have to figure out as many ways as possible to not play PSO2 tonight. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, Tweaker's still running oy, again. Oy vey. Hey. Oh, something flashed. Turn the Wii U on. God. That's a callback. Take it from me, I also play through this method. Fair enough. Well, I mean, I'm going to jump back to intermission while we're stuck waiting. I mean, well, I... Well, I get Wolf Link. Uh, do you play original PSO2 or Genesis? I'm going to guess original. You can play PSO2 on the Sega Genesis? Yeah. <laughs> no, you cannot. And I can play PS2. On the Genesis. You can play PSO one on the GameCube with the keyboard controller. I do not own the keyboard controller, tragically. It'd be funny. It would be funny. How much is it? The controller? Probably hundred bucks now. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's not even in production anymore. I see, I see, like, it's 200, 200, 900, 400, 200, 200, 300, 200. It's just like, oh, God. Oh, boy. I wonder if somebody can, like, if somebody out there could, like, make a new version of it, like a fan. A fan probably a USB <laughs> version. I, I mean, probably. Or, but they could probably, like, make, I mean, people still make, like, custom Smash controllers that are just custom game controllers and all that. I mean, I have a, I have a Switch controller that is essentially just a GameCube controller. Yeah. What? Oh, it's running the wrong PSO2 app. Now. Come on. I remember upsetting so many people by telling them that I played Tekken with a GameCube controller. They were like, "Why would you?" And I was like, "Because it's there." <laughs> so I, what I know about like PSO2, at least how I play, is like. I play New Genesis, but apparently the way that it works now is that, like, Whoop. you can have a character, you can load in a character and then just say, I want to play through Genesis or or Original in the same app. They're two different downloads, but they're, like, in the same app. I don't know what you're... Well, let's see what you got. You got something now? I hope yeah, so. Yeah, I got a window now. Oh, I just have to figure out how to get OBS to detect it. OBS should be detecting it any second now. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's that new Genesis opening. Fuck okay. yeah. Apparently I turned, made it too quiet. Oh man, I love Sonic Frontiers. I mean... No, here's the thing. When Sonic Frontiers was announced, I was like, Oh, I love <laughs> PSO2 New Genesis. <laughs> let's, let's be real. Frontiers ripped this game off, alright? <laughs> Yeah, but which one's... Well, I was going to say which one's more well-known, but this is an MMO. If it's still alive, it's probably more well-known. Yeah. Is it? Is it actually still alive? Because the only time I've heard of PSO is in reference to the fact that the GameCube modem existed for this game, effectively. Oh, this game is... Oh, this game is still... Yeah, this game is played by a bunch of people. I mean, this is, I mean, it's kind of the same thing with, like, how Final Fantasy XI is still played by people. Like, the original is still active enough that, like, new content is being made for it all the time. And, yes, they are still making new content and stuff for this game, so, yeah. Fair I enough. would say that it is still an active game. Which I'm glad, because I like this one. So is this a sci-fi setting or a fantasy setting? 
yes. sci-fi. It's basically a sci-fi game. Okay. Technically, and I had this discussion literally Monday, sci-fi mm -hmm. is a subgenre of fantasy in general. However... Technically, yes. However, the vast majority of people have the connotation of fantasy being... Um, High fantasy. Yeah. Sci -fi, I mean, science fiction is like... The idea is like the idea of like taking stuff that exists in real life and like speculating, like into the future, kind of, of that kind of technology. But I, I mean, I you don't even have to speculate into the future. Like a lot of sci-fi, you can just speculate by just breaking the known rules. True, true. But yeah, but it's like it's like taking stuff that exists or like concepts that people know of and like speculating. What can you do? What what else could you do with this kind of concept? Like, that's why uh, like Frankenstein is considered the first sci-fi novel. We come from the far off year of two thousand and two. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I love that. No, yeah. I'm glad this UI is exactly what I expected for a game like this. Yep. Like the no the sound effects, the uh, visual aesthetic, like everything, it just looks exactly like It is a like very beautiful game. Starting the recommended ship, and by that I mean Ur. You want me in Ur? Is that the one you're on? Yes. <laughs> I think that's where most people play, so. Yeah, I so wish I could join in, but I didn't set up in advance. I mean, I don't have save data no, anywhere else, so I don't need to bother with this, right? Yeah. You. Uh. Sure. Uh, again, you don't have another account, so you can you don't have to worry about that. Ship two is usually the English one. Yeah. I don't know if that's true, but like again, what a that nice is just... name. Yeah, it rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> yeah, an eight one zero zero two four. Okay. Like well, yeah, you can just change, change it to whatever you want. with the mouse. Game has to move attack, change with the gamepad. I'll do KVM for now. Actually, did somebody, somebody take a picture of that? <laughs> oh, is that bad to have shown? No. No, I'm just saying... Like, That's literally somebody, my username so I, so... in the game at the moment until they let me actually do that. Fabulous I, I meant, his presence. I'm... I meant just so I could immediately like send him a friend request. I uh, yeah. know, baby Sonic. I can I get Sonic it. earrings. There's a lot of Sonic stuff in these. But games. I want in real life. Where is my character? To the left. To the left. Enable oh, cell boy, shading. Ooh. Right, they added that recently. The funny thing is, they both look very good. I. They do look pretty good, but like. The cell shading does kind of like give it a bit more of a stylized look that looks that separates it from like the original look. I like it, but they're both That's good. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. That's pretty. Cool. Uh, I am so conflicted right now from like cool and jumpsuits and then like and then like half robots and then fucking complete robots. This, Is one this... of those just Mithra? On Probably. The bottom row. Wow, a yeah, that's bit. uh <laughs> That's pretty, <laughs> pretty close. That's, that's pretty <laughs> Mithra, yeah. That's Mithra she decided to cosplay as Cosmos. Make a cast. <laughs> Everyone's like make a cast. Well, I thought somebody would say make a cast. That looks like a dang and rompa character. That's Kibo. That's just Kibo. <laughs> Legally distinct, yeah, that's right. And these are just your base options, you can customize pretty much everything else. Pretty Go much, to yeah. detailed creation. Yeah, <laughs> the entire D is just gonna be the. Yeah, oh, yeah just, no, you, just have the entire segment with. just be character creation. I think that's exactly <laughs> no. what they were expecting. If I'm being let, honest, let me let me put it this way: when New Genesis was being developed before the actual game came out, they actually put out an app that was just the character creator, so people could create their characters ahead of time for the real game. Time thief. I have a really stupid question. Did I see one of those species is called the Newman? Yep. <laughs> I, for some reason, that is something that I knew was a thing in this game. I'm just thinking yep. about the guy from Seinfeld now. Just being there. We uh, go. Now we're fucking talking. Hell yeah. Uh, 
Hell yeah. Good lord. Let me double check what species is my character right now. Because I think mine actually is a Newman. Uh, character Newman. Foe. Yep, my race is Newman. <laughs> I don't remember the all the lore stuff, but yeah. Wayne Knight with elf ears. Hello, Newman. They're the magic <laughs> race. They were in PSL 1, 2. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, so these are cho like, man. That last one you hit. Oh, no, I can't make that reference. The, the fun, the fun, the one nice thing I do like about this is, that, is uh, you can basically like swap out like body parts and outfits and stuff like willy nilly even after this. So, like, if you, I have like a guy character, but I could easily make a female character if I wanted to by just swapping out like outfits and stuff. So, you're not like confined to whatever gender you pick or anything. So, you know. Do you need to play PSO one to play PSO two? No, and you also don't need to have played the original PSO two to play New Genesis. You have to play Fantasy stuff. Okay, I did actually make a cast. Okay. Yeah. I guess the I, this does technically fall into that weird of thing of like uh, where it's like gender is like the males are like bulky robots and the females are like ooh but curvy. <laughs> Can you confirm the existence of an item that I don't believe exists called Ballooned Bosom? Oh, yeah. No, I've, I've heard of that. It's literally you can just buy a bigger bus. It's, like, stupidly expensive, I heard. What the fuck? I, I have to pay I for titties? This is bullshit. No, you don't. I can tell you right now. No, you don't. You, If you... I've seen people get creative with, like, adding <laughs> accessories on them that just makes it look like giant titties. That's amazing. Uh, oh, that's but, cool. I like that. I don't like how smug this one is. I kind of do like I, how smug this one is. I'm, I'm I love right Oh now. my god, I love that. I've, de I've definitely seen people that are literally 95% boob. What? Like, I, is that hyperbole or are you, are you not even Not boob? even a little bit. How not does that I'm work? Not... Does very roll? big boob. Does they just roll? <laughs> you'd think. You'd think. I've seen some shit. I mean, I'm not the type to be like, oh, her back hurts, but like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. You know what? Like, now I'm. If you're now... not being hyperbolic, those numbers are absurd. Yeah, no, I've seen some shit. What's the other 5%? The the, the character. <laughs> well, that's cute. Come There's a lot of cute. Uh, that <laughs> reminds me of... Oh my god. <laughs> I love this hairstyle. I, I do love, again, that like, I think PSO2 original kind of like... <laughs> there, no, I didn't expect the yeah, physics on it. That's candy. the thing I didn't ex I didn't expect. Oh yeah, no, this game has very... A lot of jiggle physics. In a lot of places where you wouldn't expect. And in places where you would. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Yeah, no, I'm not even... I'm not either. Why did some of these sure look I... like a lot newer portrait-wise than the others? Because, uh, so what it is is that, um... The older ones are the PSO2 original models and stuff. Because mm -hmm. the idea was that you could port your PSO2 character into New Genesis just straight up if you wanted to. So they they're, they have, like, uh, compatibility between both games like that. That's why there's stuff like that. Which Interesting. Is, is cool. It's like if you have a PSO2 original character, you can just immediately bring them into New Genesis without, like, making a new character but uh yeah that's why some stuff looks newer and some stuff looks older that's and you, you can't bring a pso2 new genesis back into pso2 because obviously and yes you can't just go back and play original pso2 like the game supports both i think it'll just be like here's options that aren't supported and they'll probably just like default you to other stuff but whatever Oops. No. Oh. You go for purple. 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 Ooh. Yeah, this is what happens when you give like John this much customization. Like, there's a lot you can do. Yeah, this is dangerous. Yeah. A little bit. Just, just a tiny amount. <laughs> <laughs> like... Wait, what about making it wider though? Oh, it just makes it net. <laughs> no, no, you can make it wider. <laughs> it's like popping the collar out. How do I put this back to normal? 
Uh, I don't think I can. I assume I assume just meet normal those four is what axes. you make of it. Fair. I assume just hit, hit the four what axes. What does the again. what does the neck angle do? Oh, that. <laughs> I'm headbanging. My eyes are kind of going up into my head. Don't think about it. Uh. You know. Shut up. <laughs> No, I think I should like the eyes she had. I hate that this is genuinely selling me on this fucking game. I hate this, because I'm just looking Yo. at it and like, I want to make Xander again. Good, join me. <laughs> I already have I already have 14. And like I said, Tiger's trying to... Yeah, but Tiger's this is, trying to convince me yeah. to RuneScape. I can't play yeah. three MMOs! I have ADHD! Alright, well here, can. here. That How means you should be playing three MMOs at the same time. Here's the thing, Star. Optimize. Here's Three the thing, Star. This one is good. Hey. <laughs> fuck you. Ah, uh, yes. I love MMO where I push button and then just get to watch the fight happen. It's not what 14 is. You push three buttons and watch the fight happen. <laughs> oh, joy. Oh, man. All my birthdays have come at once. <laughs> so, for, th for a second, I thought Time Thief was... Uh, describe using that to describe RuneScape. Then I realized, no, he's using that to describe all three of these games. <laughs> no, no. Uh, well, okay. So, <laughs> you got him. You got him. No, this game. This game is not that simple. This game is a. This game has a lot more of like active uh, combat than like something like RuneScape or 14. Like this game is a lot more of like moving around and having to like chase things. It feels more like an like a actual action RPG kind of thing. What, like a Xenoblade? Yes. So I could just play Xenoblade. <laughs> you could. Play Xenoblade. I know, <laughs> I know Ryan oh, would be happy. Oh my dude. Look, I love RuneScape, but saying that this game is actually good is actually accurate. <laughs> or is accurate. Wait, look, I love Ru Yeah. <laughs> No. Uh... RuneScape has some decisions. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it's it's got it's got like that nostalgic value. You need to master a your ADHD and be in multiple places at once. Why do you think I have a streaming career? <laughs> it's more that is the only reason to get video games done. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna- I was gonna say, like, Devil May Cry- What do you mean I, I could change quite... the teeth? Yeah. The fangs! You know, for fun! Oh, the fashion community in this game is... something else. Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna really, like, dig my character if- whenever you, like, run in here, if you do. I, 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 I kind of went, I didn't go too wild, but like, I, I picked a theme and I stuck with it. Keep and I'm really happy with what I did. And I'm also really liking your character. Tiny blip. See, the thing I find really funny is realizing that at least one artist will draw this character when it is done. Oh, hell yeah. Only one? I said at least one. I'm not gonna force people to draw things, but I expect, like, when a new character design is up, that, like, at least one artist will be like, ooh, that looks so fascinating, let me jump on that. I, at this point, have come to the assumption that if there is something that is going to get drawn, at least two, if not three, artists are going to draw it. Yep. And we are at the point where it is entirely possible that it's no longer artists are going to draw it, it's artists have already started drawing it. <laughs> <laughs> Sync yeah. mouth positions based on vowel, what the fuck? What? I didn't realize that was a thing you could adjust. Did they add that recently? You, you can just- You can make her pog! <laughs> you- Huh. I, uh... <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a pass on that one. It looks, like looks like a PS2 cutscene right there. I don't. Up, 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 up. Okay. Yeah. 
Some developer had a terrible idea, made this as a proof of concept, and it worked really annoyingly well. That is the only way this exists. Because this looks amazing. Wait, this is your so character fun. voiced? E they don't like speak in the cutscenes, but they do you can pick like the voices that play like during like exertions and stuff like that. I see. It's one of those kinds of voices. Much uh yet yet again, much like Xenoblade. Yeah, but Xenoblade doesn't do that. Xenoblade is fully right. voiced. Oh, uh, uh, X specifically. Uh never played X, so I have no idea. <laughs> the one that lets you have a custom character. Wait, excellence, you have a custom character? Really? I'm pretty sure that was the point. Why is there literally a titty slider? <laughs> when you know that. damn well why, John. They know their audience. <laughs> well, what size? Hang on, I'm gonna. I, I feel like if I, I'm gonna be fucking around with this way too long. I'm gonna go to easy edit. No! Let it be the whole stream. Don't even play the tutorial. Just make titty. I would <laughs> just, even make be mad. titty. <laughs> just make titty. Just make titty. Say the line, John. Look, it's right here. It's like chubby and Sega top heavy. Official Sega product, absolutely. And it's made the money. What, what is this even doing? Okay. Oh, that, never mind. oh yeah. What is it even <laughs> doing? Okay. <laughs> I don't think that was the intended effect. I don't think that was, in fact, the intended. Right okay, forward. so I get now. Nah, let, let's okay. Let's actually let's actually do the body type select. No, do that. Easy edit, I think, is what you were looking for. Or that? Yeah, that works. Fine, I'll give her the big booba. Thank you for humoring me and you're, also you're, everyone else present. You're welcome. Twisted my rubber arm. <laughs> hey, go back. <laughs> How many times can you twist this thing? I'll tie it in a pretzel. At that point, it's a liquid arm. You got Hand you got uh, Adventure Time arms going on. I don't want to fuck with this too much. I don't want to make a complete monstrosity here. See, this is why I always go for gender. It's easier that way. Is that, is that what you were trying to go for, monstrosity, or...? No, I'm not trying to do monstrosity. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I mean, it lengthen, lengthens your torso. Space for her internal organs? <laughs> or leg? Uh, uh, can I just cut in to say something real quick? Mm-hmm. So, uh, I was playing BB Tag with my girlfriend, so I was not paying attention to stream. I came back as you were, uh, fiddling with the tongue, and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's how it be. What do you mean ferret mode activate? God. Alright, let's see, what do we got for outfits? Anyway, that's all I want to say. Uh, unless, tonight, is tonight open call? No, it's not open call tonight. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm probably I'm probably gonna hop off after PSO two because I need a shower, but I just wanted to be here for this at least. All right, fair. You guys have fun. Mooch sent me what they were asking about, and I'm honest to god impressed that this was made in a character creator. What? Uh, the the stuff they were asking about from before. Oh, the balloon booba whatever yeah honestly a really good look that you've made yeah i really like it who is she it's a little too blue uh yeah put it on there Ah, red, my favorite color. Says Green Power Star. <clears throat> yes. What? No underwear, not allowed. Yeah. 
You only get bottoms, no top. Katie must be out. <laughs> I mean, it's... It, it, <laughs> yeah, time D, no, yeah. I was gonna say, it's like, you're not gonna take the outfit off, so you don't have to worry about it. Also, I guess you can't... Oh, you have to be robot to do all the cast stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. But I still got the part on the back, though. I think that counts as an accessory, technically. I can change the color of it. Then you that's probably one character from Fate. I don't know their name. I just they show up a lot. What is? Oh, Saber? here we go. Yeah, you're right. Tom it's Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. Shut up. Let's see what we, oh, options we have here for accessories. That's what we got are the thrusters. I almost well, don't gonna, uh, go back. Go back and add. You can add a separate accessory underneath that instead, so you can keep. Oh, the, glass. That thing the I know, but I don't know if I want to keep it. That's why I was doing that. Ah, gotcha. You can get glasses. Yeah. I can give myself a giant hat. Oh my <laughs> god. I can give myself a cowboy hat. Fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> what else do they give you by default? Is that a Naruto headband? Probably. It gave me these two things by default. These are the two things I had for my outfit. Mm-hmm. Well, it's on the second page. More glasses. Oh, so oh, Brian, I forgot. <laughs> you can look like Spider-Man. Oh, hell yeah. We're putting glasses on top of glasses, baby. Let's go. Yep. Ah, the Eggman look. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I kind of still want the cowboy hat. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, hey, is it is it a bad now. idea if I tell you that you can like edit the size and position of any accessory? That might be dangerous information to give you, but <laughs> oh, oh you, you weren't you me. weren't kidding. <sighs> I, I, I yes, oh. the giant <laughs> hat is here. <laughs> Looks like you could make it lower too if you just wanted to like oh. overlap your no, no, eyes. Hat. You were you were just nailed the hat. Congratulations. Yeah, just cover. Yeah. Is that as no, long I don't. It, it doesn't go that far down. That does not go that far down. Yeah. Oh, it's Real. probably Damn. referencing off the base size and not the now much bigger size. Yeah, because there we go. Ew! It's in your skull now. You cowboyed too hard. <laughs> Yeehaw, brother! Yeehaw! What have I done? God's will. Ye the the yeehaw is within me. <laughs> I do want the cowboy hat. I generally do want the cowboy hat. I am Hell now yeah. the wildest of cowgirls. Ye, and I cannot stress this enough. Ha ha. I love that the ponytail clips through the back of the hat. No, you you just put two holes, one in the back and then one in the brim, and then you feed the ponytail through both. I see. Uh, red hat. What color do we want our cowboy hat to be? Ah, uh, rose of turquoise. Rose of turquoise actually doesn't look that bad, though. What about purple? Yeah, the purple's pretty subtle. Uh, this hat ain't big enough for the both of us. Go the classic TF2 route and make it the neon pink. Ooh. Eh, it clashes too much. Yeah. Just like in TF2. <laughs> oh god, it the, the, what was the, the What was the color of your one for the smile time art? Like kind of a muted uh, light blue? For which one? I need the smile time art from a few years back when we did the oh, cowboy I thing. I, I, I might go. With, I might go with this lighter blue here. Hey, rhyme. I, I just want to point out, rhyme is downloading only the character creator because that's ah. what they want right now. Yeah. Go with God. <laughs> <laughs> I love when that a is... game is so self-aware of how powerful their character creator is that they just make that 
a thing you can download on its own. Like, I mean, yes. yeah. nothing else, none of the combat, none of the enemies, <laughs> none of the worlds, none of the other models, just the character creator. Saints Row did the same yep. thing. Also, I see that you layered a hat upon a hat now. I have indeed <laughs> layered a hat upon a hat. Good. Oh, God. I think I'm going for it. I think I'm going for the, the dual hat look. I think it's the right, right call here. It, it makes the brim look It feels better. right. It feels right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should probably make sure they're properly lined up, but it makes the brim look better. Kind of, there. Kind of makes it look like. Uh, a I don't know if the character that, creator is uh, by itself is on made. Steam, but you could probably download it like off the PSO2 website. I also I actually don't know if you can only get the character creator anymore. Uh, you probably still can, but it was originally just meant to be like for people who wanted to make their character before Genesis came out, but. You know, at this point. Now the real question is, what do I make that? I actually, what color do I make the other hat? Or do I make them both the same color so it looks like it's actually just a double-brimmed hat? You should yeah. make them different colors, but the second one has to be, uh, the one underneath has to be a very different color so that it's orange. I, I, I have to pick from these. I can't seem to pick from the other two. N Nico does bring up a good point. You can change the attached point of where the hat is, so it could be like on the side of your head or your wrist or shoulder or something. But <laughs> I, do, you, do you can put it anywhere on your body. Do, oh do man, I love the classic old hat ass. No, make make it so like they're hanging their hat on the on the chin strap on their back while also wearing a hat. Yeah. You know what? That's my the... that's my backup hat. One hat per boob. Top of head. <laughs> the jaw. There There's are many. Seven pages. Yes. You, you can pick can which. The groin. Here's what? my boob hat. This is the, the hat for my boobs. Yeah. <laughs> your they are on. always ready. They are always ready for a party. This is my party this... tit. <laughs> Yep, you can make a party tip. You can pick which individual finger you want it on. Oh my god. Oh my god. It, it's intense. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's that's kind of why I didn't point it out at first, but you yes, that is a thing you can do. Boob. Someone hat titty. As, as oh Zero J says, hat pauldrons? Tits, Madora, yeah. come on. <laughs> Matitty. I think just the, the more the dark, slightly darker blue works there. Do they there. have party hats as an option? Uh, no, probably. I didn't, I didn't see it. Well, Let's see here. Not a default. Not not by default. But let me check the. Let me check the. Wait, so I can give myself store. cat ears, but I cannot attach them to my head. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I got I got oh, cat ears oh. now. But let's change the advanced settings. So we're. Oh no, they thought of that. I cannot change where uh, the cat ears are. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Maybe because that's like one of the older things. Yeah, probably. Well, let me check the personal shop. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of digging this look. It's a really I good like look. I like it. it, no, it j I'm not even joking, that's a really good look. It is fun and full of shenanigans. But also like you. still incredibly reasonable. I'm not gonna call it incredibly reasonable, but I'm gonna call it acceptably reasonable. Yeah. Okay, fair point. It looks like a relatively normal character design while still being goofy as hell. You having fun there? I'm trying to find voices. <laughs> the voice test scared me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I thought for a moment I had something playing in a different tab. Uh-huh, tell me more, Deef. <laughs> I thought I had something else playing in a different tab. I'm like, who, who the fuck else is streaming? What happened? Did, did I leave a yeah. Twitch tab open or something? Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> What's the lowest pitch? 
Wa. I'm setting. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. What was it? Three? I think I had it at. Yeah, there we the go. The testosterone yeah. hit. <laughs> Change motion? Uh, yeah, like the default, like, uh, like run animations and jump animations and stuff. I don't think you're going to have that many different options to start with, but yeah. I would say, like, how do you want to, like, uh, idle stand? Or whatever. He's running. Oh, hover's enough. Oh, I can that fucking is. hover? Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, okay. That's real good! Yeah. <laughs> I love that! Okay, you don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I wish there was a jump option where every time you jump, you just do the Sonic Adventure pose. <laughs> there probably is, honestly. Wait, there is. Can you make custom animations? No. There's a, there's a lot of like different ones you can like unlock or buy or whatever, but uh, no, you can't like make custom ones. Oh. But there are some really there are some pretty stupid ones. Uh, <laughs> like there. Custom animation. This would probably be the single most powerful character creator I know of. There is one hover animation that I know of that is literally just. You are T-posing and then hovering down like a helicopter, just like spinning down. Uh, it's... Of course. Uh, of course. Because why wouldn't that be something <laughs> that added to the game? Yeah. I think there's also one where you fold up into like a helicopter. Jesus. It's a fucking transformer. Oh, I guess I, I mean, should update the call command. <laughs> or should I leave it? It's funny. What's, what is the call command? Oh, I... I mean, it's still accurate. That is all our names. <laughs> yeah? Do either of you care about the links? Because if not, I'm just going to leave it then. <laughs> nah. I'm, I don't my care. name is the same everywhere, so... Cool. Max outline emphasis looks like you've been Borderlands. Yeah, I mean, cell shading. <laughs> It. I have too much skirt. <laughs> <laughs> that that's is fine. how that feels. I can speak from experience. That's how that feels. This is this isn't changing anything. This is just like so you can look at how everything. Yeah, looks. I just want to see the poses. Oh yeah, absolutely. kind of like pose oh, too. Let's go spinny. This is my dance. This is how I dance. This is my that's dance. How I dance. Oh, this, I love this. <laughs> yes. dance. I, lo I love the. Whoop, yeah. whoop, 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 whoop. That's my favorite one. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god, I have to name her. Well, what name? This is not your character name. This, this is like uh like saving like the Oh, this is not the character name? Oh, okay. Then this is this is just like uh... This is like to save like the the character creation data kind of. Okay. Yeah, see. So now you Man, can just confirm it. Imagine how wild it would be just walking around an MMO with the name Power Trip. You could. <laughs> Is there anything else I want to add on anywhere else? I don't think so. I think I think we're kind of good with the character we have right now. <laughs> all right. For all that time. Now we have to make her class. Well. Do oh, I want sword? So Do I want mean. punch? Ah, oh, there's punching! I needed this game now. No. There's gun. There's gunner. Oh, no. Dual wielding. Oh, fuck. That's also so, really cool. So, yeah. So, the first two are like the melee class. The middle two are like the gun range class. And the bottom two are like the magic classes. Mm. That's that's like yeah, that's kind of like what that is. Yeah, no. The problem is like I'm like oh I'll probably do like fighter because I like I like Tifa style beat 'em up, and then I saw oh, dual yeah. wielding guns. I'm like oh shit. That's, yeah. That's my actual weakness. I think that actually is what I started with also. But no. But here's the thing. 
the class I'm currently am and the one I really wanted to play was Bouncer because you know what their weapons are? Jet boots. You just roll. You could just kick shit with like fucking roller skates. <sighs> All right. Well, you definitely, you definitely got me with that. So I'm doing good. <laughs> but yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't do Bouncer yet. But the Bouncer. To be fair, I'm watching that and that class info animation there. I'm like, that's just Dante. Uh, this is this is the Dante class. We're picking the Dante class. Now we have yep. to name her. Now you have to name her. There'll be a fee to change your name later. Oh no! You need, you need to, to commit to a name. If John can get past like, the tutorial and actually get into like seeing other people, and I would love to show people like what my character looks like. But here's we'll the thing: we've we already been in this hard. game for fi for 37 yes. minutes. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. <laughs> I mean, you know what I would suggest? What would you suggest? Yeah. Oh, you know. <laughs> What? I I gave you the benefit of the fucking doubt. <laughs> I I genuinely think you know what I would toss out. Would are you gonna say Claire or something? Yeah, I was okay. gonna be cheeky. How about Clarissa? Outfit. Let's meet in the middle. Ooh, I heard she explained she does, it all. She knows. Yeah. Hasty <laughs> <laughs> McRose. Hasty McRose. Are you sure you want to create your character with the information you've entered? You can re-edit your character for free if it is within three days of creating it. Interesting. I, I think know, I think no, we no, got no, a good character happened, yeah. here. Yeah, that's a good character. You got you got a winner right here. Clearly, you needed to make the titty bigger. I probably should go pro from the prologue. Probably, right? yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't know. That is the tutorial, so yeah. I guess that's like if you already know how to play and you're making like a second character or something. This is gonna sound like the most demented thing. Half the time with this UI, I just think it looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh game. It does remind me a bit of like Master Duel, so I can kind of see that. Yeah, or like Legacy of the Duelist. Time for the next game raffle, I mean. I, I almost said something I was gonna regret. Okay, that name is funny from a lore perspective, and you have no idea why. What? <laughs> yeah, someone oh, said there's a Clarissa in the game. Oh my god. What are the odds? I don't remember. Oh, whatever. Commencing ejection sequence. Stand by. Reaching target coordinates in 10 seconds. Oh, and PSO2, not NGS. Trajectory. Error adjustment complete. Five. Four. Three, five, two, five, one. Eject. My God. What? <laughs> How are you, gentlemen? <laughs> Wee! Uh, hey, the rest of the signs are looking that? wonderful today. It's a meteor. It's going to land nearby. Meteorn? I'll go take a look. We were ejected into hey, space. Wrong direction. Oh no, it's smoking. It's bad for its health. How do you it's know? lungs. <laughs> It'll mess up its lungs. Are you all right in there? Wait, It's Goku. God. He can't be Goku. He hasn't killed his grandpa yet. Thank goodness. It opened. Here, take my hand. This does have some Xenoblade-ass designs. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, really I just makes me think of Xenoblade. Of the blue. Especially it X, from what little I know of X. Are you okay? Uh... I'm Ina, <laughs> and you are? The fucking double hat. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy shit, you're That's giant. That's a really nice name. Big woman. Clarissa. She is also very, so nice she is also very tiny, to be fair. Come on, Those oops was chafed tone. like fuck. We can talk more there. Who needs chafing when I can float, bitches? 
Like we did. <laughs> Some reason that felt like you said it like Mr. B. This guy's the bitches, I think. Yes. As a warning, some of the player content in this game get you banned on Twitch. What? What? Oh! Well, he hasn't gotten to that yet. Like, that's not going to show up on stream anyways. But so, yes. Uh, no! Oh, player content is in people's outfits. Yes. Okay. Uh, not, not, not player content, but like... Uh, there's a thing called stamps, which are basically like... You can make like uh, little pictures and stuff that show up in chat. And uh, that also has like a very in-depth like... Uh, creator thing with like shapes and colors and shit and people have made <laughs> some the things yeah th yeah that is absolutely like that yeah they not what, moderate once we that? get to that point i'm sure they've tried i'm sure they have a tried unit? what is it doing here how many dicks have been made uh no it's not that's not the problem it's not dicks that's the problem A sword, huh? I should be able to handle something like this. I'm taking All these it words, off. I don't understand what they what mean. You, Meteor? They'll explain some of it. Here's my sword, despite the fact that I definitely have two guns behind me. I'll help too. Yeah, hey, Focus I'm just gonna go on a bit of a. Yourself. I'm gonna go a bit of a rant. I hate the fact that all the cutscenes make you use a sword no matter what your class is. I really hate that. Hey, <laughs> that's you lame. know what? Get. You know what game Hell. doesn't do that? A certain Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> well, that's cool of them, but I'm not gonna like shit on. Them. I use my gauntlets in every. Why is my controller game. vibrating? Oh, you know. It's a controller game, so it's probably that. Is this an ad? Yes. I mean, technically, the small guy's the ass, but... Ha, I can't I hear it. you over all these gunshots I'm doing! Oh, here, let me help. Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Pew, 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 pew. Time Thief, please tell me you have the Luigi... Bang, bang, bang... ...on your soundboard. Uh, I've got... Is that it? We didn't hear anything. I don't have it. Murder. Oh, hello there. Dad? Ah, Dilfs, I'm sold. So this is what <laughs> I had that yeah. bad feeling about, huh? Aina, Manon, you are right? Good. So, who are you? And why are you wearing two cowboy hats? What an eccentric looking nice person. I guess if you just says says down, the man with Jet's tattoo on his chest. Like well, I'm wearing I one cowboy hat, and my cowboy hat is wearing attack, its own cowboy hat. Case, <laughs> Not so much, huh? But we can talk about it when we get back to town. Ina, Manon, are you done gathering the rest aside? Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. They keep just saying words, and I have no clue what any of the fuck they mean. Rest I do, but it, this is very much like a, uh, like a, a game with just a bunch of like techno babbly names for shit. This is, uh, I'll admit, this is one of my biggest peeves with some RPGs, where they're just like, oh, that's the Smorgon. Uh, we're in the fantasy world of the blood, whatever, and it's just like, can you explain I, to me what any of these words mean before you start using them so, like, casually? I don't, I don't, I, yeah, no, that bothers me too sometimes. It, I mean, I, they do it because it's like, by you doing it when you're like, I don't know what that means, it makes you feel like you're in a different world, but yes, I, I also find that annoying. It, I, it's turbo and calculator. hard for me to follow when, it's what? when All right, that'll do. fan it. Honestly, that's not even just RPGs, now. that's just like fantasy settings in general. Like, tons of movies yeah. and shows do that all the fucking time, too. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, not do. even fantasies. It is just a thing. Communication works better when you build up the vocabulary mm -hmm. over time. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, like, it is It is definitely one of those things where, like, yeah, it's just like, rest of sign is just, like, the healing item, basically. It's called, it's called something fancy... And uh, it's called the wisdom of Duke well, Nukem. We need to cross basically, 
But I know it's a subjective thing, so I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's, it's bad to do that. It's just very, it's very hard for me to process you what I'm being photons, told when I don't understand half the body, words that I'm being told. It's, it's, I, I'm you sure it's not that, a hot take. Then jump off from here. It's a very lukewarm Even take. I just, I just don't want to come across like I'm just being like, oh, this is a bad thing to do because like some people like that. This is not my thing. Tough teacher. G to G1, here's your Wisma Duke. Oh, he's All dead. right, try not to die oh. again. <laughs> press space ball, double jumping, or press and hold space ball in the air. So can you tell that this that this game came out after uh, Breath of the Wild? <laughs> oh my god. Not bad Wait, really? Timer. Not far yes. Hmm. This game is fairly recent. New Genesis is. But, yes, New Genesis, specifically. But, like, yeah, no, the uh, the movement in this game is very, like, Breath of the Wildy, and I love that because it makes moving around the world so much fun. It's a very fun... I like the open world in this game, personally. Because again, it's like, it's very vertical. Welcome you can like climb around and just like go wherever the fuck you town. want. I'm sure everybody here will give you a warm welcome. <laughs> First person you talk if to, you just like get the fuck out. Here, you'll find my place. <laughs> we can talk there. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, All right. So, how does the game save? Like, do I have to finish this mission before I can like move on to something else, or what? Uh, I don't know. I I want to say the game would, should just auto save if you just leave here, but like, I don't know if there's like, because the game just kind of auto saves in general. There's no like save place to like save specifically because it's just an MMO. But uh, yeah, because the tutorial, I don't think the tutorial is like that much longer, but it's definitely like you've been playing this for a while already anyway, so. Uh, you if gotta, I had to guess, it would you gotta take, finish it. You've got like another half hour. Said, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna guess you'd have at least another half hour to go before you get to like the actual yeah. MMO stuff. So, yeah. It auto saves, so you should be fine if you need to leave now. But you have to repeat the tutorial. I mean, there's not that much of the tutorial we've done yet, so it's not like it's that big a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, then I'll get to anyways. remember about this cool ass move again. <laughs> it's. <laughs> yeah. oh! That's She's shooting up the town! Everybody take cover! No, they're fine. You Ow. can't hurt. <laughs> okay, that one might have hurt. Guys, she's like, did you just shoot my daughter? What the fuck? You did take a long time in the character finish? creator, but also... I mean, yeah, uh, I knew that would be the Le case, I'm so... Not, Levy I'm, says you have to finish a, it in story it's, it's, mode, but anything else it'll autosave. Okay. What is it? Is that the mission? Yes. I, yeah, because this counts as like a mission, like the tutorial mission. So I'm guessing, yeah, you can't save in the middle of a tutorial of a mission, but that's that's what I would assume they mean, and that makes sense. All right, we made a cool ass character, and we for had, next time we shot a bunch of guns. So yeah, the game's got to win again for us to continue it. I would not be opposed to just picking that for a cookie choice, so we can get back to that. But yeah, that's for another night. I'm glad that I didn't choose to download it just to be cheeky and join in since you didn't even get to multiplayer. I mean, I knew that was going to be the case. Like, it's an, like as soon as I knew the character creator was the details, it wasn't like, yeah, this is it. We ain't, we ain't I, I had I had a feeling it was going to be the case anyways. I was like, if they get to multiplayer stuff, I'm like, maybe that it's long enough for me to show up, but that's about it. All right. But still, I'm glad you had fun. <laughs> Let's get our next raffle going. The code is exclamation guns. I'm so happy you had as much fun as you had, John. Look, I like PSO. I played a bit of Blue Burst back when that came out. But I just didn't get, I just, MMOs don't grab me for very long. So even PSO didn't get me, but like, uh, give me a good character creator and a fun class and I'll be there for a while. Yeah, PS, I mean, PSO 2 is like the one MMO that I really, really got into. Cause I am kind of the same way. So take that for what it's worth. I think you would enjoy it, but it is still an MMO, so, you know, I'm not going to force it. Yeah. 
Clearly, you should play 14 instead. <laughs> Never forget Adeline Flambeers, the Vieira Pugilist of Final Fantasy XIV. She still exists. My my subscription's still active, and the game is mostly up to date. I updated it yeah, last time we did Power Trip because I thought someone was going to pick an MMO. It just wasn't the MMO I expected. I yeah. Imagine someone picks it for this one. <laughs> it could happen. I know if James wins, that they're probably going to pick it. Take my vitamin B12. Yeah, I took my E like an hour ago. There's so. a little difference between the two, Green. And they're, they're, they're like, they're things. Uh huh. You tell me, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me how how they're so similar. I I swallow. One of them is a letter and a number, and yeah. the other is just a letter. Yeah, they they C. That's basically the same That's thing. You, you've narrowed it down. Twenty-seven seconds You're left. Welcome. We have two hundred and fifty-four people currently entered on this one. Say as you you to say as you're going to a higher pitch. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we read the same comment too. Jesus. I didn't even realize I was doing that. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, my my 14 subscription is active right now because we needed it for last year's Coliseum, and then I just forgot. I put it on a half year renewal or full year, and I think I just forgot to unrenew it. So it's still active because I keep forgetting. <laughs> Elamenga X, congratulations! Time for a power trip. What are we playing next? Yes, I, do. Yes, I, do. I don't no, believe you. What no. do you mean you don't believe me? Yeah. What, do you, what do you not believe me? Why was everyone saying what at me earlier? What did I say? Nice door. Nice what didn't you say? <gasps> That's a good Eagle! question. You're not supposed to be staying out that late, you play. Ooh. Grand Blue Fantasy, was that Relink? Yep. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink on Steam. All right. Thank you, Alamanga. Swap to that here after the break, but first, let's drop some eggs. Ailita for 54. Here we are, going far to save all that we love. If we give all we've got, we will make it through. Here we are like a star, shining bright on your world. Today, make evil go away. Stringy oh, Man... Code for... theme. Stringy Man for 64. Captain Joe, give it a sub to Gabrain. Sagami Ito for 51, Prime Explorer for 42. As we mentioned earlier, it was downloading only the character creator because that's what I want right now. Mm -hmm. Cervix yeah. for 33, Sindel, uh, yeah, Sindelquill for 5, Captain Joe, give us up to Zombie Sparky. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of Skylar, aka Zombie Sparky, who's made. I made a model of Claire and I'm abusing the power. Uh oh. I fear. Yeah. Very uh oh. The moment that I learn how to add ragdoll physics onto these damn models, oh, no. I am going to have the time of my life. But unfortunately, that today is not today. Ah. But I do know something else that I can do, and it requires opening up Claire's model. When it oh, I open up. <laughs> <laughs> going over here. Going Wake over up, there. John. It's going here. If it would cooperate with me. Doing that. Uh, that. That. And then finally. Speed! Oh my god! <laughs> Perfect. And I can go Not... further. I can send her to space! Oh my god, where did she go? <laughs> oh, <but> she... <laughs> <laughs> she oh my is. god! Black dog. That, oh that's my the advanced god. takeoff technique Claire knows. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hello. Hi, Mr. Um, so Blake. yeah, that's basically... So that's what the hover animation is like in PSO2. <laughs> the blaze the cat method, I see. Claire's return to Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, going to break. When we come back, uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. See you guys in a bit. Okay. I have to go now. Why people need me or whatever. My planet needs me. Speaking of having to go, I'm going to go call it a night because I still need a shower and I was only going to stick around for PSO2. But I hope everybody else has a good night with Grand Blue. I know nothing about it other than it's blue. Dabba dee. Dabba die. 
Dubba dee dubba die. Dubba dubba. You better install it. Oh, y'all are picking the biggest installs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we might have to run another one. Oh my god, <laughs> come on. It's, this is 80 gigs. Jesus, Jesus Christ. I love modern video games. John, trust me, it's so pretty. <laughs> what, Grand Blue or. I'm assuming Grand Blue. What would have the other option been? Claire. I don't know. I mean, Claire is pretty. Yes, yes, yes. She's stuck in space, though. Yes. That doesn't make her less pretty. Things can be in space and be pretty. You are currently looking at someone who is that. Learn, <laughs> learn to compress video games or take or draw 40 gigabytes worth of Uno cards. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So Uno yeah. then. There's a lot of Uno cards. Alright, I'll see. We may have to push this one off by a round. We'll see. Uh but for now. Uh, did I run ads? I did not. Oops. Cause I went to go install Grand Blue and then I found out. We're in trouble. While he's doing that, do you have any questions, chat? What is your favorite color? Why green. are Go games green. so big? Um, it's a combination of things. Um, one, it, it actually does take an obscene amount of data to go through and do all of the combinations that make up games. So, like, <laughs> your really high-res textures that you need for when you're up close, but you also need, and, and, like, have full graphics enabled, but you also need textures for when you're far away. You need downscaled ones. Um, because it doesn't make sense to load in the highest resolution textures. It only makes sense to load in... Load in the minimum of you need for optimization reasons. Um, then you've got a lot of code on top of that, though that doesn't take up too much space. Um, then you've got a lot of data objects that store just random bullshit. And then you've got world maps. Like those, those really fundamentally represent your four things in a video game. Um, sometimes you have animations. That that depends. Um, a lot of the size comes down to those textures um, because unfortunately a lot of games do not really optimize those textures as well as they should um, and you end up in a situation where even though the user will literally never use it they're downloading 4k textures or a user would never actually use the lower scale because they have a powerful enough computer they're downloading those textures anyway. So it's like, you really could break up a lot of those textures. And there are some games that let you do that, where you can say like, hey, I'm going to be playing at high res. Only download the high res textures, please. But there are also games that just don't bother to fucking compress, which is infuriating. I think that you gave a really detailed answer. Meanwhile, I was over here giggling at people asking, will you wear wigs? When will you wear wigs? <laughs> Have you won, Viggs? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Well, let's see. If we start out that a woodchuck is approximately a three-year lifespan, I don't know the actual lifespan of a woodchuck. We, if we start out with that, and then we assume that a woodchuck is about the size of a somewhere between a cat and a dog, and that gives them a reasonable throwing force of about five pounds. Let's say it takes them about... I can go on, by the way. I can literally calculate the amount of wood that a woodchuck could chuck if you wanted me to. No, don't. Um, don't. <laughs> how much... Chuck, could a woodchuck watch if a woodchuck could watch Chuck? <laughs> All of the seasons, give or take. Fair so point. I, I, I keep looking at chat and the fucking wigs questions are coming up. Yes. The, yeah. That's what I was laughing at earlier. <laughs> when Same will you wear I wigs? Just said. Same thing Why I just are said. you wearing wigs? <laughs> How will you wear wigs? <laughs> Oh, I gotta remember that it's like super late at night. <laughs> oh my god. Five to six years <laughs> like, the, okay. the fact that you also pointed that out just made me pop the fuck off. God, I love that bit though. It's so fucking funny. I love that video. <laughs> Will you wear... Have you worn Vigs? Will you wear Vigs? 
When, when will you wear, you wear wigs? wigs? <laughs> How will you wear wigs? Mm. What is a wigs? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> So, for those who don't know what we're talking about, it's a bit from The Lord of the Rings. It's, um... I don't remember the actor's names, aside from Elijah Wood, obviously. Elijah Wood. Yeah, I don't remember the other one. But he's getting interviewed by one of the other Hobbit actors, and he doesn't know it's them. It's, like, just, like, a tele... Like, it's a teleprompter interview or whatever. So, the guy pretends to uh, ask all these really weird questions to Elijah Wood, and he keeps asking him questions about wigs at the end of it. And then he literally goes, like... Have you worn wigs? When will you wear wigs? And he's like, like Elijah's answered them sensibly, and then just the last one just makes him completely lose it. Someone made an Among Us version of that today. Oh yeah, it was a uh, super Dano because he made it for the Among Us uh, I Twitter. Yeah. I don't know if this yeah, is we, safe moved on to, to the next stream. game. I'm gonna guess it is, but just here, just fucking listen to this. In the photo shoots you do with uh, Vogue magazine and Cosmopolitan and uh, Entertainment Weekly Time magazine, your your hair changes dramatically uh, from short to long. Do you wear wigs? Uh, no, I do not. Have you worn wigs? No, I have not. Will you wear wigs? Maybe. When will you wear Maybe. wigs? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he just loses it at the end. It's so good. Yes. <laughs> when will you have Vix? Honestly, Ooh. between this and the woolly clip, sometimes it's a good thing that we share brain cells. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got to be excited about both of those. All right. Uh, Grand Blue is currently at 8 gigs of 53. So we are we need definitely going to need another game. Let, let's do Art Block and countermeasures for high wang help i'm stuck in blacksmithing hell are you, are you playing 14 uh oh i think it's runescape it's i think I, oh no runescape <laughs> i think it's funny we were talking about runescape and they might have been playing runescape oh my god <laughs> that would be really funny that would be a really funny coincidence legend of man oh. oh no all right let's run countermeasures for high wang Hi Wang, thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Hopefully your stream was good. I just realized I also missed Sindel Quill and Cheeky Tanuki earlier as well. Thank you both for your raids. Uh, we are currently just buying some time, honestly. We are supposed to be playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink next, but I got another 40-ish gigs left to download, so we might be jumping to a different game instead. But let's do alerts and art block first and foremost. Evil J. Brian says, Now that the game works, time to spend a long time in the character creator, as is customary. And it's true. It's what we did for uh, Fancy Star Online 2. I have never done that high wang. I don't, I don't hate myself that much. Yet. Codename Vixen says, John, I got this game. I blame slash thank you. No worries. I assume that is PSO2. And Skyler says, get Garfield Kart Furious Racing, coward. It's on sale on Steam for like two bucks, and I'm absolutely taking advantage of it while I can. All right, let me slap that in the cart. The Garfield Kart. Yeah, it's funny. Fury. Wait, I already own it. What? You thought you did. I'm like, heaven? It's come up on Cookie before, I think, even. Well, I thought that was the original Garfield Kart, not the new one. 
or sorry, the oh. newer one, Furious Racing. Hang on, let me let me make sure it's in the back loggery, because maybe that's why. Uh, Garfield. Yeah, it's in the back loggery. I mean, I'll Here take the two bucks. Thanks for the two bucks, Skyler. But uh, if you see anything else that's around two bucks you want me to pick up, I can do that. Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> Have you heard of Backpack Battle? It's very addicting looking. I feel like I've heard the name, but I've never played it. I've also heard of it, but I don't really know how to describe it because I haven't really seen gameplay. All right. Well, let's go to Art Block then while we're killing some time here. Can't believe we would do that after he just said he was going to take a shower. Are you killing him? <laughs> Look, man, I can't control how someone dies. I cannot control the speed at which someone dies. <laughs> I can control the die. <laughs> I control, what, what's the what's the lobster one? I control the lobster. I control the. I control. I cannot control the speed at which lobsters die or something. Something like that. I don't remember. Anyways, art block. Starting with this one from High Ski Eight. Uh, I love them so much. Let them have more dreams. Been trying some new stuff with art styles. Hope y'all enjoy. It's been too long since I've drawn either of them. Well, Kimberly was in a dream last week. She was in one of the last ones I remember. The one where we went to a game store. She was working there, and then we went to a haunted restaurant. And I had to shoot out a monster. Did Maple get shorter? Maple got shorter, apparently. Oddly enough, this makes her match more with the other person that was working behind the counter now, which is a little weird. It look, I like how it looks like Kimberly's gonna about to like throw hands. She probably will. Like she she seems way. like the one most likely to do that. And He's I noticed like... I noticed that Hi also snuck in this one at the top too. It's been too long since Lily has been in a dream. It let her in your brain, John. Me too. While you're at it, ah, never mind. I have a key. <laughs> to be fair, Lily and Maple also showed up in a dream like what three weeks back? Whatever one where I. What was the one where uh, I had to like go through a box of like arcade, like arcade machine maze, and I found John and those three just sitting in the back playing Game Boy? And as I left, they said I'll never get used to that. Clearly, the only way that chat will be satisfied is if you dream about all of them every day. And that it is not going to work. I don't even dream about <laughs> myself every day. <laughs> Yeah, they were all analog pockets, implied to have been stolen from me. Speaking of Next. stealing... From Mika, since you suggested it during the last stream, here's Claire in Carmen San Diego's outfit. I changed the colors to match her blue color scheme. Very Ooh. nice, I like it a lot. I feel like with the wings, she, it both makes it harder for her to blend in and also makes it way easier for her to steal stuff. And escape. That too. Thank you, Mika. Give them more attention, they deserve it. That's not how it works! You just have a dream with no characters out of spite. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be the funniest thing. It's just me in a room being like, all right, well, no one else is here, so I guess I'm gonna just sit around and just do nothing for the next, like, blank hours of the dream. No, I mean, like, a dream with literally no characters. Like, not a single, like, creature. It's just, like, That's just empty dreaming room. of the void, and I've done that before, and that's depressing. Aww. Well, what's not depressing, cat, this lovely cat. picture here from Major Mooch. Even with the colder months finally going away, John Real can be looking mighty comfy and warm. Done by In Whose Art. Very nice. I like it a lot. Thank you, Mooch. <laughs> Everyone in chat is like, that's just not dreaming. That's true. That's, that is right. That is just not dreaming. Ahem. <laughs> 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 Just hold on tight, Marissa. I'll find the culprit and avenge you. You can count on it. Shovel. Hey, don't just kill me off in your heads. And seriously, who just buries someone where they lie anyway? From Grease Lightning. Toho gets played means it's time to post Toho manga. Please read Forbidden Scrollery. It has gems like burying Marissa alive while pretending to be unconscious. Here's my favorite Toho theme, by the way. Star-studded sake dish. I like the name alone. Oh wow, they like they covered cover her up. They were fast burying her, Jesus. Yeah. Thanks, Greased. Next up from Tree. I don't have a Zune style to share since I'm at work, but please take this redesign of my number four Toho Mima. Also a reminder, I'm taking Zune style commissions and officially no Toho Fest for me this year due to the work stuff. Maybe next year. Oh, that's a bummer, Tree. I'm so sorry. 
But yes, please commission Tree if you would like some Zune style Toho art. Or of your characters in that Toho style. Thank you so much, Tree. Did you see my sad announcement? Jiggy, what did you what was your sad announcement? I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> I'm genuinely afraid to ask. From Gishpan, fuck you, turns your dream girl into a marketable plushie. No, don't make her into a marketable plushie. What it? What it? What did you just send me, Chicky? <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, I apparently have to do something here. Give me, a, give me a second. We'll come back to marketable plushie Claire here in a minute. I'm very concerned. Uh, me too. Is All it right. more Big Chungus? Alright, Jiggy, what is this? Bit of an announcement. I want to apologize to the fans of TCC. I have failed at acquiring Conan O'Brien. <laughs> I don't think that he will make it to TCC. It's not a done deal yet, but... I am a little sad that Conan might not be there, probably won't be there, so I'm sorry. Oh. No. All right. You know what? I'm gonna change this back to what was in that slot normally because I find this way funnier. Yes, yes, I, I was gonna ask if it was this Thank video. You. <laughs> Apparently, I got in my head somewhere to just leave that as a source wherever so I can just load videos in. But it has the downside of I have to remember to put that back on every time otherwise, no. I love that I knew it was going to be that video. <laughs> Anyways, back to our- I was wondering why we hadn't seen that in a while recently. Yeah, because I remembered to turn off the source. <laughs> Fuck you, turns your dream girl into a marketable plushie. No, don't make her into a marketable plushie. Then people would buy her and give me money. Don't ever do that. John would have to go buy multiple proofs to make sure he had one in every room while he contemplated. What? <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. And this is the Claire room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just have a room filled with the plush just staring at you constantly. Oh God, I hate this so much. Just, just, hi just have them hidden around the office so that you find them while like cleaning or something. That would be the freakiest thing. That would be just like, <laughs> just like fucking find dream girl plushes around the room. Just be like, it would right, not be the freakiest thing that even happened to you, let alone just in general. <sighs> and you know I'm right. <laughs> Claire is next. Claire, Claire plush, plush SCP. SCP. <laughs> You've heard of Elf on a Shelf, now get ready for Claire everywhere? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Oh, that God. one's my favorite. John, I need you to know if you ever made plushies, I would buy a minimum of three of them, Lamau. I want to make beefaroo and bagel plushies. I absolutely do. Uh, but I have to look into the options for it because makeshift's the only one I know, and I don't know how well they do animals. I guess I do because I have Jared's up there. Uh, it, but also, you, I'll think if about If you it. have a design and give it to makeshift, they're usually pretty loyal to that design, no matter what I mean, it is. I mean, is. the problem is I have to get someone to make a plush design, and I don't know who to contact for that. There's plenty of options, I'm sure. Like, literally half the chat is probably about to explode, and like, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it! Yeah, there's, I, I've seen several makeshift plushes of, like, dogs. Um, I'm not sure if they did the plush design or not, though, for those. Makeshift? Okay. Makeshift's designs are so wild. There's a YouTuber I follow called Dank Pods, and he has the one grit where, which is just a big rock that he uses to smash the shit out of old tech. They made a plush out of that. They made a plush no. out of a not even evenly shaped rock. It was, it's like all weirdly oh, like course. triangular, and they made a plush of it, and it's pretty loyal to the actual like real one that he John. has. John, we did bra design. I mean, that's true. When I move the shop to a new place, maybe we'll look into that, he said sarcastically. Uh, speaking of the shop, though, hopefully this week the hoodies are in. I was told they should be in this week, which means they'll start shipping this week. But the mouse pads are shipping, the 
pins are shipping and the shirts are shipping. So if you want any of those, you can go to the shop right now and they will basically ship the next day or two. So. And then when we get the hoodies in, they'll be the same for the hoodies. I so might genuinely get the mouse pad if possible. Damn, I smile for a second. You really want the bra that bad, Link? <laughs> I'd take it. I'd take it. I wish the mouse pad was slightly bigger and softer. Bras. I like I never got to actually check out the samples. They, the group that handled it said it was they were good, so I had to trust them. Mooch says the mouse pad's comfy. From Silver, so when Green mentioning being reminded uh so with Green mentioning being reminded of Evangelion while hearing Old Joy, I gotta bring up what comes to my mind. This is my Evolt driver, the rider belt of the magnificent bastard of a villain from Common Rider Build. Evolt, aka Common Rider Evil. He uses the Cobra and Rider system Evo battles to transform, and legit, his belt has an abridged version of Ode to Joy in the Henshin sound. Legit, anyone who has seen Build knows about the fact that Evolt is more or less tied to Ode to Joy. I honestly don't know why, but he is. Wait, I mentioned Common Rider, no mention of my new Ride Kemi cards came up. It's about to get covered in an avalanche of Kemi cards. To be continued. Which means the next picture is the Kemi cards. Yep, sure enough. Mm -hmm. Two weekends ago, it was SakuraCon. This was probably the most stressful con I've attended, mainly because I was running the Card Fight Vanguard trading card game events, but regardless, still had fun. Though that's not what we're here to talk about. We have 20 new cards here, along with uh, Kari Udos and Gekio Copter to show the matches. Along these 20, we have four new categories, Ancient, Occult, Cosmic, and Fantastic, and an alternate version of Mechanicani called Daybreak Mechanicani. Two cards I want to note here is... Zuki, uh, Zuki Umpire, because his story is in the show is really good. And my first ever level 10 card, Eggzerzil of the Planet Chemis. So happy to finally have a level 10. Or Plant Chemis, rather. And yes, 10 Liner is also a level 10, but he and Mach Wheel... Uh, this is so going over my head. Forms of Steam Liner and Mad Wheel. Admittedly, I could have gotten two level 10s if my friend hadn't swiped up the rest of the packs when I didn't notice from the vendor hell, uh, hall store we got them at and pulled a level 10. I would have gotten it if I gotten them first. Thank you, Silver. I don't know what any of that meant, but good for you. Common. Or bad for you, depending. Common Rider. Common Rider. I watched Drive. That was it. Oh, and I'm also going through uh, Yuki, I think was the name of it. Y Ryuki? Or I think Ryuki's one of them. The, the one that became Dragon Knight, because that, we're watching the dubbed version or the Power Rangers-esque version after watching the original. From Shining Silver, the new Dream Girls reminded my two OCs. Multicolored hair and thin frame? Hmm. Apothic Cthulhu? I guess it would be the same as Cthulhu. Yeah, Apothic Cthulhu. Thank you so much for the raid. Thulu, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. We're just wrapping up the end of our block here, then we're hopping into uh Oh, not Garfield Cart. Uh nope, still downloading. We still got a ways to go. So we're gonna do a raffle to see what game we're playing next, because unfortunately the game we were trying to play is not downloaded yet. You just play Garfield Cart as a compromise. <laughs> oh god. It probably is still installed to be fair. From Shining Silver, the new Dream Girls remind me of my, two of my OCs. Multicolored hair and thin frame. Hmm. Yeah, actually, that looks very similar to what I saw. Uh, the top she was wearing was... What was it? It was like a black jacket. Damn, she had something else underneath. I think it was just like a gray tank top underneath. Black jacket and gray tank top. But otherwise, yeah, the hair is very similar. 
And then also from Silver, her hair looks pink in other lighting, but pink curls and glasses also very similar? Wasn't dressed like that, but like the hair is almost spot on. Go. That ain't no go. Move. There you go. Thank you so much for putting both of those in. Yeah, those OCs look pretty good. And like I said, very similar. Move. All right. Uh, well, like I said, we still got a bit before Grand Blue is done. So let's just do another raffle. Uh, all right. The code is probably what you expect it to be. Is download. Wasn't there a show called that? Download? Probably. Probably. All right, we're only gonna run this raffle for a minute. So timer's on now. Uh, yeah, Graham Blue's at 29 gigs of 53 currently, so. I'm a computer, stop all the downloading. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, I love your movies. <laughs> 254 people entered, 30 seconds left on the clock. I thought the code was going to be wigs. Oh, I would have loved that. <laughs> Missed opportunity, but download made sense. Then will the, the, <laughs> the keyword be wigs. <laughs> <laughs> I promise if I win, you won't have to download anything. I don't know. I've been surprised before. The winner is Devil7. Oh! Hello. Seven, what's it gonna be? Time for a power trip. What are we playing next? <laughs> if you want to pick a game, I have to download. It's okay. Just keep in mind that I might have to do another, another round. Just, just roll like the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to shoot down anyone who wants to, like, d like they want, like, a nice, cool game that I just haven't installed because various reasons. But it would be really funny if that just kept happening over and over. See, I want to give joke answers, but I also don't want to influence anything. Machi Midori has got to ask who made the music for Power Trip. It's really jamming. That'd be our boy Popsky. Whoa. Yeah, figured that was the case. Next mission, Popsky will get you a link to uh, get his music. The urge to save Final Fantasy XIV is extremely tempting, not gonna lie. Like I said, <laughs> it was up, I, I had it, fucker would do I it. have it updated <laughs> all up until last month. So I there, knew you would do that. <laughs> so we can do Final Fantasy XIV if you actually want to. Oh. <laughs> it will take a little bit of an install, but not to the level, I assume, of Grand Blue or, yeah. or <laughs> I New knew Genesis. You would say that shit. So if you really want me to play fourteen. I can boot that sucker up. Uh, no, he said Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami! Fair enough. Damn. Could have humored me so we could, I, so we could play together. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, I'll do it on Hotline PC, because it always feels like it fits on PC. Means you have to download another game. I'm pretty sure I actually have Hotline Miami installed. Oh, do you actually? Okay. It's also not that, that big of a game. That would have been so fucking funny if you committed to 14. Like I said, it's mostly good to go. I have I have it up and ready. I I would be ready to play it too. All right, let me let me check here. Oh, it is not installed. Never mind. Fourteen uh, or hotline. Hotline, but hotline's only like half a gig. I, yeah, hotline won't take tiny. that long.
god. I'm still just laughing that he genuinely almost picked 14. <laughs> I was going to jokingly suggest that. But I was like, I don't need to. And even then, like, I don't want to be that asshole who's just like, oh, somebody else I know got picked? Then let me influence their choice so that it, t it counts for me. All right. I will state first and foremost, I 100% have to put up a gore and flashing lights warning for Hotline Miami. There is yeah. no questioning that. Uh, gore and flashing lights warning. I love Hotline Miami, but it is hella gory and it is hella flashy. Where's center? Where's center on this? That's close enough. Might tab out depending on how flashy. Um, very. It's very. It like neon. Yeah. Just like look at the title screen and you will know exactly how this is. It just finished installing. Let's go. Move chat up here so I can see you guys. I told Devil this fun story, but. Uh, I bought Hotline Miami, and I bought Hotline Miami as one of my first Steam games a long while back. Uh, and the other one, and another one that I bought was uh, Five Nights at Freddy's because it was of the time. Uh, the I I played like the first beginning bit of Five Nights at Freddy's uh, just to see if I could handle it. Literally, the first moment any of the animatronics moves, I just spammed escape to close the game and hopped over to hotline instead because i'm like i can handle this <laughs> <laughs> i can handle hotline miami but not not that all right slide down the volume to the safety spot let's get game on screen i'm happy to playing hotline miami i'm sad because it's definitely gonna be a vod muter uh oh it is oh actually maybe i'm thinking of the second one maybe the second one because uh carpenter brute and a bunch of other stuff on two i think this one might be okay, because this mainly the main thing I remember is Hydrogen from Moon. Or is it Moon from Hydrogen? I forget which. Uh, but yeah, like, there's, like, I can't think of many songs. It might be okay. Yeah, even someone saying one should be fine. Okay, I might be thinking of two. I might be thinking of wrong number. I'm here to tell you how to kill people. This game is controlled with your WAST keys and mouse. Press the left mouse button to punch. Aim for the face. Once you've knocked someone out, you have to finish them. To do this, you press space. You got it? Are you sure? Left mouse button to punch, space to finish. Do you understand me? Don't mess this up. Now, can you play this with controller? You can. Is it not recommended? You can, but it's easier because the it does the 360 aiming. Because, like, there's mm. actually a pretty good Vita version of the game. Yeah, I think the Vita version of the game is pretty playable, but I heard, like, the... I think, is this the one that has a PSP version that people are like, I don't know why it's on there? It's gotta be, no, I think it must be thinking of Vita. You can twin stick it, but like most people recommend Wast and Mouse. All right, now you should try killing the next guy, but use the bat in the red room over here, okay? Press the right mouse button when next to it to take it. And you press the left mouse button to swing it. Did that get through your thick skull? Did it. Right mouse to pick it, left mouse to swing it. Are you even listening? Oh, we'll get to it then. Well done. So let's get to the guns, shall we? You go in and get the shotgun in the blue room. You do it the same way. You picked up the bat. Just press the right mouse button. Can you handle that? Use the shift button to look for enemies out of view. It's very useful for not getting yourself killed. You can press the scroll wheel to lock onto enemies. Oh, I didn't know that. Just make sure to place your crosshair over them first. Right mouse button to grab. Shift to look. Left mouse button to shoot. Scroll wheel to lock on. Now go ahead and kill the guy in the yellow room. Yeah, have poo in his beard? He might. He's got some dirt in there. All right, that about sums up the basics. However, there's always more tricks to learn. You can throw any weapon you pick up by pressing your right mouse button. You can use doors to knock enemies over. Guns are very loud and will alert your foes. So plan your moves and use melee weapons when you can. God damn it, you'll just get yourself killed anyways. Won't you? Part one. Phone calls. <laughs> Cars are rocking out. Oh, you piss. And who do we have here? Oh, you don't know who you are? Maybe we should leave it then. But I know you. 
Look at my face. We've met before, haven't we? I don't know you. Why are you here? You're no guest of mine. Do you really want me to reveal who you are? Knowing oneself means acknowledging one's actions. As of lately, you've done some terrible things. You don't remember me? I'll give you a clue. Does April the 3rd mean anything to you? I believe that was the day of our first encounter. You look like you might be remembering something. Man, imagine if we played this last week. April 3rd, 1989. South Florida. They got an NES! They gaming! Gaming? Wait, do they not have a toilet? Is that a toilet in the bottom right? Or do they just not have a toilet? I don't think they have a toilet. Is piss in the bathtub? Either. I guess. You have one new message. Beep. Hi, this is Tim at the bakery. The cookies that you ordered should be delivered by now. A list of ingredients are included. Make sure that you read them carefully. Click. The target is a briefcase. Discretion is of essence. Leave target at point F32 inside the dumpster. Failure is not an option. We'll be watching. Why do you guys have a toilet in the bathroom? Where else would it be? Prelude, the Metro. Tip, high scores unlock masks. Well, the only match mask we have right now is Richard, so. But there are lots of options. Uh, there are way more options than I remember this game having. Is that literally a car or is that a hippo? I have no clue. See, the fun thing about Devil picking this game is that he was cosplaying this character at Mag. It was one of the wildest. I have a picture of it. It's one of the wildest things seeing him in full cosplay of this character, like covered in fake blood and everything, playing one of the indie games that was essentially just a Friday the 13th like spiritual successor. Shit. It's actually really kind of funny. Ah. Yeah. So you die in one hit, basically. So you gotta be very fucking careful. Oh, Colin points out Richard, Dick, Cock, Rooster. Yeah, uh, they do that a lot in this game. Oh, that's why, because I didn't kill him. I only stunned him. Hello. Go to car. Is that a suitcase you're holding? Briefcase, yeah. Uh. All right, let's uh. So if a suitcase holds suits, does a briefcase hold briefs? Who's there? I can hear you. I know you're there. I could look back at the photos, Devil, to find the name of it. Hold on. Oops, I did not swing handy part of having them all in a folder on your computer. Chapter clear. And now, we throw up. We get in our fancy car and drive away. Killings, 3,000 points. Boldness, 7,380 points. Combos, 4,300 points. Time bonus, 520 to four. Flexibility, 1,500. Mobility. 3,518. 224, 722 points out of 130,000. That's what I need for the next weapon unlock. Oh, sorry, that's how much I need for the next mask, I guess. Or I don't know, it's potential points at the end? I don't know. Grade A minus. I just got here. Someone explain this game to me, please. You murder a lot of people to, like, cool music. New mask! And honestly, isn't that all you need? Ram... Rasmus. Ah, 
Hi there, man. Haven't seen you around. Thought something might have happened to you. Seem really down over losing your girlfriend. Don't remember seeing you after that. Maybe we should talk about something else. It's out for a midnight snack, huh? Ah, oh, don't worry about it. It's on the house. Good to see you. Have a nice night. April 8th, 1989, Miami, Florida. We have one new message. Hello, it's Linda. I need a babysitter right away. Got a few kids that need to be disciplined here. I'm at East 7th Street. Make sure you have a long talk with them. I really need someone to get through to these rascals. And like last time, please be discreet. Click. Thank you for subscribing to our newsletter. We appreciate your interest in our cause. America is, in, is a tune. It must be sung together. 50 blessings. I found that game, Devil. It's called Screaming Savage Blood Death. That's a pretty sick-ass name. Yeah, they had skeletons at their booth. It was neat. It, it was basically just like the Friday the 13th NES, but like... Like I said, spiritual successor to that. Alright, time for me to wear Ramses on every fucking mission, because I had to find all the Scrabble pieces. Yeah. But yeah, it was a very good costume that he made. Get a prop bat. What's funny is I think they, I think Shit. at one point we had to use that to identify where he was, <laughs> like in a crowd or something. I think it's been like three months since Magfest, and I'm still thinking about it. Just because it was my first one, you know. Grab that. Can I pick this up again. There I think go. about it like once a week. Mostly that's because there were a lot of interesting and fun people. And yeah. maniacal. And <laughs> maniacal? Oh Come on, he's God. interesting. You cannot literally describe maniacal as anything but interesting. I mostly describe him as weird. That's, that's, that's not interesting? interesting? Damn it. I'm so rusty now. It was fun sharing a plane home with him. At least halfway home. Now let's go loud. He's an experience. Yeah, lad, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> wow, my aim sucks today. All right. You know what would help? Having these things not on the immediate right side of my mouse pad. There we go. That should awfully help. Okay. Got to check it. Funny thing about the bat, got checked at weapons check and security still tried to confiscate it after it got approved. Oh no. That happens sometimes at cons. Oh, and for fuck's sake, really how did I miss both bad. swings? Damn. Yeah, I had to constantly tell Devil, just please don't trust me with this prop bat because I'm going to be a jackass and start swinging it all over the place. <laughs> That is how you either get banned or lose your prop privileges. I'm gonna swing it at people. Doesn't matter, it's not safe. Yeah, fair. Actually, yeah, I wouldn't- I don't better. even think I was swinging it. I think I was just leaning on it a lot. Go to car. Which, ad admittedly, is safer, but probably not as, not good for the bat either. <laughs> I just, like, used it as an armrest, just held it behind my neck. Where's the tea you keep picking up? It's a very, very tiny Scrabble piece. Very tiny. Yeah, Richard just needed his tea. A minus. Playstyle, generic. Generic, wow. New mask, Tony. Tony the Tiger. Red, I had that picture. You guys sent that to me while I was at the event. Because you guys were trying to find me, and I was like, I'm nowhere near that, and probably won't be. <laughs> Hi there, welcome. Oh, you don't need to order. Your pizza's already done. 
Had a feeling you were on your way here. Heh. <laughs> well, let's just leave it at that for now, shall we? Don't worry about paying, it's on the house. I don't want to grab more of my pizza. We got a pineapple pizza for lunch, finally. So hello, Zach, man. How goes the power trip? Well, we've had to download two games, so we've had to roll two extra. Yep, so the next round will not be a roll because we are doing Grand Blue Link, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Oh we have God, one new message. Beep. This is Thomas from the Methadone Clinic. We've scheduled a short meeting for you tonight. We're at Northwest 184th Street, apartment 105, and don't worry, we know discretion is of importance to our clients. Click. So many pizza boxes. Six bodies found on East 7th Street. Police suspects tied uh, to illegal drug trade. Oh, the bathtub's no longer full of water. Oh, yeah, sure enough. Okay, I like that you had to double check. <laughs> I could have just been I didn't saying notice. I did you. Second chapter, Overdose. Pay attention to details. Tony's ability is Fists of Fury, which I believe just means he hits harder, but I'm gonna stick with Rasmus because I have to find those fucking Scrabble pieces. Fists of Fury sounds like it's a nightmare to use if you just only have good fists and nothing else. Ah, fuck, I didn't expect a shotgun. Well, you know, I like that they have a couch that just sits there and watches the entrance. See, that guy has a toilet. And now he's also dead. So you will not be enjoying that toilet for very long. <laughs> I like that you describe it that way, enjoying the toilet. Am I wrong? I mean, it depends on the kind of toilet, I guess. So, do you see where my cursor is right here? This little thing, this little pink floating tile that I'm like, I'm hovering. That's the Scrabble oh piece. Oh my god! That's, it is that tiny that with it. this mask on. Without the mask, it's even harder to see. Oh fuck! There were two guys in the room. I, I do like it that each floor is a different checkpoint. That's real cool. This is a very nicely furnished furnished place. I almost said furniture. That's definitely wrong. Yeah, this is a nice apartment that we're running into and in. oh boy. Uh... Is that a gun? This is. It's only a shot. It's only got two rounds though. Ooh. And I still tried anyways. Fuck. The one good thing about this game is that it's very, very quick if you fuck up. Like, you, you get right back in immediately. How long is this game? Um, so that's the thing. So, one of the main gimmicks in the game is finding those Scrabble pieces, which unlocks, like, a second story. Which basically doubles. I did not even see you turn around. The bitch basically doubles the length of the game. Mm -hmm. Sixteen hours. Ah, okay. Oh boy, how the fuck am I doing this room? Three of them have shotguns. I guess we do it like that. Yeah, I figured just get the attention of one and then knock them out there piece by piece. Yeah. Chapter clear. Let's grab the letter A. Ta. Boom. Done.
Just King Dion, thank you for the raid. New weapon unlocked. Exploding bomb from helicopter, I guess. Great B, combo trainee. Oof, I did worse somehow. Sand Slash, I've been on COCOM for almost the whole time. It's been like two and a half hours. Our new mask. Aubrey. New weapon. Samurai Sword. Ooh, sword. The VHS Palace. Hey, dude, good to see you again. Did you hear about the massacre the other night? Bunch of Ruskies, I heard. No loss, if you ask me. Say some maniac wearing a rubber mask did it. Sounds like a scene straight from a slasher flick. <laughs> oh yeah, I have the perfect film for you. The one on the desk. Take it, it's on the house. Enjoy yourself, dude. Meanwhile, someone just enjoying a movie right there. Now, it looks Hello. like they're enjoying a video game. Oh yeah, you're right, sorry. That is a controller in my hands. Look, there's just movies on the floor. Like, this is straight up just a bunch of VHS just sitting on the floor. I mean, that's how I remember my local movie store, so. Beat this game blind kids. all in one sitting. What a wild story this is. Such a great game. Yeah, I, I enjoyed this a lot when I played it, but I just never got around to finishing it. And then my save got deleted, so I was like, fuck it. I wasn't, in, I wasn't in the mood to do it all over again, because I had gotten, like, every, every piece of the puzzle I could get minus one. So notice how... Like, how many pieces we need to get for this? Jesus. Does that include the first level? Uh, I forget. I think, yeah, I don't remember if you can do them all or you have to wait till you get Ramses, I forget. Hi, it's Kate from Hotline Miami's Dating Service. We've set up a date for you this evening. She'll be waiting for you at Southwest 53rd Place. As usual, make sure you wear something fancy. Click. I'd love to know where this sample's from. Another massacre has been reported on Northwest 184th Street. String of gang-related violence throughout Miami. There we go, baby. It's hydrogen. So what's the new one do? More guns. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's do it. Time for Hot Jams. I, this is my favorite song of the game, hands down. Fuck. Missed it. Ah. Oh, it's a shotgun now. Oh, boy. It's a little bit louder. Just a smidge, and everyone has guns, so maybe not great. How did you not die from the first shot? Oh my god. Oh, because the door got him instead. I hear that's a common occurrence in this game. God! Well, now you know where there's another guard. <laughs> True. It's a learning this is a game of learning from from the map. Oh, he still got me with that. Damn. I lost a knife. Shit. All right. Well, this is gonna be a bad idea. Well, it was a bad idea. It was, I was right. Shocking. Shit. Shit. <laughs> oh. How? How? How did you? Ah, oh, I thought I survived oh, that. Right at the end. Genuinely thought I had that. That could have gone so different. Didn't 
guess the mask comes off when you die. Makes sense. Oh, you both had guns. I thought the other one didn't have one. Shit. He's just hanging out on the couch. Wait, devil, what are you saying what at? What happened? Oh, 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 oh! I don't know why you did that. I just wanted to see if it would work. Ah, damn it. I thought I could get the other guy in time. So you can see, it's basically like a murder puzzle game is the best way to describe Hotline Miami. Honestly. Yeah, that's accurate. Yeah. Fuck you! How? Take that one then. I'll take that as a mercy. Fuck you. All right, we made it past the first floor at least. So who's that in the back room? I see a P. What? The letter P is showing up when I'm hovering over here for some reason. Oh, is for it pick, for pickup probably? Ah. Uh. Uh, it's just, I think that's like the security guard. Because he's watching monitors. I guess we just don't have to care about those guys? Okay. Oh, you! Never mind! Ah. Uh, guess that should have been your cue to leave. Really? Uh, I know. What a bad shot that was. No one else moved when I just shot that dude. All right, whatever. I'll take it, I guess. Oh, take you the, know, just hand the dealt. Gun no one, no one liked Gary, I guess. Never mind. Two shots left. Fuck, one shot left. <laughs> Good job. You're doing great. I mean, I cleared the chapter. GG. All right, now the fun part. Where the fuck's that Scrabble piece? There it is. Deep. Gotta do everything by myself, huh? Fuck, missed. Whoa! Hey. Here we go. He's got body armor. Oh god, Ugh, please don't! Jesus. I think you gotta pound him. Yeah. I gouge his eyes out. Ugh. Yeah, just get it over with. I knew this would end like this. Oh. Go to car. Grade C, combo trainee. Oof. Exposure. New mask. Don Juan. Of course. Hi there, welcome. You look well, sir. Are you alright? 
You sure it's okay for you to be drinking? All right, then I'll get you something special. If you like sweet or sour, maybe you want it bitter. And there you go, sir, enjoy. Oh, there it is. I just passed out, they're playing some light gun game. No one playing pool, tragic really. Hop in my car and go. Part two. Questions. Back here. Oh, it's you again. Looks like you've been busy since we last met. I see that you remember me now, don't you? But you still don't know who I am. You don't even know who introduced us, do you? Why did you come back here? You're not a nice person, are you? You make me sick. A picture's starting to take form here. I wonder if it's accurate. Some pieces don't quite seem to fit. Or maybe I just don't like the way it looks. I think our time is up, but we'll meet again. Before you go, here's four questions to ponder. Question number one. Do you like hurting other people? Question number two. Who are leaving messages on your answer machine? Question number three. Where are you right now? And the final question. Why are we having this conversation? That's all for now. See you soon. May 5th, 1989, Miami, Florida. Notice that there is now a second bed, and the girl is here on the couch. Movie producer found dead in villa last night. Surveillance tape reveals masked assailant, unidentified female abducted from the scene. Good evening, this is Blake speaking. We have a job for you, there's a power outage. Go over on 24th Northeast Street. We want you to take care of it. We already sent someone over a while ago, but it seems he didn't do a very good job. And over there right away, they're expecting you. Keep it quick and clean. Fourth chapter, Tension. New mask. Don Juan, lethal door, so hitting someone with a door kills them. Which would be very helpful based on how we're playing, but again, I want them Scrabble pieces. So Ramses. Erasmus. Oh, dogs are here now. Dogs can open doors, apparently, in case you never knew that. And I missed the dog with the door somehow. I think I need to actually, like, melee the dogs? I forget. I think I need a weapon or, or a gun to take out a dog. And dogs are, like, stupid fast, because, you know, they're dogs. Case in point. He's just waiting. Shit! Two of them had guns. I didn't pick up the weapon, apparently. Come on, dog. Come on, doggy. Oh, you are not. Oh, no, you are. Never mind, you got out. Ah, fuck. the dog, I guess. And completely miss. Come on. The dog didn't show up this time. I'm trying to feel about that. There we go. Decided to take a nap. No worries. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> the dog just wants to take a break. He's still alive, right? I have, don't think the dog's interacting with me at all yet this run. Oh no, he's right there. Never mind. Off my own world. 
Yeah, I assume all the enemies. Oh, what? Right. The window. I know, but like the window didn't even break when he shot me. Ah, uh, that's fair. Yeah. Guy's just such a perfect shot. He shot in between the windows. It's just that good. Some men, some men got talent. Murder talent. Ah, oh, shit! I thought I'd get away from the other guy. Right, guns. Yes, guns exist. Well, I forgot they had them. I had a moment where I thought I'd be fine. <laughs> They're not allowed to have guns, that's illegal. What are these guys, bad guys? What the heck? What the heck, man? Next you'll be telling me they did other crimes. You know, like murder. No one does murder anymore. What's a murder? Oh, my weapon's broken. I don't say that. Gun guy, I need the gun guy. It's, it's what that uh, it's what that guy from Impractical Jokers uses to get inside his house. He uses a murder. Whoa. Oh, now they broke the window. I broke the window. To be fair. <laughs> All right. Second floor. <laughs> Nothing. What's a murder with you? <laughs> really? I said it from chat. Blame Earthshade, not me. <laughs> Auntie John wants a murder. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm Auntie John now? Are we actually locking that in this time? Apparently, that's what Camille said. Well, sweetie, when... When a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. when, a mo when a mommy mobster and a daddy mobster hate each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> What's a mobster? I'll tell you when you're older, or not. I'd rather not, honestly. Is that like, is that like a mom monster? <laughs> when a lot of crows get together in the same place. <laughs> Miss John, can we do a murder? I'm begging you to turn down the volume for the stage right now. Oh no, it's this stage. Okay, yeah, hang on. I'm assuming this stage is particularly in. Well, I got, I got a win the stage first. All I did was just shot. piss him off. Fuck. Where's the dude with the gun? Oh, what a throw, John. What a champ that throw that was. I have to open it no matter what, huh? Ah, uh, shit. I forgot about the day how the stage ends. All right, well, let's go for it then. Ow. Yeah. See, the worst part is it isn't even the booming for me. It's the ringing afterwards. Yep. Yeah, it's the, the after ring. Thank you for turning that down. Thank him for reminding me, because I completely forgot about it. I actually don't even remember how I'm supposed to approach that puzzle. Well, don't throw away my weapon first, probably. Maybe we could start there. Oh, and also maybe aim correctly. Jay, you should go up and get a bag of chips. If you're hungry, eat. 
how do I even do this again? Pull cube? No, because see, as you can notice, the doors are wired. They'll blow up. There's a way around this, and I forget what it is. I think I have to get someone's attention with a gun, and that makes him open the door himself. It would help if I had a gun that had ammo. Here we go. Ow. Yeah. The after ring still not, sucks. Not, not pretty. Not pretty. Here we go. Stage done. Nice. Uh, now. Now we find the Scrabble piece. Ah, there it is. Hey. You know, nice and subtle with the explosion, really, I feel. No, oh, no. A dirty cop. Were we told to be discreet? I forget. Sweetie. <laughs> New weapon unlocked. Grade B plus, playstyle generic. New mask, Graham. New weapon, glass bottle. Well, you got Banui. I had the gun in my hand a second ago, I believe. <laughs> oh, hi there, good to see you. I was a bit worried about you. The city streets don't seem so safe anymore, you know? Well, with all the killings and all that, I mean. Don't worry about pain, you're my friend. Your money's no good here, now have a nice night. I don't know who this guy is or why he's everywhere, but he seems oh, like such right. a bro. They definitely said they were expecting you since the last one didn't do a good job. That was the previous dude getting blown up and tortured. That's what happened. Uh, 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 uh. This is a present from me to you. Bomb blast heard all the way downtown. Casualty still unknown. Charred remains. Several mass suspects witnessed at the. Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. And you'll notice now that our the person we saved is now just kind of hanging out here now. So now they're just getting cleaned up in the bathroom. Uh, we're at time here, so we're gonna stop here. But how did I do on the puzzle? I only have four pieces? I thought I had more than that. Out! Out! Addo! Toa! Tao! Tao! I forget if the game actually locks in if you get these in the correct spots or not. I would doubt it. No. Uh, actually. Oh, well, there you go. Ah. Are we assuming? Okay. Yeah. But I forget if it actually keeps them there or if it puts them back if I go into the puzzle again. Oh, yeah, it scatters okay. them out, so no point to get all the pieces. Mm. But yeah, that's Hotline Miami if you've never seen it before. Soundtrack is impeccable. The vibes from the music and like the aesthetic are great, but man, you gotta be cool with flashing lights and gore, cause uh, yeah, it does not hold back. It's got some absolute bangers on the soundtrack though. Hydrogen Moon, whatever, whichever one's called. I forget who's the, which is the artist and which is the song is great. Uh, and also the second game soundtrack is crazy varied. And has some great stuff on it. Carpenter Brute, I, ex I always recommend because I think Roller Mobster is the song from him on there, and Roller Mobster is a fantastic song. Here's all the pe yeah, okay, so Moon is the artist. Okay, so it is Hydrogen. This is the song name. There's all the artists that did music for the game, or have their game, their music featured in the game. All right. Well, I don't remember hearing the jingle. That's what worries me. <laughs> it's still installing. It's still installing. It, I didn't, oh, no. it must not have installed when we were playing the game, which would be weird. That would be weird. Because I feel like Steam only does that if it's a online game. But that might be Switch I'm thinking of. 
It's at 36 gigs of 53. So Actually, ooh, it might be the fact that a Steam game was open because I don't know if they download while other Steam games are playing. Yeah, it's a I setting it to enable. Mm, I, it it oh well. must have been. So either way, we'll, by the time we do break Art Block, it probably will be time to do it. We'll see. I don't want a chance doing another raffle just in case we don't actually get to uh, get one of the games in. So we'll see if we can get Grand. I think you'll be fine, Elamanga. I think because, like I said, it hopefully during break it should be done. All right. You can override the background download settings for each game. It's useful for those single player only games. Yeah, I thought for some reason that was on by default. So I was surprised that it wasn't downloading Hotline Miami. Power Trip, need a new hard drive edition. To be fair, my hard drive is starting to run out of space. It's down to 805 gigs, which some of you are like, that doesn't sound like that's that small. It was a seven terabyte drive. So. I'm trying to remember if I still have that spare drive or not. Yeah, seven po it says 805 gigabytes free of 7.27 terabytes. Uh, all right. The problem is I do uninstall some of the bigger games that we do, like, rarely. Like, I think Baldur's Gate's uninstalled. Is it? So clearly no, someone should ask for Baldur's Gate. No, Baldur's Gate is still installed. Never mind. Baldur's Gate's still installed. The biggest games I can think of that are installed right now are Baldur's Gate 3, um, Grand Theft Auto 5, Final Fantasy 14, and I guess now Fantasy Star Online 2. So what is the biggest game you own? That is a good question. I don't actually know. Probably some Call of Duty if I had to guess. I think you can at least sort your Steam by size, but I guess it would have to be downloaded first. I don't so. think you can sort Steam by size. I don't think that's a thing. It should be. I think I've done it on my PC. I, I could check. I have Steam open now. If you know how to do that, I would love to check because I'd be genuinely curious. Yeah, people are saying I, it. I do, I do believe you can sort by size. Yeah, you can sort by size on disk, but it will not say once for uninstalled one. So you can only check the biggest size of the things you currently have installed. Well, how do I sort by this? Because I'm looking at search by type. I assume that is not the case. Uh, do you have, like, categories on right now? Or, uh, like, do, are they sorted by, like, month or, like, type of game? It's currently they're sorted alphabetically. Uh, there should be, if you can get it in a view where they're, like, it's, like, the box arts. The collections? Yes. Uh, you can sort those by, uh, one of those options is size on disk. Should be the third from the bottom. Oh, you can sort by Metacritic score. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Size on disk. Uh, but I have to add everything in there manually to do that, I think. So. No, I, well, like, the point is, is that they also have to be installed, so. Eh, fair. Uh, I'll worry about this some other time, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, here we go. No, all games sort of size on disk. Yeah, biggest install I have right now is Baldur's Gate 3 at 142 gigs. Grand Theft Auto 5 is 117 gigs. Halo Master Chief Collection is 83 gigs. Tekken 7 is 80 gigs. And then the next jump is Blind Fate. Edo no Yumi, which is 28 gigs. Relicta is 26. Guilty Gear Strive is 25. Persona 3 Reloads is 22. Skullgirls is 22. Earth Defense Force Iron Rain is 22. Power World oh, is 19. Whatever CSSP1 is, is 18. Hi-Fi Rush is 16. Undernight Inbirth 2, 15. Actually, not even, that's not even 2. Oh, it is. Never mind. Super Bomberman R2, 14 gigs. Left 4 Dead 2, 14 gigs. Contra Operation Galuga, 14 gigs. Or, sorry, 13. Spark the Electro Jester 3, 13 gigs. Walk Mini Golf, 12. Outer Wilds, 10. Space Marine, 10. Bloodstained, 10. Battletoads, 10. Persona 4 Golden, 10. Metal of Chaos, 9. And it just keeps going from there. I didn't realize Skullgirls was so fucking big. Yeah. It got big while I wasn't looking. That's because they added more girls. 
Anyways, uh, egg-wise, uh, Ragnarok for 63, uh, Satori the Enlightened for 19, Exalera for 70, Trichianthia for 81, Ferete for 99, Haya Ryu for 79, Merkwim for 13, Hemi Powered Hero Chow for 64, TK Framp for 91, and Hemi Powered Hero Chow with the big 20 gift sub bomb. Damn. Thank you all so much for hanging out tonight. Your eggs tonight. Courtesy of the Shuffler, by the looks of it. You will give me an egg. Going to break when we come back. Hopefully. <laughs> Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. See you guys in a bit. Skullgirls, Dreamgirls DLC. Isn't that, that just that one fighting game that somebody keeps posting about on the Boogaroo that they're making? Or, the, or like concepts of? Forget who does that. Donna Versus, I believe. Yeah, it's at 42 gigs of 53. We should be fine. We might we might just do our block a little bit longer than we normally would, but we should be fine. Uh, be right back. Casual Philip, thank you. So what's up, cat? Just enjoying myself a pizza, pepperoni and pineapple pizza. I know quite the unpopular choice, but I enjoy it. Although it is a little cold, so not the best combination for pineapple pizza. It's my fave Final Fantasy XIV jobs. Well, I play Monk the most frequently. Samurai seemed cool. Uh, Freeze got me into Blue Mage recently for a thing that he was doing, and that seemed like a lot of fun. So I guess I would say those three, just because those are the ones I have the most experience with. But I mean, I kind of like playing everything, you know? That's fair. I just have a few favorites because they're more comfortable or more like what I'm used to from other action RPGs I've played. But I like Monk because I like punching stuff. Like beating the shit out of it with my bare hands. Silvermoon, you are aware that an Exabyte Drive is literally a data center worth of drives, right? Like, you, you can get about a petabyte in a 4U rack, which means you can get 10 in a full rack unit, which means you need 100 rack units. That's a full data center to get an exabyte. That's a lot of storage. <laughs> I'd be a bear if I wanted. I can't be bear, but I could be a bear. Colin, you're, you're technically not wrong. Realistically, in 100 years, an exabyte will probably be on some form of solid-state drive. Still be expensive. Actually, when I play Monokuma, uh, I'm I'm that bear. I'm not literally in the game, but like I, I do a pretty good Monokuma voice when we when I play that game. Uh, good thing for me, though, I'm not playing it for a while. Kind of got dang and romp a burnout after having to play all the post games. Still love it, though. Still love it. My second favorite game franchise for a reason. Any guests I'm excited to see at Momocon? I probably won't have time for guests with all the friends there, but... Uh, the Amazing Digital Circus peeps are there, and that'll be cool. I feel like there was somebody else that was going to Momocon that was like, Oh, it's really cool that you're going, even though I probably won't have time to see you. Who's all there so far? Huh? Well, that's the Steam download done. Oh, yeah, Steve Bloom's going. Nice, it's been a while since I got to see him. Honestly, a lot of these voice actors I recognize, so they're all they all seem really cool. Although I got to see some of them at a different convention recently, like uh, Kirk Thornton, Zeno Robinson, Kellen Goff. But yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of cool guests here. Oh man, Richard Horvitz is going. That's nice. I mostly a lot of these cons I usually go for the internet guests, admittedly. Green is this Momo oh. that you're going yes. to? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Viva Where Reverie, that was the one that stuck out to me as like, a, oh, I want to see this person. Where is Momo? Georgia. Momo gone? Georgia, okay. Thank you. Why? You curious about going? No, unfortunately. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Um, it, it would be interesting, and I probably could swing it. Um, but, like, it's coming up, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's next month. Oh, it's next month. Okay. Yeah. It was this month. No, no, no. Salt Lake JJ is going? Wow. I don't know why, but I didn't expect that guy to do cons. Cool, though. Like his, I like his videos. Yeah, there's a lot of guests. That, that, I just barely scratched the surface. There's a lot of guests on this list I really look forward to. That being said, I am still prioritizing hanging out with friends like uh, John or Freeze or Ari or, or whoever, whoever else is there. Apparently, I missed out, uh... I hope... I always hope that I'm pronouncing this right, because I always... I would feel bad if I'm not. Kaiji Tang, I believe? That's how you pronounce his name? I missed him at MAGFest, apparently. The only guest that I knew that was at MAG, other than the Throne Controllers crew, was Caddy, and I barely caught his panel, because it was, like, super late at night, and I was just like, Oh, yeah, panels are a thing that exists at this convention! Too busy playing arcade games with everybody. Or eating. Any idea if I'm going to PAX West? I don't plan it. Uh, because finances might be a little bit more complicated after Momocon. I mean, that's a uh, lot farther away, too, location -wise. True. But, I mean, if people could get me the money and if life's not throwing me into hell, I'm down to do any convention. But I can't afford to do, like what I did for MAGFest for every convention throughout the year. It is not a job for me like, like it is for John, so like I can't go to as many conventions. I'd yeah. like to go to every convention and see everybody, but like that's a lot of money that I'd either have to spend and or raise, and that's very difficult on both ends. Yeah, I don't know how, I'm, how often I'd go to cons if this wasn't my job. I would still go to the occasional packs, but like, man, like so many cons this is the year where i'm barely doing any cons by comparison because we did mag and we skipped pax east and by the sounds of it so did a lot of people um i'm doing momo i'll just hang out at odafest for one day to say hi to some people uh and we're probably doing pax west so like that's that's a lot, a lot lighter than what we normally do yeah but I... i'd be down to go to pax west if people were willing to help. <laughs> I think at this point, the only con I would keep on roster, even if I stopped doing content online, would be MAGFest. That makes sense. Say, fellas, did someone mention the door to darkness? Oh, I have that as a button. Oh, but I have to set up voice mod to go through Discord. <laughs> well, don't worry. Don't worry, it's fine. General yelling for about three seconds like you're about to do a powerful attack. Think anime. No! That works. Damn it. Thank you for the Raven Ico. Hopefully the stream was good. We're about to play Grand Blue Fancy Relink, but first let's do alerts, art block, and then get to it. Word. Say fellas, did somebody mention the door to darkness? Perfect. 
Chaos Sister AC says, you wouldn't download a power trip. Oh, I totally would. Absolutely would. 100%. Alright, Art Block is a go. Art Block starts... Um, right here. Oops, hang on. We don't need the power trip stuff up here. There we go. From Greece, this is just Rose addresses Nam uh, Namuno Sakata from Star of Four Seasons. Namuno is one of Wiggle's fingers. Two or three characters with visual bust in Toho. She has the ability to create shelter, so she's kind of a mom. Interesting take. It was fun playing Kingdom Hearts 2, but with a restriction to not use magic. Woof, that does sound a bit mean. Does that count Donald's auto magic, or is that just only Sora's? Thank you, Grease. You just tilt Donald in every fight. <laughs> I guess you, I guess you can't tell him to not do it. I guess, or can you set him to physical? I don't think so. I forget. I feel like that's a thing, but I might be misremembering, especially since I haven't played two. I just have one in Chain of Memories under We've my belt. We forced him to turn off all magic for party members, too. Dang. Ooh, Dang. okay. Speaking of dang, look at this from Megatech. So I was on JP PSO2 NGS when you were doing the character creator, so why not show off my character named Velvet? She's max height for a female human, 199 centimeters and 210 in the outfit. She tall. I love this look. This is a fucking fire ass look. Hell yeah. Forgot to mention in my last post that someone in the game felt that Velvet was a combination of Fey Leg, a character in the original PSO2, and Bayonetta, and I was like, I can see it. Yeah, I guess I can see Bayonetta energy from this. I, I was literally about to say, oh, it kind of reminds me of Bayonetta, but I didn't want to be that asshole who's just like, oh, hey, this original character of yours, it reminds me of this thing that exists, you know? <laughs> I feel like a fucking celebrity in this town. God. I, I can't do it. After the last stream, I cannot fucking do that Bayonetta voice again. I just think of the version that uh, Botster made where they got flattened by a giant Sony brick because, <laughs> because Bloodborne caught... Cart got hit with a DMCA. Or no, a cease and desist, so it was worse. From Chloe, Chloe, I've been drawing a lot of chibi art lately, and seeing an actual Toho game on stream got me inspired. So here's several of the bosses from Hidden Star in Four Seasons. I hope y'all enjoy. Very, very cute. Very nice. Thank you so much, Chloe. I don't know if y'all have time, but look up the PSO2 base Felig fight. I'll look it up some other time. John, I had gender envy. What the fuck? Stop. Cease and fucking assist your gender. What? What? From I so here's the thing. So last stream, we were talking about what what was what should be my wine aunt voice, and somehow it became like bayonetta. So I did a bayonetta line, and I thought the the first read I did was actually pretty good as a bayonetta voice. And then every other time I tried after, I couldn't get it to work. So I was very See, sad. Now you know how I felt during that chaos edition stream. <laughs> where everyone was teasing me with the fucking voice training exercises. Oh. Where I got it right as a fucking bit, and then as soon as I tried to keep it consistent, I was just like, what the fuck, I hate this, I can't do it again! <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the trick. If you're trying to do heat from fire and fire from heat, it will never quite work. See? Because I can't, I can't do it either now. Uh, why can we only do it well if we're teasing people? Damn, I hate the, that, that's I hate part. that. That's the worst fucking part. Uh... Your gender privileges have expired, John. F finally, I'm. Finally, it's all over. <laughs> You're free. You're free. I'm free of gender. You're free from the gender. I I'll take on the excess gender now. By all means, go renew it. I need your gender. <laughs> <laughs> from Junko, just a quick little colored sketch of Tan Cerno since John played some Toho for Power Trip. Rather amusing that Cerno was assigned to summer in spite of her ice-based abilities. Yeah, you gotta stay cold in summer. Ice cream. And the all-new gender-free John. Hooray. Oh, no. They assigned to summer. I thought they meant it was summer, and I was like, no, it's still spring. Nope. Next up, some more PSO2 characters. Wow. This is one of the looks that I used. Granted, I didn't get the Dino Rex head cast piece, so I had to use something else for this look. And yes, it is the race. Uh, the race is a D, uh, D human, not a cast. So, how does one get PSO2? Hmm? Uh, it's free. All I gotta do is download hmm. it. I used, oh god, hang on, it's in the pins. I used something called, at the request of Damon, it was uh, PSO Tweaker? 
And that apparently made the, it's supposed to make the process of switching between versions and stuff like that a lot easier. Because there's the global version and the Japanese version, but the Japanese version has English translation patches. So, there's options for that. But I'm not surprised that this would absolutely get your attention. I literally what? was about to say the same thing! <laughs> yep. you're, I'm you're mostly joking, but damn, this looks good. Your free trial has expired. Please purchase Woman Rar. <laughs> John, why do you give such gender envy when you're sassing people with your female voices? I think it's just because some of you are just not used to hearing me use this kind of voice like this. I think that's all it is. Genuinely so mad at you that you have inadvertently made my femme voice better. Fuck you for that. <laughs> that just makes me stronger, Star. That's all that does. Uh, that just makes me want to do this even more all the time. Just to fuck with you nonstop. Uh, I swear to God, if the next stream that I join on, you just only do that voice, I will die. <laughs> I will, you're, 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 <laughs> One of these days, it's going to be a fucking donation incentive, and I'm just fucking locked into that voice for an entire stream. Uh... Red I slipped into my girl voice at work today by uh, accident. <laughs> <what>? <laughs> Every day you gain more and more power. But is this power I should have as a dude? No, then give it to me. <laughs> give it to me. I'm actively asking for this power. <laughs> I need it. The HRT can only do so much. It doesn't do anything <laughs> for guys to girls. It only works the other way around. Well, yeah, that's what I mean! <laughs> exactly! You understand my point in a roundabout way. John, if I develop a male voice, do you get stronger or weaker? I mean, I think I break even there. <laughs> Don't we know it, John cries in dysphoria? I'm like, it, okay, here's a question. Should I stop doing the girl voice? Because I don't know if it's starting to, like, mess with some people. I don't want to. I don't want to start giving people dysphoria from it. Aww. John is the epitome of the phrase. I will take this power and use the <laughs> fuck out of it. <laughs> Jumney just in all caps. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't stop. Never stop. No, keep doing it. No, it's I'm fine. I'm memeing. It's inspiring. Please don't. Yeah, I, I like that Montaro was saying, please don't, because he actively joins in. <laughs> <laughs> if you stop, I will cry. Wow. I will make a petition so you don't stop. Slash joke. Raise your hands in the sky and give your girl voice powers to Green like it's a spirit bomb. Jesus Christ. Your girl voice got Everyone me to start voice training. We need you to raise your arms up! <laughs> it's for gender! You gained this strength from being told to eat a hat, by the way. That is entirely <laughs> true. That is entirely true. Uh, oh my god. Being for my told sake, to eat I hope hat? no one ever offers to eat a hat. Ever. It, someone I mean, offered I me offered a hat once. if I beat a level of Kaizo, and that's what started the whole Kaizo playthrough. So, because I wanted to see someone eat a hat. So the point is, wanting to see someone eat a hat led me to here. So that what you're happen. saying is your whole career was even started on Spite. Yeah, exactly. My my entire career started on Spite. It's proud dysphoria. Oh my god. <laughs> Real talk as a trans gal, keep doing it. This shit is unironically validating as fuck. It's actually very heartwarming how much you care for your queer viewers. Well, thank you. Aww. Well, because, like, I, I don't want to fuck with people too much is the thing. I Well, okay. I love fucking with people, but I don't want anyone to actually be hurt by me fucking around with them. It's like how, like, Green always gives me fucking shit about all the gender shit all the time. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't fucking care. Green and gender? Hmm. Oh, I've never. Those two things have never correlated. I do like the increase in gender this past year. I mentioned this yesterday of just like, you know, gender has not been a rare topic around me as a trans woman, but it's weird that ever since 2023, it's just kind of increased. Like, people I have. People I never expected to be talking about gender actively talk to me about gender. I'm like, I'm thankful for your service, but also, wait, why is this coming from you? <laughs> 
and you are included on that list, John. <laughs> I'm just like, why is there so much gender? <laughs> I'll take it, but also, what the fuck is happening? You aren't being derogatory about it. Exactly. My point is, like, I just want to, like... Like, if people feel like, if people feel like me talking like this gives them, like, a feeling of euphoria or makes them, like, want to work towards a goal, then I mean, that's, that's great. I love that that helps people like that. It's weird that as a straight white dude, that that, that does that for people. But I mean, like, I'll take it. Anything that's considered supportive, I'm always down for. But I, at the same time, I want to make sure people aren't like, oh, I'm really uncomfortable that John keeps talking in this, like eerily good girl voice starts pissing me off. I mean, it was... Didn't you have a similar concern about all the girl art as well? I mean, yeah, but the, the community also was like, eventually was like, yeah, we're, we're used to it. <laughs> we, we expect it up. at this point. <laughs> From Blue Fairy Kino. Hey, hee hee, big elf lady. Maybe one day I'll, play, I'll pay PSO2. I tried once before the big update, but didn't like it much. Maybe I'll like it more as it is now. It'd also be dangerous for my writer brain, though. Without fail, if a game has a character creator, I'll make an OC out of it and end up getting severely attached and thinking of their story for ages. It happens every time. Help. Legit, oops. Legit, though, the character creator is so fun. I love super detailed character creators like this. You can always make such neat-looking characters with them. Makes you want to practice the reverse, to be honest. Well, just a more masculine voice. I'm pretty covered on that. Definitely <laughs> masculine. Oh yeah, no. Thank, good job, See, the strong problem about, bad. The, the problem about doing either like heavily masculine or heavily feminine, vo feminine voice for me is that I just start laughing, <laughs> and so it breaks. This trans community being accidentally born out of someone eating some random straight guy wanting to see a hat being eaten forever ago is somehow the most proton John sentence I've ever said. Yeah, I believe that. It is funny how many people, how many uh, of the trans folk in this community have actively followed me to my own streams to bully me, bully me about <laughs> being, bully in quotes, like in a lighthearted way, about being the, the apparently the trans femme Proton John. Well, congratulations on being the trans femme me. Uh, that, that explains why we keep sharing the same brain cell, huh? Uh. <laughs> Doesn't it just start? That's so funny. <laughs> who would tease you of all things about something? I don't know who that would be. Why did this become my life? <laughs> Control the lobsters. Uh. Control. Control. I need a, lobsters. I need a drink. All right, my timer went off, so we'll end on this piece here from Metasonic 8. And this was the Lycanthro cast set. Granted, the... Hu Shen Tail isn't part of the set, and again, my character's race is a D-human, not a cast. And funny thing with Hu Shen Tail, they're a cutscene ruiner if they're any bigger than the size I have it at. That looks fucking cool, though. Hell yeah. I see so many oh you knows in chat. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. <laughs> Rosa John and the alts might be the reason my egg recracked. I have no idea how to feel about that. How does an egg recrack? Uh, I guess just trying to figure out where on the gender spectrum you land. I like guess. If, if you're NB and you think you're more gender fluid or more trans femme or vice versa on that, wherever it lands, <laughs> just like... Hang on a second. From that crazy crap. Oh, you dare read the comment that I think you're going to read. Are you sure you're not trans, John? <laughs> John at a convention. Yeah, because she's already exists and she's right next to me. Looks at green. Make us whole, by the way. <laughs> make us whole die. star make us whole <laughs> I before we get into the game I have to click something that was sent to me in DMs is this is this for stream just to make sure you know who I am talking to you know who this is directed at oh yeah if you're if you're showing off stuff uh would you want to show off Devil's costume I was talking about earlier? If Devil's cool with it? Sure. I have pictures. Or he probably would also have pictures. Welcome well, to the thing I was just sent by Rhyme. Why plushies are a good idea. <laughs> I love this already. Page one. Bagel. Dignified mister. Silly. Sleepy. Soft. Cuddly, I think. 
Marketable will welcome himself into your house. You don't get a choice in the matter. See, that's, be careful about that because he has broken into people's houses before. <laughs> oh God. I have been sent pictures from other people in the neighborhood of him just in their house. I like the spinny one. The spinny one. Rhyme, did you ever send me the finalized spin one, by the way, so we can make that an emote? I love how his fur looks so different in this picture compared to every other one. It's like super dark color in every other one except for the middle one. Next page. Beefaroo. Also silly. Already marketable. Full of love. Living cartoon. Silly toothy grin. My baby. He will not look like this. I promise. <laughs> this is the, the confetti one's always my favorite. Next up, my credentials. Many years of drawing. A degree for drawing a lot. Soon to be two degrees, hopefully. More years of having plushies. An entire corner of bed is dedicated to plushies. A bookshelf has plushies. A display case has plushies. Please, I want more plushies. Here's a crying emote. <laughs> I like that that's also a bullet point. Yeah, that is a bullet point. That's just a bullet point. With this comma, we can achieve penguin stonks up. Oh, my lord. Conclusion, please, 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 I don't have enough plushies. I swear, I also swear I'm not doing this to procrastinate homework for a teacher I don't like, I swear. Meanwhile, butts. You're obviously doing it to procrastinate homework for a teacher you like, because you know that if you procrastinate, they don't mind, they'll let you do it anyway. Please don't procrastinate your homework. At least the PowerPoint wasn't an hour, that's true. I hey! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what? What are you hanging about? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. I'm glad what, what you was put it, it on? Was it on gender? <laughs> it was on gender, yeah. Okay. Red, red interrupted Star's playthrough of Super Paper Mario to give an hour long PowerPoint presentation about gender. It was red. Okay, I thought it was green. It was on green stream, but it was it was, red did it. Yeah, red was just like, hey, I have a quick presentation to show you. I was like, I, I, I was in the middle of uh, the pit of 100 trials, and I was like, ah, sure, we can take a quick break. We just finished ads. And then by the time they were finished, we had to do another ad break. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was zoning out. Peter just straight up left because he couldn't process the information he was being given. It was a ride. <laughs> right. Gwen, Gwen said it was such a good presentation that she shipped Red an actual gender PhD. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. It's a long story to explain why Super Paper Mario became cursed with gender, but it, it was a it was a saga spanning multiple weeks. Just every Saturday, those Super Paper Mario sessions would just be about gender, and I was like, cool, but also why? It ended up with they, them, Luigi, which good for them. I mean, that if you asked me to figure out what character in the Mario universe, just like the main cast, would be most likely to be trans, it would absolutely be Luigi. Yeah, I would agree on that. I mean, like I said uh, when I played Bowser's Inside Story, he's canonically worn Peach's dress like twice. Or in two different pieces of media. I don't know if he wears it multiple times in those individual pieces of media, but I know he wears it in the Mario World comic and in uh, one of the Mario and Luigi games. So. I think it's Superstar Saga, yeah. Yeah. While Luigi it was my second one, honestly. Yeah, no, I could see that too. What, what's, the what's the joke? To, <laughs> there it is, the Waluigi, Waluigi to Rosalina Pipeline. <laughs> Which is very damning for me, now that I've said it out loud and think about it. No, it's okay. I, I, There can only be one trans proton John, and it's me, I guess. <laughs> the Waluigi to what, what? The Waluigi <laughs> to Rosalina Pipeline. It was something I said during, uh, I think, a Clue stream. Uh, I forget the full context. I just remember we were talking about Waluigi and Rosalina, and I said the I said it hits you like a truck. Trust me, I speak from experience. Because I used to I used to play Waluigi all the time in like the Mario parties and Mario Karts, and then I and then I swapped to Rosalina, and I never looked back. Well, I did look back because Waluigi is a quite handsome gentleman, but I stuck with Rosalina for certain reasons. <laughs> Thank you.
Who did I play as in Mario Kart 8 the other day? Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Well, I can probably turn that pop-up off now. I hope. Alright, so I have no idea what this is. Is this a hack and slash? I think it's a fighting game. No, that's Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Oh. In that case, I don't fucking know. It could be a... Wait, what game was it called again? This is Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Okay, everyone's saying action RPG. It's kind of like 14. Oh, that's really funny. I mean, hopefully by speakers, they mean the audio source I'm giving you all now. It's not going to come out of my actual like, TV. I mean, we hear it, so... How different would things be if Waru Peach existed? No idea, honestly. <laughs> you know, I mean, we all saw all the damage that fucking Bowsette caused. <laughs> I mean, Waru Peach did ha have, like, kind of an impact when she was real, just not as much as Bowsette. Hmm. Because she was just a little gremlin. This just in, version 1.1.0 Pat is now available. This patch features new quest edition bug fix and other updates. Alright. Oh yeah, I totally didn't mention the dark progesterone. That was how that bit started. Just Peter saw the word prognosticus and just said progesterone completely unprompted. I did not say a single goddamn thing about gender. He was the one who started it. And then it kind of just rolled from there. <laughs> that is where the cursed gender of Super Paper Mario happened. Latest update adds a raid boss to the game, but don't worry about it. Gotcha. Ah, yes, the Bowsette rides of 18 and 19. I still remember the crowns. To be fair, that's how we got the Jonaverse in the first place. Was the Super Crown. Shh. It's okay. Is it? There's fire. The stars await, and we must... Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I wasn't going to talk with my mouth full, but it said the stars await, and I'm just, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Where did the Super Crown even originate from? Nintendo! Nintendo made it. Well, kind of. They no, made... Nintendo made a, the Super Crown, which turned Toadette into Peachette, yeah. but then the internet was like, well, what if we put this on Bowser and make Bowsette? And the, then it the, kind of it, it wasn't the internet. There. It was a single artist whose idea exploded. Yeah. To have that kind of effect on the internet. God damn. I'm so glad Maniacal said what I've always been thinking about it. It should be called Peach, sir. Yeah, a, <laughs> lot, a, lot, of people, a lot of people said that. And it was just like, eh. It's not that big a deal. Either that or alternatively make a Toadette that is Bowser themed, because that sounds adorable. That would be kind of rad, honestly. To this day, they're like, I don't know how the fuck this happened. Ship's caught a current. Be out in the ship. I mean, can we explain how it happened either over here? Yes, the internet was horny. Oh, I opened no, my I mouth. No, I mean like, I, opened I my was mouth. talking about Rosa. Oh, did I just uh. skip the cutscene? Oh no. I was just trying to... Oh, God damn Well, they it. died. <laughs> Did I skip the cutscene? No, people are saying no. No, you didn't. It's just that short a cutscene? Select your appearance. What did I land on? All right. His name is Gran. What's her name? Jita. That's my favorite Dragon Ball character, Jita. <laughs> damn it. Can, damn you, 10 characters can't name myself Grand Blue Fantasy versus Relink. 
Uh, what are we going to name him? God, you know who he Blue, fucking reminds but me of like right now? Blue, but like the Foster's now? character. fucking Ramza. Who? The main character from Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh, okay. I think it's the armor and the color scheme. Limit, why would they why would the name be Progesterone? You get it, Bucko, the same artist. Is it actually? <laughs> Character designer is the one from Final Fantasy Tactics. Well there you go, then we're going to Ramza. Oh, your appearance can be changed later, so I can just turn into a girl whenever I want. Gotcha. <laughs> just like real life. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. I can speak from experience. That's exactly how that works. I don't think it was very instant, though. Uh, I don't think you also went through a menu. <laughs> yes, I would like to order the estrogen. <laughs> what a vast expense. I like her. It's easy to forget I like her. I like her too, but I, I, I like the armor girl I'm still more focused on. I like the eye patch man as well. Little creature! Little cre baby, baby! <laughs> baby! It's nice we're getting closer to our goal and everything. I swear I keep turning up the game and it keeps getting quieter. I was thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if our adventures never ended? Imagine if that's just how this game worked. It just slowly got quieter and quieter until the sound just turned itself off. I sort of wish that it could go on forever and ever. You read my mind. I just doubled the volume, so hopefully that works. I want to give the little creature many pats. Yeah, they seem like a friend. Tom, Tom, you were still alive? What? Miniature giant space hamster. I, the smallest, biggest space hamster. How was Boulder's Gate, Tom? Ah, that makes way more sense. Okay, that would do it. How was Thomas the bouldering of the gates? Tom, this one's for you. Tom, thank you for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good, buddy. We are starting Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Uh, it is the latest power trip choice that's been made. We will be doing one last raffle tonight, decide the starting game for the next uh, power trip, but I have a feeling we're kind of locked in for what games we're playing tonight at this point. All right. Camera movement controls. Not with WAS, left stick, left stick, please. There we go. It looks like the ship's Wait, you don't want to use your keyboard in an action RPG? Mm, I'm good. Um, Catalina? What is it, Lyria? What do you think is out there? At the end of the Sky Realm, I mean. She's, she's very pretty. <laughs> I am fucking enamored with her design. Pretty tall. Oh, now that you bring it up. You're Although it's funny that her armor is so fucking like cut to her waist sh shape, like it's basically painted on. God, it 
it kind of does look a little bit too painted on. We'll find out when we get it must be. It must suck to move around I here. Say something like I'd that. imagine uh, sitting down is probably even worse. <laughs> <laughs> on the other hand, we know there's at least two things waiting for little us. Little guy, look at the little guy. I don't know what the hell it is, but he's a little guy. I can't imagine what adventures we're in for next. We'll just have to keep going and see for ourselves. <laughs> you and Lyria are totally in sync. <laughs> well. You're certainly in high spirits, Lyria. <laughs> I'm just excited to start a brand new adventure. Me too. Who knows what we'll find in this skydom? So wait, there's an end of the world. Oh, man, feel that How? flowing through your hair. Eh. Planet was flat, who knew? It does have <laughs> some nostalgic quality to it. Wait. Does that mean you've been to the skydom before, Rosetta? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> I can't start giving away my secrets now. Aw, you never give me a straight answer. Or your secrets. Because you've got no filter. Maybe you'll understand when you're old. He's very handsome. Zip it! I've told you a bunch of times, stop treating me like a baby! I hate that this man is reminding me of both Adam and Claude, two of my favorite anime characters. Two against one ain't fair. Okay, I love her hair. Play nice, Rackham. Her hair is amazing. Aw, oh, come on. Three against one? I was just teasing. Aw, oh, who is that voice? Oh, That's not familiar. Ugh, if anybody's the immature one, it's Rackham. Oh, yeah. Whose hair, by the way? Rosetta's or Eos? Think about these new skies. The other, not Rosetta. Though her hair is nice. I, I, like, I like the colors. Yeah, Adam, Xenoblade, and Claude Fire of them, yes. Rackham is Kyle Bear. Oh, yeah, that that makes sense, yeah. That, that's why that's not familiar. <laughs> What's with the tunes? You put on your happy pants today, or what? It's this new is that Christina V? Reminds me of my younger Probably. Days. Got me falling in love with the skies all over again. God, why does this whole cast sound so familiar? But you can rest easy. I'm keeping an eye on the horizon. Anything comes close Oh, to this is a... Uh... English Joseph voice, I think. Allegra, Allegra Clark apparently is is the dragon's voice. Oh. Think we'll see monsters. I think Eugene is English Joseph Joe Star in Part Three, but I don't remember the actor's name. Richard Apcar. Thank you. Very good voice actor. I got things covered up here. We're on the verge of entering a new skydom. No knees up now, Captain. <laughs> you know, at least they're not giving the painted on gear to only one gender. That's a good point, because I'm like, God damn, he is fucking poured into that. Hey, I'm satisfied. <laughs> this this pansexual is eating well. We got monsters. <laughs> I'm aware, Cole. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I met the man this year. I should know who he voices. Press X to attack nearby foes when playing as the captain. Mix in Y attacks to create various combos. Press Y to unleash a character's unique attacks. Some unique attacks can be charged up by holding down the button like the captain's Y attack. Birds. Were they hiding in the clouds? Theo! Rosetta! Get your head on the lizards on the port side! On it! Just like that! That's why it explicitly it sounds familiar. It's not just Kyle Bear, he's, it's Kyle Bear doing his Kaito Momoda voice. That's why. Foglow's red, watch out, prepare to guard or dodge powerful attack that's about to come. Hold left bumper to block enemy attacks. But beware of taking too many hits while guarding will result in a guard break and you become temporarily dazed. Nice move, bud. Press right trigger to dodge, tax, and avoid taking damage. You can dodge multiple times in a row, but doing so will leave you wide open after the final dodge. There we go, finally. Now we can make a break for Lyria! Captain, go to Lyria! 
voice also sounds familiar. I think that's Sai's voice actor from Persona 5? That would make sense. I don't think that's where I would know her from explicitly, but I would know that voice because I did play that game, so. Oh, I see. Don't know what I expected. <laughs> uh, good thing they so just missed our airship. I, I see. I see Cole's reacting to Bahamut. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure showed those losers. <laughs> I will say one of the oh. things I love about fantasy is that sometimes they just have ridiculous weapons like a magic staff that's twice as tall as oh that's dragon I didn't notice come on screen hello oh you did <laughs> why am I a little paying attention to the giant dragon don't answer that question Well, time to fight Bahamut. What it points out, the dragon has thighs. Dragon's just got a good build overall. Knock some sense into Proto Bahamut. Describe Bahamut as thick. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, I thought this was gonna be something else. <laughs> Cole, Better. you can't you of all people can't judge me. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking? I can judge all the time. No, I said Cole. Oh Cole, never You mind. can judge all you want. Good, because I will. Ow, ow, ow. Even if you also watch Bart Talk. Okay, I just saw that was that was just an experience I had as a kid. Same here. <laughs> and it changed my life in ways that I did not ever expect it would. <laughs> Come on, Chef. Don't fail me now. Time bombs are ticking. He's got some Mewtwo hips, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong, which bothers me. He's not wrong, which bothers me. <laughs> Come on, Rackham. Can't you get us out of here? You kidding? We are now flying those wings. Then we intercept it. That's our only option. You know, maybe Cole shouldn't play Final Fantasy XIV. He might bring back Bahamut, and that's very bad for Aorcia. <laughs> Where are we supposed to dodge that? You kids, all right? Oh boy, engine room's been hit. We're about to fall under the buoyancy threshold. Boy, again! Right. I'll hit the repairs. Do what you can to slow our descent. Be a way out of this. Don't give up. He's too tough. You guys think we'll make it through this? Hey, we're not licked yet. 
This is a very neat way to start off your uh, video game. Yeah, for sure. It's a very strong start, in my opinion, with fighting a giant monster. Hurry it up, boy, Ken. That seems bad. That seems bad. think we're a buffet or what? One more and the show's over. Boykin, how much longer? Okay, try giving her some juice. Back in business. I'll grab us some air and try to shake him off. We're leaving Bahamut in the dust. Has its rage been combed? No. Wait. Oh, no. We're in laser range. Well, they're dead. That was a short game. Barely dodged it, but no guarantees. We'll look out twice. Proto bomb. Skyfall. Ah, like James Bond. Distance evasion's gonna be iffy. Everyone, hang on to your butts. Ah, you're gonna kill us first, Jackal. Yeah, you see that? It appears we're still alive. That's a start. Bahamut's near the bow. Now's our chance to attack. I'll finish this. there's not a health bar. Because this is a tutorial fight. Not fair. Complete prologue hey. of the main. Slapped it right in its titty. It's all okay now. Jeez, really had me worried there. I... <laughs> She's gonna fall off the boat! <laughs> Tell me it's the dude. Oh, it's the dragon. They say something instead of your character's name. Oh, the captain tucked away on the secluded island of Zinkent. Still, nothing exciting ever seemed to happen to this young man or his pal Vern. But that all changed when a girl named Lyria rhymed out of the blue. Zega Grande oh. Skydom. Ramses' newest adventure unfolds across this western stretch of sky, home to islands such as. Lu Tang and the Enstedo Archipelago. Definitely butchered those. Chapter one, the Western Frontier. I love fantasy names. That's half sarcasm, half legitimate. His voice echoed through <laughs> the Fantasy darkness. names are a choice. It was familiar. Painfully familiar. Just like the day we met, before this whole long journey began. Though I could barely use my sword, I tried to protect Lyria from the Empire. I almost died. But then... Wow. But then, cow. Wow. No, wow. 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 Take, he take a nap right here. <laughs> you protected me. Now it's my turn to save you. Take my power. Let it guide you. Let it become your strength. I know you can do this. Our lives are linked. 
while I may not fully understand how, Lyria gave half her life to save me. Then we were relinked. Her gift gave me the push I needed yeah, to pursue like the my name. own quest. I get it. Finding Estelucia, island of the astrals. It was a so this is a recap of the Gacha the game, right? Sky, where dreams are said to come true. Uh. and I, not to mention our ever-growing crew, are still continuing our search. But someday, someday we'll find it. And finally, the rainbow the connection. God damn it, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop stealing the brain cell. Am I? <laughs> With the two of us, it's just the race right. of who gets the bit out Lyria first. Fell from the ship. <laughs> then Vern and I left after her. <sighs> <sighs> Deep's like, I hate being here. I hate this so much. <laughs> Video games are a thing. They sure are. The thing is, in the gotcha game, I believe that the character you play as straight up dies in Lyria's saves. And, uh, gotcha. Think Maniacal needs to hold out a brain cell. You two are too powerful. <laughs> Listen. Maniacal is a very, very good friend who I care about deeply. I would not trust him a second with that brain cell. <laughs> <laughs> death, you know? So, you don't trust me, huh? No, no you're yeah. maniacal. You're not trusting with the brain cell. Down. There's a difference. I, I can hold on to it. I will nurture it. I will care for it. I will make sure it grows happy and healthy. And you will influence it in the process. I mean, isn't that just Actually, parenting? you know what? No, I am 100% okay because that means John will start, John and Green will start coming up with the maniacal ideas. And oh that God. ends in fun. Oh, no, listen. Listen, people who know me quite well know that I can come up with my own curse shit just fine. <laughs> what, what if we had like a, like a triple freaky Friday where like we had just like all swapped around with each other? Oh, uh, I don't... Kind of like in the Scooby-Doo movie where they swap bodies. I don't know which I one was would be the worst case the, scenario, um, both for you guys to receive and also for me to give. Hmm. Or yeah, right, get. Star not, and I already did the body swap thing. That's what got us in the whole fucking mess in the first place. True, true. What's this? All I'm saying, though, you can trust me. Sure. I don't know who in this group I would trust with the brain cell. I forgot the name of Futurama for a bit, because that was the body swap thing that I think of, is Futurama. What did they do in Futurama? I forget. I don't remember the full context. All I remember is they literally had to come up with a mathematical proof for how their random body swapping worked. Fun fact, this was going to be a platinum game before they had to change studios. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. What studio did this game? We trust Jumney with the brain cell. I mean, there'd be more booba than usual, but it's not like it's not like either of us are not used to that, thanks to John's art and my, you know, <laughs> <laughs> my, you know. Oh, you know. I know the friend that we're kind of connected to is up is somewhere around here in Lost, but I saw a blue orb and I need to go get it. I would trust you with the brain cell idea. It might come in handy later. Found a cobblestone. Mooch, opening my mouth does not give me bigger boobs. Other like, I know I talk a lot. But I wish the two correlate, <laughs> but no. I feel like you've already reached maximum capacity on boob output already. I don't know. Could always be bigger. <laughs> Sorry, it was it was too easy. It was too too low hanging. I had to go for it. I don't it. blame you. I had to do it. You fucking fool! <laughs> I had to go Maniacal, for the line. What? I had to go for the line. It was right there. Say the line, John. Exactly. If they're low hanging, you probably need a bra. So time to start selling bras. Oh my god. God. Let's see.
<laughs> it can't be bigger. We're giving all. We're giving her all she's got, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Monaco goes, do they wobble? Do they flow? And someone responds, please don't tie them in a knot. <laughs> <laughs> Fate. Uh, all right, he's fucking with me again. Hits enhanced. <laughs> what? That's what fate apparently is going to do to me for saying that. I'm just making a fucking joke, fate. You don't have to do that. Fates, you don't need You don't need to give me more booba. Give me more booba. Don't mind you. <laughs> Then I get more chaos. I want more gender. I, I don't need more chaos. I've had plenty. You see, John, this is why we can't have nice things, because the only nice things we can get are boobs. And when you say that. Uh... They are nice. I enjoy having them. Oh. Ooh, this is good fight music. His gender level really is reaching critical mass. Soon the universe will collapse. It will be worth it. <laughs> Just left trigger to have a camera automatically follow a target when locked on and target move the right stick to switch targets. Press uh, T again to disengage lock on. You can take him right. Show him who's boss. Do this. I know it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, this feels pretty solid. Mimo, if, if, if you need someone to donate the booba to, I'm right here. I, th I think John is satisfied. <laughs> well, I don't know how to transfer boob. Also, I guess I'm not necessarily in the market. It's like, uh, it's like Full Metal Alchemist, the cool exchange. Oh, yeah? Don't give up. You just do a uh, boob alchemy. Did we get all of them? Watch out! Like Equivalent sex change? Oh, God. Oh, my. <laughs> I hate that I didn't think of that. Hold right bumper, <laughs> press any of the buttons, activate a skill. Skills go on cooldown after activation, represented by their icons going dark. Some skills, however, allow for multiple activations. Nah, Hex Nexus, I haven't seen anything on Grand Blue before, really, except for like a bit of the fighting game, so I didn't see the April Fool's joke. What would I be giving? Uh, my, well, I was going to say my flat chest, but I've grown some, so... Just trade sizes. Break a leg. Yeah, Break a leg. April Fools was Sanrio this year. A few years ago, it was Bobo. -Bo. <laughs> Amazing. I knew you'd find me. Still, I was afraid I might never see you again. Worth noting, Grand slash Ramza is far from the only character who's playable, so if you don't gel with Talk their playstyle too much, you have options. A lot of them. Cool. I figured I figured most of the party seemed playable since they were all fighting in that fight. Every character has their own support skills. One of the captain's support skills is called Adept Arts, which enhances the abilities of activated skills. Hold up on the D-pad to use recovery items. Medicine might taste bitter, but it's better than biting the dust. Let's lose these trees and meet up with the crew. Yeah, biting dust sucks. It, it's it's all grainy in your mouth. Ew. You speaking <laughs> from experience on that? I, I don't have to answer that question. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. Now that I think about it, it's you rough and coarse. <laughs> It's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. We've sure come a long way, huh? I wonder how oh. everybody back home's doing. 
Oh, I thought that was a fucking Mondo Cool alert for a second. I thought that was Krillin saying, whoa, not the actual character I'm playing as. Whoa. Mondo Cool. That's right, boys. Hey! Check out the archives in Lyria's journal to read notes and other documents you picked up along your travels. Nice! Nice! A rock! Oh my god, a giant rock! Awesome! Tempestone. Rosetta's the main character I use. Yeah, something tells me I'd probably have fun playing as her. Fucking really dig her design. Nice find. Nice find. Nice find. Nice on. <laughs> oh, I almost said the meme one. <laughs> nice cock. <laughs> More monsters. You ready? <sighs> you having fun? You having fun, buddy? I'm just sitting here, listening. And it's fun to not be the one that's suffering. <laughs> Isn't that right, John? It's kind of great. Oh no! Ow! Break a leg! Break a leg! Okay, so it builds up in the fight. Interesting. Yeah, I can see what people, what chat's saying about it, how it kind of feels like Xenoblade Kingdom Hearts esque. Although I can also see, like, what some people said Monster Hunter as well. I can see where it's kind of a blend of the three. Though mainly Xenoblade and Monster Hunter, honestly. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. ow. So are you allowed to play as other characters or the main one? Or is that spoiler? I think I just have the they, yeah, they said earlier you could, but you just have to get far enough in the in the story for them to come back. Cause someone said Rosetta was playable, and that was the girl I was like, oh I love her design. Or no, Rosetta's the dancer, never mind, sorry. Not the uh shit. What was her Catalina? What was the name of the knight? Uh, I think you're right. Helena. Also, Ford March, it's April. Oh. Mondo Cool. Cobblestone. Just call her Claire, Jesus Christ. It's <laughs> <laughs> looking good. They have, they have trans characters? That's neat as hell. That might just give me a buy just on that alone. As long as they're good representation, which I assume if people are talking about them, they would be. I hate to keep everyone waiting. You know how protective they get. Then we better file back quick and show them what troopers we are. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, everyone's saying it's good rep. I might check that out, though. Grand Blue's been, like, off my radar for a while now. I think I only heard about it as of recent as a... Oh, right, the wrestler. I, I the forgot about game. them. Yeah, no, that makes sense for the trans rep. Hey! Someone have a picture? Burn! Is it just me, or...? Yeah! That was Cat! Uh-oh. Burn, behind you! Big boy! He was a rock monster! No, 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 Oh yeah, that that of all things reminds me. 
There's, there's another piece of VeggieTales lore I neglected to mention the last few times. I that's this is that's the, the transition time. you use? The fucking. Because it was in one of the movies. It was in one of the movies. How are we back to VeggieTales? I swear never it's. Ends. I swear it's just a, uh, one last side hand that is the last important piece of lore that I needed to draw. The last important piece of lore. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I would have mentioned it the other day, but I forgot about it because. I remembered one of the other rules from Phil Vischer's mom. Now, I mentioned before that one of them is you can't make Jesus a vegetable. The other one I neglected to mention, and I need to look up the exact phrasing of this real quick. I sent it to someone. The second rule was... Uh, Try not to imply that vegetables can have redemptive relationships with God. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Which is why they say God made you special and he loves you very much. Not them. They don't count, apparently. <laughs> they cannot have... They cannot be redeemed of sin. Only the viewer can. <laughs> Good lord. Which is some incredibly strange implications because that means Either they were created as sinful creatures who can never be redeemed and are just damned to hell anyway, or someone other than God made them. And both of those are incredibly horrifying <laughs> to think about. That last bit is something that Gwen pointed out to me. Boss's mode bar fills up as it takes There's damage. Once full, the boss goes into overdrive and becomes even more dangerous. Conversely, a boss mode's bar depletes as it takes damage while in overdrive. Once the bar is depleted, it enters break. That's your chance to lay on the hurt. So I guess the Veggie Tales vegetables are homunculi or whatever. Technically, they're those aren't your only two options. It is entirely possible that they were created without sin and then just came across sin and sin and whatnot. Why are we applying sin to veg vegetables? <laughs> Lame green. Oh, you know. I blame I just green for a lot of the things. Thought experiment. Um, Good, I deserve them. <laughs> I take them with pride. <laughs> I take most things with pride because I'm trans and pan. Uh, but the theoretically, they could have been born clean and then become sinful and then just not have the ability to redeem themselves. Hey, I'm doing a Tempest Blade. Nemo just said, I want to eat a slutty, milky apple. What the fuck? I'm just continuing the thought experiment. That's it. But that was an important role, uh, role that I felt if I neglected to mention, I would, I would, I would regret. Chris, select and then X to command your party members to either automatically use your skybound arts or hold them for later. Looking good. Born clean and then became irredeemable. So vegetables are That's Satan. It. Got it. I guess. I can see the comparison to Monhun now. Yeah, that that tracks. If a lot of bosses are like this. You guys rock, Captain. Glad we made it in time. I'm so glad Cat enjoyed that one last little piece of Veggie Tales lore. I will probably not toss any more because I don't want to just be known as the Veggie Tales person. As if that's not, as if it's not too late for that already. But like I, I am lacking on new information to toss anyway. That had to be my last Veggie Tales fact. <laughs> you say that, and I'm almost expecting a message tonight or tomorrow that you found a new one. Oh, thanks for the I won't be actively man. searching for them, but if my brain About finds another happened. one, I'll be sure to tell you, you and possibly now? chat if possible. Yes, I think I do. Uh, you're the veggie I gender know. person? I don't think I, I like really that. <laughs> you're, you're a vegetable gender. A gendered well, vegetable, if you will. Hanging out here isn't gonna help. How about we head back to the Grand Cypher? 
I'm with Eo. Better get moving before Do I have any B movie or Celeste lunch. facts? Not In really. Case, maybe we should follow this trail instead. I have a feeling at least. I think you should ask Chloe about that instead. Doesn't that sound like the perfect place to learn more about Sega Grande? Let's go check out that town then. Yeah, that's a good idea. What we need right now is information. Then it's settled. Into town we go. Huh, wonder if they got any plump, juicy apples. Vegetables green, vegetables are green. What is this Over. like? You're always thinking about food. Like, uh, <laughs> what is this logic? Who's talking? Uh, my tummy always picks the worst time to growl. <laughs> you heard Lyria's stomach. Let's go find that town. God, I love her oh, fucking design. What kind of how city does the game auto save? What happens that? when? How do I? How do I leave the game? Probably a save option in like the menu or something. You know what I'm wondering? How'd you Hooray! Guys fall from Hooray! That scratch. It's a miracle. Good question. Maybe the cannon so wait, can you play this with other people? In any case, is that what they mean? My, is that what the Monster Hunter comparison is for? Yeah, apparently I can pick between any of them. Right now, they're, I think they're leaving me as the captain. So. Well, I mean, like, can other people play as your other party members? Is I question. think this is four-player online, yeah. That's wild. That's rad as hell. Multiplayer Xenoblade-like? That's cool. That's X. You're describing Xenoblade Look, X. Shut up. We went over this during Fantasy Game Star Online. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Let's go. Also, Lyria. just because I can't info dump on Veggie Tales anymore does not mean I have I don't have a plethora of other two thousands media to toss into the conversation. <laughs> a young girl with the power to control primal beasts when she shared her life force with Ramza, their fates became in inextricably linked. Life link, a bond formed of Lyria's power that binds her life and rams us into one. Eugen, despite being haunted by his past, this old warrior still has a lot of fight left in him. He has much wisdom to impart if he ignores frequent complaints about getting older. Rackham, a seasoned helmsman who pods the Grand Cipher. His wit is almost as quick as his trigger finger. The captain, tucked away. Oh, I already read that one out. Uh, and Sun Dapple, we grow. Why? What? What about all the other people in our party? Why don't they get shit? <laughs> Forget about the dragon. Who cares about baby dragon? Or, or you know, the, the sword girl, or like the magic oh, girl. You, you really like the sword girl. Huh? I like the sword girl. It's a fucking cool design. I'm sorry. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a sucker for armor. I'm a sucker for fencing. Oh, she's got like the ears. hair that's shiny. Imagine if this was like Skyward Sword, where they didn't even know there was a ground, and they're like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> You, uh, Eugen's name is pronounced Oigen, old, yeah, Oigen, and no, it doesn't make sense to me either. What the fuck? Kind of reminds me of good old Port Breeze. You're also a sucker for blonde, blonde hair too. I mean, I guess. Yeah, she's got the red eyes, the cool earrings. You've had a rough afternoon today. You shouldn't push yourself too hard. I know, but Rosetta is gender. I would wear that. Well, Captain? Oh, she's got gloves! Maybe we could grab a bite. Gee, I didn't know our Captain was such a foodie. <sighs> Time to find some there isn't a ground. If you fall below the clouds, it's a literal hell. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, don't see the I mean, my opinion has always been that the um, the sky above Hyrule and Skyward Sword is the same area that is in Twilight Princess. Oh, I think they're talking about Grand Blue, not Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword, oh. I believe, does just have a ground, and you're just mostly in the sky. Well, it, it does. Skyward Sword does just have a ground. It's just when you're on the ground and you look up. It's not anyway, constant cloud cover. Exploring for a bit. Let's meet back at it that is open. Over there. Someone says it is literally hell. Like, actually hell. 
I figured that. I figured literally was not hyper hyperbolic. I figured that was actually like the bit. Come on. In Grand Blue? I would assume. So All if right. you fall into the clouds, you go to hell. Time. How do I save? You go, you go to hell cool. before you die. Well, that doesn't help me save, but... <laughs> it does just sound like I've threatened you. <laughs> I have There's a manual save, save in the menu, but it's also auto-saved. Well oh, okay. See you next time. How do you open a menu? <laughs> oh, it's a Lalafell. Totally a Lalafell. <laughs> That's creepy. Mm. <laughs> you want to say I'm following you everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Everywhere, everywhere you, you go. go. Everywhere you go. Zero Card is a renowned merchant who offers both Thor of goods and services travelers and residents alike. In fact, let's trade with her right now. Treasure trade. You have enough Rafale coins to trade for fortitude shards. Crystal Char replete with the memories of warriors, these recollections of training coax a minute a minute amount of power out of armaments. And there's also wind shards. How many do I want in a video game? You're not telling me. Sure. Fighting mine weaponry. You must be the one Ciro mentioned. Let me take a peek at your gear. Nice to take care of all things weapon related. You can also sell your items here. Let's use the fortitude shards you traded for earlier to level up the captain's weapon. Oh, I can upgrade everyone's. Oh, that's a lot of room on that roster list, by the way. Oh, God. That's a lot of room on that roster list. I also God, look at her old... fucking art! Yeah. <laughs> It feels weird being on the other side of this kind of situation. <laughs> People have to deal with me being like this all the time. It feels weird being on the other side. <laughs> I'm just looking in chat for Cole right now. <laughs> I think Cole died when the dragon showed up. Probably. That's probably it. No, that was me. <laughs> Two people can die, Deev. No, I I think I died enough for this chat. <laughs> Cole is dead. No, poor goat. Yeah, John. Oh, I think I get it now. Pluto, first time. <laughs> 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 See, this is this is the funny bit is that our our brain cells are being shared so much that now you are openly. No, <laughs> openly stop corrupting my about... fucking brain cells, Star. <laughs> Interesting characters. Stop corrupting my brain cells. <laughs> How can Green corrupt what is already corrupted? <laughs> he has a point. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> You're just mad because because we're right. I haven't seen John be this giddy since bad CGI Gator. I don't, I don't think it's a bad CGI Gator level. <laughs> Nothing is bad CGI Gator level. Fun fact, one of my favorite characters in Granblue is a swordswoman, Harvin, uh, named Charletta, or Charlotta. She's literally as big as her sword. You are not <laughs> immune to hot lady propaganda. Jesus. <laughs> Green.exe has been detected in your system. Activate starware protection. I'm inside your walls. <laughs> Get out of my walls. No, there's all this cotton candy. <laughs> don't don't eat the wall cotton candy. <laughs> don't don't do that. But it's so delicious for my tummy, Al. <laughs> so delicious for my tummy, Al. <laughs> Jeez, that got me. 
All y'all thirsting uh, who are new to the Grand Blue haven't even seen the rest of the playable cast. Y'all ain't ready. Oh, God. I mean, the characters that Rhyme sent me uh, are really rad. Rhyme sent you a bunch of characters? Uh, just the two trans ones. Ah, okay, for yeah. obvious reasons. Cole never recovered from Proto Bahamut's Mewtwo hips. Mm. Green isn't corrupting your brain, it's just girls pretty. That's also fair. And like I said, I'm a sucker for armor, so. So someone said, what, well, this is 15 hours? This could be done for game clearing at some point. Ooh. God, I, I didn't know really it was that short. I, I didn't know you could make an action be fun. RPG that short. Ooh, uh, don't don't tempt me to buy a video game for hot people. We, we... <laughs> <laughs> How much is this even? I don't even know. If I can I'm pretty sure this is right full now. price currently. It's it's not that uh, old. I think it's only a month uh, old. Who wants to buy me a video game filled with hot people? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me check how long to beat make sure I'm not pulling that out of my ass. Someone in chat said it was 15 hours. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, main story 15, main and extra 29, completionist 124. So I'm going to assume that is like leveling up every character to max level and Ooh. getting all their gear and shit. I already played Torna first because of hot people. No, I played it because of hot person. Singular. Get it right. It was just for Adam. The rest were a bonus. All right, so all is left to do tonight is the final raffle run. <laughs> Just imagine asking so someone asking Green if she had a part of the wall and cuts to Green with a giant piece of wall in her stomach, Looney Tunes style. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I would never do such a thing. All right, we got one last raffle to run tonight, and that dictates the starting game for the next power trip, which will be... I don't know if I'm going to get one in in May. I'll try, but, like, I'm gone for half of May. So we'll see. You guys tell me you don't buy games just for waifus and husbandos? No, I actually don't. I do sometimes, but, like, I'm not that shallow. <laughs> Jell89 says, it's my birthday now. Please give me your luck for the raffle and, like, life, I guess. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday, Jell. Uh, Jake Monroe for really 108. Hmm? Do they really want your luck? I mean, it depends. One person had terrible luck for me and they gave it back, but other people have had good luck from it. Fair point. Uh, Mimo says, speaking of cons costing money, the artist side is hell. Yeah, we make money. Yeah, I'm still salt. Anime Boston made me pay 300 bucks for the table plus full price for my badge. Not an yeah. extra one. Mine, which was another 100. Cons are a pain. Rip us. Jesus, I hate when cons do that. Mm. Uh, Kirinai Hideyoshi says, the mention of Christina V reminded me, if you put her and Matt Chapman in the same room, I bet you could fill out an entire cast of characters with just those two alone. Yes, absolutely. I believe it. Xenotype C says, but does Vern know what it, we mean? No. X Nexus Dan says, hey, John, just wanted to give a correction on the VAs. The dragon Vern is not voiced by Allegra Clark. She voices Rosette. Vern is voiced by Sandy Fox, who also voices Chibi Usa in Sailor Moon and has been in a lot of stuff, looks like. Cool. Thank you, Hex. All right. Uh, check out the carton. Thanks for subbing and hanging out, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the Shuffler, I assume, because I just see Skylar's video still. Yeah. Well, give me an and now let's do the raffle. Exclamation point pretty. <laughs> well, I had written in a code, but uh, you know what? <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> I was thinking to gamble if I got it right or not. <laughs> no, I wrote in next time. It was going to be next time, but let's sure. Let's make it exclamation pretty. So type in exclamation pretty in chat if you want to have a chance to pick the starting game for the next power trip, which, like I said, will likely be in June. I can try to jam it in in May, but I'm literally... Let me see here. Let me pull up my phone. Um... I'm gone the first week. I'm gone basically the last week, so I'm home from like the 8th to the 22nd, so that's exactly two weeks. So yeah, I could try to jam it in the two weeks there somewhere, but 
I know I got sponsored segments that'll probably come up at some point too. Speaking of, I gotta apologize. Uh, I goofed. We're not doing, uh, on Monday, we're not doing game clearing. Game clearing will probably get bumped to Wednesday, because I forgot I got a last minute sponsor segment. And the only day I could fit it in was Monday, because I did not want to cancel Chaos Fortune Cookie. So, game clearing's gonna get moved to Wednesday next week. And we're gonna play some, just like... I can only describe this as, literally, I was told, I was asked to do this sponsorship because I'm Canadian. Interesting. Yes. That's the description I will give you. It'll make more sense when I reveal the game later. But it's another dare drop. So. Dare drop, reach out to me like, I know you're Canadian. You should do this. <laughs> I detect Canadian within you. <laughs> it is not the new South Park game. It's an indie title. Or a Park smaller title. Canada. It's not like a, It's not Canada Hunt, Jesus. Oh Snow Day would at least make sense. I, the Snow Day I heard wasn't really doing that great review wise. It was not. I was watching Youngtown play for a little bit. It looked interesting, but like I'm not wasn't sure. Like it looks a little like mashy too. I love that for being the reason. This is the thing. If like for content creators, often we are asked like, "What is your region?" Because they'll aim like specific games or like specific ad campaigns towards specific regions. So this is one of the rare times where being Canadians actually a benefit, because usually they're looking for American content creators. So obviously, you're going to be playing the NHL 2024 game <laughs> from EA. Yeah. That would be funny, but I did say it was an indie title, and I would not call Electronic Arts an indie company. 184 people, and the winner is sitting here turning O2 to CO2. Hey. Congratulations, O2. What game starts cook or starts Power Trip? Hopefully next month, but maybe June. Yeah, we know it starts Cookie, because it's that list. Way to go, respiration. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I like, I like how O2 sp said oh she is and they spelled shit wrong, so then they corrected it later and said shit. <laughs> no, that's the game. You play shit. <laughs> I don't think I have that game. Sorry. The concept of breathing is one. <laughs> Alright, oh, two, I can give you a little bit of time while we do all the rest of the wrap up if you want. I'm not sure company is the correct term for EA. That's, you know what, man. Someone, someone going, you don't shit, John? Ed, Ed, and Eddie's misadventures for the GameCube. Oh, that's a very interesting choice. It works. I've heard decent things about that. Because it's the, it's the console one, not the Game Boy Advance one. Yeah, this is the um, the Midway um, one where you they, it's a 3D platformer. I can't I can't think of the Game Boy Advance one the same way ever again. We played this game, like, a long, long time ago, and I forget what happened. I remember getting mad during it. I think it's because I had no nostalgia for the game, and, like, I don't know if I was just in a shitty mood, or if just, like, people were quoting the show and, like, being... No, I think people were being mad I didn't know the show. And I think that's what it was. There was some reason I got mad at people in chat, I don't remember what, but I just remember it being that game in particular. So. You know what? I oh, there was... Oh, it was the back seating. Okay, yeah. I'm glad oh, you guys remember this better than I do, because I'm pretty sure that was when I was in the apartment. Well, when, when did we play this game before? Hang on. Do you know the show now? I mean, I've, I still haven't seen a full episode, but I've seen enough clips over the years to be like, okay. I don't have that much of a history with it either, surprisingly, given my oh, Cartoon Network history. Not the apartment, it was the townhouse. Uh, June 24th, 2017. Yeah, I was like, it had to be recent enough where I was actively on the stream, so that would have been 2016, 2017. Alright, so there you go, so seven years ago. 
This was exactly. not this was not the joke game, no, because that was Jawbreakers, the Game Boy Advance game. At least I think it was they, Jawbreakers. They are separate games, okay. I thought that was just a DBA version of the same game. Yeah. But yeah. So this this is the thing that we had a discussion about. It was like we didn't have Cartoon Network up here, so we didn't get Ed and Eddie. Apparently the only the first season aired up here, I was told, and that was it. And I wait, wasn't watching. Wait a minute. You finish your thing, but I had a realization about that that's really stupid. Yeah, I know, because the show was made by Canadians. Yeah, no, that's exactly where my brain was going. It's just like, the show was made in Canada, and Trust they only aired me, season. I've heard so much about this goddamn show over the years that <laughs> I know a lot about it from just osmosis of the people around me, so. Osmosis Jones. And also that. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is that guilt I hear, Yuki? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's. Was I pinged it over here? Oh, okay. But yeah, that's a that's a Cartoon Network blind spot for me. I think my mom was worried I'd be influenced by the fact that they just constantly make scams. They thought I was gonna scam some money or something. I don't know. I just remember whenever I watched the Dexter's Lab VHS tape, we got we always had to end it before the bonus Ed Ed and F Ed Ed and Eddie episode at the end. <laughs> Didn't you have viewers that also sent you the whole series on DVD? True, I do have the whole series on DVD now, thanks to a bunch of viewers. Yeah, you just binge through it a day. I mean, I <laughs> I got other shit I want to watch. I still I still got to watch Cocaine Bear. Thought you were just gonna say I got. I still gotta watch cocaine. I just gotta watch no, this pile of cocaine on my desk. Cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> Your homework assignment is you to watch Ed and Eddie. To... It is due at the end of next month. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch an episode or two, sure. But I can't watch the full series. Isn't it at least three seasons worth, or if not more? Skyler, you weren't allowed to watch Veggie Tales. Literally, what was the problem? <laughs> Five seasons. Okay. Plus a movie. I thought the movie didn't come out. Or no, did, the movie no, came or, out. Or was, oh no, the script was censored. That's what it was. Mm. Six seasons, three specials, and a movie. I can't tell if you're doing the community bit or if it actually did have six yeah, seasons, three I, specials, I, and a movie. Could have sworn it was six, yeah. But I'm not an Ed, Ed, an Eddie person. I'm not an Ed head, as it were. <laughs> I'm just imagining John staring at a pile of cocaine every time he gets off stream. Not to consider snorting it, but just to stare at it. <laughs> I just, just, I just load up. Like, I just load up a JPEG. That's all I do. This is like a pile. This is like looking at piles of things. My pile of leaves come full circle. Uh, where You're not we... an Ed boy. Well, I'd have to be a boy for that, and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> If I knew anything about Ed, Ed, and Eddie, I'm sure I'd make some dumb joke about you being someone's sister or cousin or something, but... Literally all I... The main thing I remember about Ed, Ed and Eddie is one of the few episodes I watched in full uh, that, I, that I really enjoyed. The main punchline I remember is uh, Ed, like, giving some... Or Double D giving some lecture to Ed and then just outright screaming is that the, is that the support beam to the house and then it just implodes i laughed my ass off at that <laughs> they i remember the entire fucking house <laughs> i remember exactly three things about ed ed and eddie one plank is a thing two yeah. there is an episode where one of them has to transport the report card of the other um and three there is an episode where they break the fourth wall in the most amazing skit oh That's yeah it. i heard about that one too All right, Art Block is very loaded up at this point. So let's hop into it. Art Block starts right here. Oops. Keep hitting that. When it hops into the power trip music, it always throws me off. All right, from Scrapyard Seder, gave Rosa a new dress as a warm-up sketch. It's very cute, I like it. I like the little star on the slit too, that's a nice touch. Thank you, Seder. 
Next up, Pew. from Evil J. Brian. Gotta love character creators, am I right? Here's my take on Clarissa, as best as I can make her. Uh, I adjusted the hat on her head to tilt it down over her eyes. Oh, there you go, nice touch there. Uh, I kept the rocket pack, but moved it up onto her back and behind her shoulders. And hats, many hats. Oh my god, I just realized how many hats you gave her. I like, you would have added oh, more I... hats, but it told me it was unable to copy due to cost. Yeah, so every item had a specific cost to it, accessories, and you could only go so high, I noticed. So I guess that's just to make sure there's not too many polygons or like, just people not like slowing down the load times of the game. But yeah, the shoulder pauldron, cowboy hats, and the wrist. Or I guess those might be the hips, cowboy hats. So, five cowboy hats for her. Yeah, no titty hat. No titty hat. We'll never know which hat, which tit was the party tit. Thank That's you. the secret, John. They're both the party tits. Oh, uh, okay. It makes sense now. Thanks, Brian. I would like to get my hands on this character creator. Well, you can download it. Apparently, you can just download it separately. From Mika, since Vincent suggested it, here's Claire in April O'Neil's outfit. There you go. Very lovely. Probably get a lot of like good reports too with being able to fly away or fly towards the danger too. Helping out the nin Ninja Turtles. You fly. Who needs a helicopter for flyby reporting when you can just fly? From Striker Von Spark, Common Rider Dragon Knight. Together we can fin fight the fight. So let's ride. Oh wait, wrong song. Uh, well, kind of. Anyway, Star mentioned Dragon Knight and Ryuki, and Silver showed uh, their Evol Driver and Cherry or Kemi cards. I wanted to show my cards too. Plus, the <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Did you misread it as Cherry? <laughs> oh my God! Did I fucking hell? <laughs> Kemi cards. I'm so glad that I'm not the only one that made that mistake, because I I once read it as that way too. <laughs> uh... Yes, I'm free. <laughs> oh my god. Life is many doors, <laughs> grand boy. The comment on that as well, Yuki's at the bottom. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that Yoda, Yodara and Rolf have the same voice actor. Wow. Anyways, uh, her evil driver and Kemi cards. I wanted to show my cards, too, plus the Progrise keys from Kamen Rider 01. Funny enough, I have two of the three pieces of the Survive Phoenix, which is actually the main bad guy's advent beast, called literally Gold Phoenix. And the three Kemi cards that I have, they got a Kemi, X, a Kemi Cross story be behind them. Get it? Chemistry? Kemi story? Oh my god. Uh, the last pack of the Kemi cards I bought had... Doka... Dokari Majin, Kamen Rider Tycoon from the Kamen Rider Geet series, and uh, uh, blah, 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 and Gorilla Sensei. I have a Gorilla Persona, uh, and getting both my favorites in one pull was magical for me. Cool. All the other keys are from Riders of the Show, or form, uh, forms at Zero One Vulcan, or Valkyrie uh, take. Plus that golden key there is from the kind of, sort of, not that evil, but slightly douchey Rider. So how do these work in like real life? Because like they always spun them around in zero one, but like I assume they can't actually do that unless you're like there's like a little thing on the back, a little ring to hold it. I don't. You get very good at pen no. twirling. I guess. Here we got the shot riser, both a gun and belt for Vulcan and Valkyrie to henshin, the authorized buster, a little suitcase, and the fabled and memed a thousand jacker. Yes, that's the name for, th for Souther's sword, but what if you told you two of those things can change form? For Valkyrie to henshin, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there's a Valkyrie. Why? And the henshin. What? Yeah, I one of. Yeah. One, of the, one of the characters in, in, in Zero Ones goes code. I don't Batman. know anything about this franchise. Okay. I watched two of the series, Drive and the uh, Ryuki, and I'm not even done with Ryuki, so I didn't know there was a Valkyrie. I don't think they're literally a Valkyrie design, but I think that's just the name they go by. They're cool. A little suitcase is actually the attached shotgun in the Authorized Buster. Can change into the Authorized Axe, or as I like to call them, Assault Buster and Axe, since they are related to both Zero One and Vulcan's Assault Forms. Oh yeah, regarding the Thousand Jacker meme, it's, a, it's as childish as you expect. The finisher without inserting the Progrise key into it is called, and I quote, Jacking Break. So uh, yeah, lots of jacking memes with that when, when that attack showed up. That's fair. Anyways, is a Valkyrie-ception allowed? Claire is Kamen Rider Valkyrie with the Valkyrie armor by her side. 
Can we can we get an art for that? I honestly don't draw because I'm terrible at it. That that's what I was getting at, to be clear. <laughs> just, just commission someone. That's all I gotta do is just get a commission. Have money. Have money. <laughs> Thank you, Striker. Alright. Yeah, I understood that perfectly because I'm smart. Nah, she didn't get that at all. Oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> From Grease Yeah, this sounds hey, accurate to Green. <laughs> Did that genuinely get that you? That genuinely got me. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Basically, anytime someone tries to break down a story about an RPG game, gotcha, that has expanded over 10 years. The recent actual games have done good jobs of getting the tone of the story down, so if nothing else, you can play Relink and Rising, the fighting game, and feel like a complete experience. This is Whamdus. She's cute. An afterthought, you'd pull off a sight cosplay very well. See it? I mean, sure, but like, that's a lot of fucking armor. Are, is he holding two swords, one on each side? He's got two, he he's got two swords holstered, yeah. On, on each leg. Yeah. Well, Sounds I mean, like they're, I, I think they're hanging. No, actually, they are part of the legs. Never mind. They're, I, I was they they're are on, like... hanging off of the legs, not off of the belt. Yeah, it seems like that would be annoying Why? walking around with that just constantly slapping against the back of your leg. He collects swords. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have guessed. I feel like if you tried to cosplay that, you wouldn't be able to move more than a meter before falling over. I think that's why the cloak's there too to kind of ba the counterbalance it. God, I wish I knew someone who could actually build armor for me. I really wish I could do that. I would do so many armor cosplays. Double night. Next up from Dragon Lord. This is an old screenshot I had floating around of my PSO2 character, pre-New Genesis, a sleepy Kitsune who is a four slash techer, both in base PSO2 and with a New Genesis counterpart. Cool. Again with the big fox tails. Which type of armor? Eva foam, plastic, actual metal? I mean, like, it would just have to look nice. It wouldn't have to be actual armor. But wouldn't it be cooler if it was, uh... It would be cooler if it was, but it would also be a bigger pain in the ass to wear and to store if it was also armor. Like, True. Armor. What was it? Doc was here, like, the first room Doc was on. He was like, yeah, I've got a full suit of armor. Yeah, I, it just... Don't get a full suit of armor. It's cool to look at, but it takes up a lot of space, and it sucks to wear. So, that sounds like cosplay to me, basically. Yeah, pretty much. From Raptor Boggle, I keep forgetting to share my convention pickups, but you seem to like them, so here you go. Got these at the SideQuest Expo last month. Ace Combat 1 and 2 were the ones I was actively looking for. I was really sold on Ace Combat 3 Electrosphere. Just remember to play the fan-translated Japanese version and not the English release. A localization so butchered, even working designs would be ashamed to have their name on it. Ace Combat, Nitro Cougars, Image Fight, Cabal, Project Overkill, Jumping Flash 2. There was a 2? Yeah, there's two Jumping Flash games. Wow. Uh, is that Super Bonk 2? That's Super Bonk... Oh, Super Bonk's Adventure, so it's Bonk's Adventure, Bonk 1. And then the Enders Collection, Gun Griffin Blades, Front Mission Evolved, Crimson Tears, which was kind of fun from what I remember, Pandora's Tower, Rise of Tomb Raider, Rude the Sky Soldier, Sunset Overdrive, a Yoko Figure... Let me see what these Game Boy games, they're all Japanese. One looks like Poyo. Uh, that's Sailor Poyo, Poyo Moon. That's Poyo Poyo 2, that's Sailor Moon. The rest, I, I think that's Konami. a Yu-Gi-Oh one? It might is that be a Yu-Gi-Oh? Yu -Oh? I, Yu -Oh? I can't tell. That's probably Yu-Gi-Oh. It's probably the um, the sequel to the Game Boy Color game. Wait a minute. Here. That's not Shaman King, is it? That is Shaman King by the looks. Oh my god, wow. I don't even know what that series is. It's cool. It's a really cool manga. People should read it. And I cannot tell what this one is. Me neither. It's the fourth one up. Is another Yu-Gi-Oh one? It almost the looks like game. it is another Yu-Gi-Oh one. That's Ease 4? That's what? Oh, my... Oh, you're right! I think? No, that one is also Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. No. Yeah. I'm dummy. Thank you, Raptor Boggle. Next up, from Kitsu Sakura. Hello, John. It's my first time joining the Buru. So since you played Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis, I also wanted to show off my OC. She's a Newman. She's 5'7". 
It's a pretty sick picture of him. Hell yeah. Nice. The giant, like, twin lance, too. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Sakura, for sharing that. From Furry Tractor, since the PSO2 session, I decided to also post my own character. I created a nice, simple, and cozy look for my PSO2 character that has stuck with me for over three years. I'm surprised so many people in this community actually play PSO2. Clearly, that means you should play it again. I mean, I might be down for it. I did make a fun character. I do like guns. <laughs> a peas time thief. Oh my god, he'd probably, he'd probably be excited about that if we did that. The Child of did Darkness what? demands thicker thighs. Oh my god. Oh, Muhammad's god. power increases with every squat he does. <laughs> Just, just so you're aware, I'm stealing this and it's going in my bookmarks folder, or my uh, backgrounds folder. It looks like he would do that one, uh... Oh, I'm blanking on the fucking meme. The Animal Crossing cat character, that dance meme. Oh, Jesus. How do you feel <laughs> it about like coming... what he's doing! How do you feel about coming to a Coliseum with finally finding someone who can make you armor, but T-posing the whole time and being like, I can't move, but the armor's damn fine, right? Luca, the mic, please? <laughs> I would, like, like I would like to be able to move a bit. John, can they be thicker, please? I mean, I don't think I have to get permission, Jumny. I think you're good to make Oh, that is an thicker. adorable emote. Meow. Meow. Fun fact, I scarred myself when I was planning to take that picture of the weapons because... Oh, scared myself because of when I was planning to take the picture of the weapons because Thousand Jacker was still on and I didn't realize it. It almost flew out of my hand and I'm honestly sorry for writing... He is instead of hers when I spoke about silver on my cards. Well, it wasn't just, that's fine. You're fine, Striker. If you didn't know, you didn't know. But no, silver, silver she. Or sorry, uh, no, yeah, silver. They? Are they they? The one Sil that I'm silver, thinking of? silver blaze. Oh no, wrong person. Then. Wrong sorry. silver. Wrong silver. You're thinking of. A lot of silver. I'm teaming up with Bagel. Oh no, there's two cats now. Meow, and Merp. Next up, from Rhyme, you are not immune to hot lady night. You know what the best part is? Catalina is the first image when you search this exact phrase. You were never immune, John. She was always <laughs> lurking here. <laughs> this is Catalina Rosa John, now Lamau. Oh my fucking God. Well, you're trapped now. You're, you're stuck with this. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> From Rhyme. Also, people were asking about the basic summation of the trans characters in Grand Blue. Here's a screenshot of what I sent to Green. What I didn't add was that Grand Blue is full of these characters that are very gay or bisexual and is not subtle about it. Rosetta and Catalina are two of those in Rising, but in Versus, we also have characters like Vera and Nier. And Belial derogatory. This content is no longer available. What? I can't see the picture that she linked. I mean, I could just take a screenshot, but assumedly Ryan would just be able to take another screenshot. So I noticed this. There's something going on with Discord. They're not, like, they're not showing things anymore. Like, if you, I used to have a couple, like, images that people sent me in tabs, and they just kept saying this contest no longer available. Maybe I'm it's a security wondering, thing? Yeah, I'm wondering if they're, um... Discord doesn't save images anymore. They just stopped. Oh, honestly, understandable. A little annoying for certain things, but like, I can't yeah. be See, that's gonna that suck too, good. because that's gonna mean that disc only is fucking busted, because I had all the images for our heads loaded in Discord. Well, wait, but aren't you using like Foogie or something? No, I mean, I mean I'm using the code for like making the heads appear. There's like just OBS, CSS I have put in there. No, oh, well, I don't. I don't know how that works, but I'm using like, like the you know like you know how our heads usually appear in the corner when we're talking up here, which I'm actually surprised I just noticed it's not even on this screen. But like you I, know how like on like the I'll have like our icons show up. It's just like the Discord shower. That's all that is. Just I changed the icons. Mm. According according to Nico, it looks like Discord just stopped letting you see images out of, outside of their app, which to me is not surprising more than they're limiting people using it as a file hosting platform. Mind you, both cases would not be surprising to me because guess what? Discord is not a file hosting platform. You should never use it as a file hosting platform. I guess Much as it, it was, sucks. It was kind of convenient, though. 
Oh, it was incredibly convenient, but like... They added a session token to every image link, if I remember correctly. Jesus, okay. That, yeah. would do it. that sounds correct. That sounds exactly how, how they would do it. Thank you, Ryan, regardless for this picture, even though I could not show the, the picture that was sent. Next up, from Nico. Since I saw a bunch of other people posting their characters' outfits from PSO2, I figured I'd post some of mine. Uh, a lot of mine. I spent more Masetta on those cosmetics than I do on making my gear strong. Haha. <laughs> Not helping the fashionista in me is the fact that PSO2's auto-chat function can run chat commands, which includes stuff to change your outfit, so as a result I end up swapping forms on the fly constantly during battle. It is fun. There was a 13th outfit during, uh, here, but adding that one would have exceeded image limits, so... Let's see if I can get these both on screen at the same time. There we go. Okay, I'm I'm digging the jacket. I like this jacket here, I like, and this one too is a fun one as well. These are all fun designs. Nicely done on these. Although I can imagine you probably spent a lot of Masetta getting all these together. Very nice, Nico. And the last one I have here, the last scholar of Veggie Tales. Hi, John. Hi, Green from O2. So it's one of those bully Miss pa Power Bomb Star Knights, huh? Anyhow, nice to see the Jeecher being Jeeched for once, and I thank you, Star, for giving me the cursed knowledge of VeggieTales lore, and know someday I'll pass this curse on to someone else. I hate the word Jeeched. <laughs> me too. Hashtag embrace your breastiny. Hashtag not sorry, lol. Hashtag sorry, green. Hashtag you deny who you are. Wait, green oh. does or I do? Yes. Uh, meanwhile, Mika... <laughs> No, no, not allowed, <laughs> not allowed. I saw this one, I, I reloaded before you did, I was just like, yes. Here's Good. your next dream, John. Why are they all marketable plushies? Oh, you know. Fo followed by, also have a Claire version. I didn't think this until after finishing the comic, but I really should have changed Claire's plushies to John, our beloved honorary girl. This is gonna be even weirder for her to look at herself and see the plushie. Jesus. I would have a plushie of myself. I don't know if that's narcissistic, but I'm cute. Also, I sent you the thing that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of people in chat are saying like, if I if I look at the link in Discord and then put it in browser, it'll work. Yeah. There we go. So for the first trans lady, we've got uh, Ladiva, wrestler for the Jewel Resort Casino in Grand Blue. She frequently spreads love and is one of the most compassionate characters in the game, always looking to be a shoulder to cry on and being the support to help you. Second trans girly is uh, Caliga Caligastro? Caligastro? Cagliostro. I Cagliostro. Would say an alchemist that has lived on for around a thousand years because she creates the cutest bodies for herself. She's also one of oh. the most powerful mortal characters feared by the Astrals and Primal Beasts, essentially a step away from God alike. They have something called a crossfate episode together, where at the end, uh, Cagliostro offers to create Lavia the ideal body for her, which Lavia declines because the body she loves, uh, she loves the body that she was born in, and Cagliostro respects that decision, both for playable and grand blue verses. Aww. Cool. Hell yeah. It's a pretty solid rep. Ah, uh, yes, the greatest we, HRT, alchemy. I mean... I mean, we talked, we, we established that before. We were talking about that during the actual segment. Uh, where's our block? There we go, back there. Wait a minute. So I joked about HRT Alchemy in a game series that canonically has that. What yep. the actual fuck? <laughs> I hate this, but I also love it. Obviously, you need to improve your alchemy skills. Clearly. Somehow Claire looks more pissed about this than I do. I'm just more like sweating like, ugh, god damn it. Somehow she looks madder. <laughs> to be fair too, no matter which form I am in the dream, if I saw all this, I'd be like, god fucking damn it, I hate this. You know what's the weird thing for me? I don't know if it's just my brain or if it's literally how it's drawn, but the one of you is it appears to be looking down and the one of Claire appears to be looking at the viewer, and I don't know what that implies. I feel like that meant they got higher somehow. <laughs> oh, 
Like they just somehow. Oh my raid. god! You know what? The, the eyes don't move, but it's because of the different eye shape. It actually does kind of look like that. <laughs> they just got up on a higher shell. <laughs> Who moved these? Who moved <laughs> these? It's like I said, just hiding a bunch of plushy Claire's around your house where you least expect to see her. <sighs> God, the back oh, and forth I is fucking with me. Is. Yeah, it's because only that half's moving, and it's like it's framed perfectly. What were we going to say, Deef? I now understand several things. What? <laughs> what? I understand some things about this picture now. I wasn't following what this picture was about. Oh, you didn't realize that like, all the plushies that. were the dream girls, and it was the dream yes. girls themselves as plushies, so we've got... I was I was wondering why they were so glass-eyed. I didn't realize they were the plushies. <laughs> yeah, because what, what were all the ones that they put in there? It was, yeah, Very Cherry, small. Cherry, Claire, Deandra, Kimberly, Lily, and Maple. Thank you, Mika, for both of these. All right, that's our block and that's the stream, folks. What is our raid message? I hate that my brain is lingering on gender alchemy. Oh my god. Do you fan figs? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I counted the folders and TV tropes for all the crossover characters in Grand Blue Gotcha. There are 88 as of now. Holy shit. Oh, apparently you still owe Duke. Oops, my bad. Thank you for telling me that. Dragon Lord Carter, my bad. Here's your Wisma Duke. Hey, we already All saw right. this one tonight. Try yeah, that's to the same again. one. Dude, you obviously Apparently he didn't try very well. Tried. Damn it. I forgot my fucking wallet. There you go. He just needs some key cards. I'll just throw another one in there. Where the hell are my chicks? I've about had it with this crap. John gets it now? No. <laughs> You're not immune to Hot Lady Night, Marketable Plushy Dream Girls, Do You Vav Vigs? I love Do You Vav Vigs. I so <laughs> want that. Big download, Bahamut Got Thighs, Dead by Beauty. I kind of want to do- it doesn't even have this any relevance to the stream at all, but I just fucking love that- Do you have Vix? Do you have Vix? Let me just see who's live first. Oh, I kind of forgot what the fucking PowerPoint presentation rhyme sent me. <laughs> Again, at least it was not an hour. Has Duke appeared in any dreams, background character or otherwise? No. Well, now that you've said that, he's going to. That'd be cool if he showed up. That might be the most sensible thing that would happen in a dream at this rate. Hello, Proton John. It is me, Dookie Nuki. <laughs> I don't I'm... think he called himself Dookie Nuki. I am here to tell you that I am proud of you, son. <laughs> <laughs> son, I am proud of you. Now let's go fight some alien douchebags together. Tyler is playing Ocnet. Oh, that is Ocnet. It's just because of the Lando setup. <laughs> Shake it, baby. I don't think you're going to have much success with that. <laughs> uh, let's go Dude, say hi to Tyler. Here. Yeah, I think I gotta do Do You Ver Vigs. I think I have to do it. Even though it has, like, no relevance to the stream, I just fucking love that whole bit. Hey, relevance. We both laughed at it together. It was fun. Alright, Tack and Toucan is currently doing, uh, a Zelda Ocarina of Time race against Marty Man 641 Let's go ask Do You Ver Vigs. Have you... Have you Von Viggs? Will you Von Viggs? <laughs> Duke Nukem, John, I'm proud of you. Bends down. Also, rips off the mask. Cherry, what's up, bitch? And John wakes up. <laughs> she would fucking do that. She would fucking do that. Before you could even say anything in return, you wake up. Uh-oh. There's 
Don't you just love this arc you've been on for months? She has a follower. Only God damn it, Tyler. Uh -oh. This is about to happen. Day 17, he has 29 hours left to a subathon. Jesus Christ, Tyler. Yeah, it's coming through. I see Fred Fred Burger. I see James. I see Dragon. Mix so will you wear wigs and when will you wear wigs too, maybe? Yeah. Oh my god. That's up to all y'all. Water Temple again? That was. Alright, go give Tyler some love, folks. We're already committed, even if it's follower only. And uh, I will see you all on Saturday for Chaos Fortune Cookie. Uh, I don't know how many people from the Coliseum crew are going to join me. It might not be any of them, but we got to get it done, and uh, it is what it is. So, catch y'all then. Night, everybody. Night. I think it's Fire Temple, isn't it? Right. Attacking so, Uh-oh. Do, do, no, do no, you... What? What? No. 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 What? No. What? No. Do you wear wigs? No. <laughs> Have you worn wigs? Yes. Will you wear wigs? For costume, sure. Then will you wear wigs? <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't mimic Elijah Woods' laugh. It's so good. It's so unique and good. How will you, how will you wear wigs? I'm like, just listen to this fucking laugh. I don't know how to mimic this. When will you wear wigs? <laughs> how does someone mimic that? That's such a powerful fucking laugh. Such a fucking good laugh. Night, everybody. Night. That's like a Jared-level laugh.